Hello everyone and Merry Christmas! Welcome to the Christmas special of the Roller Coaster Tycoon playthrough series. Today we're revisiting Roller Coaster Tycoon 2 to grant myself access to this vast array of options which are not available in Roller Coaster Tycoon 1. We are in the uh, the Six Flags or the Build Your Own Park scenario because of all the creative options it has available to us. And although we don't have it now, we will eventually have access to snow and ice theming, which seems perfect because this is the Christmas special. Now, this park, as I said, is ridiculously huge. Hold on, is that a duck? Oh, no, it's just a fountain. How disappointing. This, this scenario is huge, so we'll have to divide it up into themed segments, I think. So we'll have a central, uh, a central lake area, and then perhaps a snowy area. Well, no, we'll have, like, let me think. We'll have... The North Pole Wilderness, Santa's Workshop, uh, maybe the South Pole? I don't know. So we'll, we'll, we'll play it by ear. I don't want to make too many decisions right off the bat. We're just getting started, and this is going to be fun. So let's start with the entrance area, which I will designate as the North Pole. Because it's in the front of the park. I guess it's only north if we look at it in this orientation. Well, actually, that would make this north and this east. I don't know. Everything's at an angle. We're not uh, horizontal. Everything's slanted. I'm overthinking it. Let's start building some fantastic roller coasters. And let's place this one over here. Uh, turn, turn around. Place this one over here. I always like to start with a wooden roller coaster because it is my favorite roller coaster in the game and in real life. Build all the ways off the ground. Make sure we have multiple trains. Perfect. Okay. And nothing, nothing too crazy. Just a... Uh, just a decent, decently big roller coaster. And can I make it up to 70? Oh, I think I can. Look at that. Woohoo! I <laughs> just barely crossed that hill. That's fabulous. Okay. Now let's, uh, let's come around like this. And can we go under ourselves here? Oh, look at that, we can. Nice. Okay, but I don't think we can do that, though. Oh, no, we can, look at that. I'm clicking on things I didn't mean to click on. Let's see, uh, make this go that way. Oh, that's a thing of beauty. That's a thing of beauty. I didn't realize I could do that. I do have to think about where we're gonna put the entrance, though, so let's, let's take care of that now. Before we do anything else, okay, so I think we should be able to, let's grab blue, give it the fi the, the nice fancy rails, uh, pfft, wrong button, <laughs> I'm used to the footpath control being over there, I was afraid of that, well I'd rather, let's move this over one tile, and perhaps connect it here, ah, uh, same problem, great, okay, Let's rethink this. Yeah, I think we just have to make it go straight up. But no biggie, that's fine. And the exit should be able to just go under it. So let's grab the concrete, the concrete path. Yeah, I think that'll work. Now this will be what connects to everything else. So let's grab the entrance path and set this up. Let's keep this up above the uh, above the track because that gives us a stat boost, which is always nice. Okay, that has to stay flat. All right. And because this is a pay per entry park, there will be guests on all of the rides all the time. So having a long queue line is nice because it'll keep the paths from getting too congested. Okay. Now that that's sorted, let's uh, get back to designing our magnificent roller coaster. Let's keep the, uh, keep this rolled like that. Straighten out. And can I come down like this? Nope, that's the entrance. <laughs> Let's put a photo section up here and see if I can try that again. Oh, look at that. That's kind of neat, although I don't think it's going to work. Oh, it did work. Wow. <laughs> oh, that's fancy. Okay, let's do the wider version. Now we're at 60 feet. I have serious reservations. I don't think that's going to work. I think we're going to stall there because we're going to slow down a lot in these parts. So let me make this a little shorter. 
to 50 feet. And you can see I never actually bring the, the track to the ground. That's by design. I used to do that because I used to think it was better to save a, as much money as possible and building up above the ground is more expensive. But the truth is, hold on, ducks! Woo -hoo -hoo! And right as the ducks appeared, I'm out of money! This ride is expensive. But fortunately for us, the interest rate is only 5%, which is not terrible. It's uh, perfectly manageable, I say. So let's uh, bring this down. Uh-oh. Oh, that's just perfect. Nice, it goes right into the station. So could that potentially have a crash? Maybe, but I'm not gonna worry about it. It's Christmas, so who cares if people die? Ho ho ho! I'm just kidding. Let's see. Let's change the price of the photo section because this park is so big and has such an incredible capacity for riders that, uh, well, we're gonna have a money problem despite all the people coming into the park. It doesn't, isn't this a cool design? I'm really impressed with myself. Let's test it for real and follow train one. And while we're following it, I'm going to paint this. Let's give it a nice frosty look with a, uh, eh, maybe that. Well, I don't want it to blend with the ground. And if we change, if we change the ground to look like snow like this, then it will blend too much. So let's actually give it wooden supports, wooden supports, maybe a white track. And the trains will be red, like Santa's sleigh. Red and blue. Yeah, that's kind of fun. I like that. What does this black represent? Is that the... Oh, that's the restraints. We can make the restraints yellow, I guess. Okay, so this is almost done. Into the final helix. And it comes in a little hot, so if it... Uh, if it, it... I guess it could potentially have a crash. If it, if it breaks down and one of the trains is stuck halfway into the station with its backside poking out, we could potentially have a crash. I'm not going to worry about it because our inspection interval... Whoops, I closed it. Our inspection interval by default, because I changed it in my settings, my global settings, is set to 10 minutes. So our, our mechanics will check it frequently enough that I think we'll be okay. So let's actually... I think asphalt might actually be better for like a, a rustic, undeveloped Christmas area. Although for the... Uh, for the uh, the elevated paths, let's use concrete. Okay. Let's bring this back to our central area, and uh, let me... Give me a minute to quack this duck. Woohoo! Quacking accomplished! Let's open the park, and open this roller coaster! I'm actually not really set on the color. Maybe... Maybe if I change the uh, top piece to make it gray? Or maybe light blue? That's kind of bright. Oh, we'll play it by ear, but let's just make it white for now. Oh, that's probably fine. Snow ice themed entrance. Nice. And we will uh, change the color of the ground as we get cash for it, which I have no doubt we will because this, this this scenario is incredibly easy to get obscene amounts of cash. So no worries there whatsoever. Let's build a merry-go-round. And we'll call it the reindeer carousel. Leave that free and rename this. I'm gonna totally botch the spelling. Reindeer Carousel. <laughs> I don't even know if I spelled that right. <laughs> I botched, I think, I'm pretty sure I botched the spelling. Hold on, I gotta look it up. That's gonna bug me. Uh, first of all, reindeer. How do I spell that? Reindeer. Reindeer. Oh, it's actually spelled how it sounds. Uh, that's supposed to be, that's supposed to be an A, not an E. I spelled it like the reins of a, like a, like a horse. And the, uh, and carousel. 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 It's spelled like carousel. Okay. No, no. I, I can't spell. <clears throat> All right. Reindeer carousel. And the, the color, the, uh, the color it came with naturally is the exact color I would have chosen anyway. So that's perfect. Okay. Let's grab some other things. Maybe so, maybe a frosty slide. Let's put it here. And put the... Oh, let's just put the entrance and exit together. I don't expect a lot of people to try riding this. But if they do, they'll just walk right in. No need for a queue line for this. Okay. And we'll recolor this as well. We'll make this blue. And blue and... Well, actually... Yeah, red and white, is, red and white works. I like that. Okay. 
Just because it's ice themed doesn't mean it all has to be white or light blue because then it all blends together and I, I want to see the rides, not have it all just uh, static, the same color. Okay, let's see. I need more paths, I think. So let's extend this. Kind of have it meander about, not super organized. Oh, this is so funny looking. This little uh, patch of snow there. It's like a snow flurry that just got lost. <laughs> let's see. All this area over here is not being used. I'd like to put some flat rides over there. So let's uh, let's find let's see if we can find a spot where I can go under the support structure of this roller coaster. Hopefully. Oh look, there's a twister roller coaster available to us. Okay, now I'm gonna start freehanding this. Now that we've made it over here. Whoops, delete that. And delete that. Okay, very good, very good. We have a lot of people pouring into the park, 40 already. I didn't even look at the objective. I think it's uh, 1,500 guests by the end of year four. With a, obviously the park rating is 600 because that's what they all say. But we're gonna probably get maybe 2,000 by the end of year one because this scenario is so stupidly easy. It's basically just the, uh, it's like free building, but with limitations. I mean, it's, it is a scenario. You do have to actually win, um, but it's not hard. It's very, very easy. Let's see. What do we call this? How do we theme this to make it like uh, the North Pole related? Let's see, let's uh, rename it to be uh, Rudolph lost his nose, lol. <laughs> I guess the dragon heads, you could say that they look like a hoofed creature, like a, ho a horse or a deer. I, I don't know. That's dumb. That's a dumb joke. <laughs> what am I saying? Let's make that brown and red. Maybe reverse those. Let's make this red and make this brown. Yeah, that's better. So it's like he's wearing a red coat or something. I don't know. I'm just, I'm just having fun. I'm not even thinking very hard about this. No planning. No uh, scheming or anything like that. Just uh, just raw, raw creative energy and chaos and nothing is organized at all. Let's see, I forgot food and drinks. Let's uh, quickly fix that. Let's grab our hamburger stall. Maybe put it here. We'll change this to 250 because we need money in this scenario. I said it's easy, it is easy to win, but once it gets really big, it doesn't scale very well, because once people pay at the gate, they're in for as long as they want. And they can just keep on riding everything, and the operating costs of these rides really start to pile up. Like, look at this one. $240 per hour. Now, if we had 10 of these roller coasters, that's $2,400 per hour. So, the, yeah. So we have to really be careful about our finances. Let's see. What should I do next? I never named this roller coaster. Let's name it uh, Santa's, not like that, Sleigh. Sleigh Ride. Santa's Sleigh Ride. Nice. Okay. That means I can't use that name for anything else because it's already there. <laughs> Maybe I should have used it for these because Santa's Sleigh is like a single car, for lack of better words, like the Wild Mouse. Oh, well, anyway, let's just build more stuff. Let's grab an escape hatch, and not escape hatch, the launched freefall. Escape hatch is a pre-built. The most disappointing park in the what? Excuse me, how's that? What? I've never I've never seen that reward in my life. <laughs> what the heck? Oh my gosh, that's that's awful. Well, my park rating is at 600 at least. So what? What, what the heck? That's not nice. I'm not really doing anything different than other times I've played this. What the heck? Ha ha ha! That hurts my feelings. Okay, well let's fix it by building more rides and making them stupendously fantastic. Okay, place that there. I think the optimal speed for this was 67 or 69. I can't remember. Fire away! Woo! Okay, 67 for this height. Perfect. Okay, let's open this and recolor it. Let's make the uh, tower blue, the inside white, and the, uh, the the vehicle. I like that, that's fine. And we will theme it. 
somehow. Let's put fences around it. I think we have wooden fences somewhere. Ah, oh, like these. Oops, I missed. Why do I do this? Uh, no reason, it's just uh, something to put around it so it looks less bare. Okay, and the merry-go-round is playing my favorite song in the game. Hooray! I can't, I don't know, I can't pronounce it. It's like D.A. Regiment Skinder or something. I, I don't speak whatever that language is. Austrian, I think. <laughs> if you're, if you're Austrian, uh, say hi in the comments. I'm glad to have you here. And I apologize for botching the pronunciation of that song. It's a great song, though. You had a very talented composer who wrote that. Let's see. Let's build another roller coaster and fill in this space. Let's uh, put it here. Build it slightly off the ground, but not by much. And steep right up to the maximum height we can go to. Never mind, we can't do that. Maybe if I make this part more gradual. So 75 is the highest we can go. What the heck? Why, why can't I just... That's weird. It's not going to let me do it. Huh. Well, it doesn't have to be the maximum possible size. We're just going to make it fun-sized. After all, we don't have money shooting out our ears at the moment. Let's uh, make this come around like this. Here we go. This will be fun. And I keep forgetting that the wild mouse, the steel wild mouse, can do that, as it has sloped turns. None of the other wild mouse roller coasters have that available, but this one does. And we're stuck. Uh, but I shouldn't have done that. Bad idea. Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah, we can keep going up. We should have enough momentum for that. Let me change the lift hill speed so we can get, uh, get the cars through the lift hill as, as quickly as possible. Okay. Let's try this. Uh, not like that. Flatten out. That doesn't work. And we stalled. I didn't realize that would happen. What the heck? Okay. Uh, we lose momentum really fast on this ride because it's made it. There's only one car. That's not very good at conserving momentum. Okay. Oh, we can do that. That's fun. Now let's bounce over the uh, over the path and scare everyone who, uh, waiting to ride this. I don't want to make this go down to the ground, so let's go up first. Then turn down like this, so it's slightly elevated off the ground, and cross our fingers that it has enough momentum to crest that hill. And it looks like we're fine. That's good. Okay. And a few little miniature airtime hops like so. Little hairpin. And one last little section here, and then return to the station. Let's put some brakes here, just because, why not? Okay, let's fire it up. Well, first of all, put our station here. I need to rearrange my paths, it looks like. Okay, let's test it out, see how it does. Okay, break that, because I should have thought this through differently. Break that, break that, all right. Let's actually bring this to the ground. And we'll have the queue line go through, go around the track layout like this. And try to dodge the supports if we can. Okay. Now let's replace the path that we messed up. Ah, oh, dang it. Did not mean to do that. There we go. Fixed it. Okay, and now for the exit. Let's switch this to the uh, concrete. There we go. Perfect. And what are the stats? Ooh, not bad. Nice. And I think at this point, we are justified in turning our, pa our price way up. I kind of forgot to do that. We've lost a lot of potential money we could have earned here. I think the most we can charge for this park is $60. I think that's the lowest amount that people generate with. Let's see. He has 90. He has 60. So he has 60. There might It might actually be 58. I can't remember. A few outliers who didn't prepare before they came to the park. Let's see, anybody else? 
What do you have? 60? Okay, I think 60 is the most we can charge for this entire scenario. And we only have a handful of rides and we're already charging it. So that's what I mean when I say that money could be a potential problem for us in this scenario. Anyway, let's, uh, hmm. We don't have a lot of money left, but let's build more stuff. We built rather compact to start with, so we'll have to re we'll have to build lots of additional rides, I think. Let's see. I mean, like, uh, build again rides that we've already built. Okay, open this, twist one. And the colors, I think I'll leave them where they are, that's fine. Okay, and hopefully we'll get access to snowy trees at some point. We don't at the moment because we haven't unlocked snowy theming yet. I think actually what we should do is, uh, okay, we're working on the Giga Coaster. After we get that, let's, uh, let's work on nothing but sh uh, sh scenery and theming so we can get access to the snowy theming and start theming this park to be the winter, uh, the Christmas special that it is. And there it is, there's the Giga Coaster, which we cannot afford because that's a massive roller coaster. Let's make the track here blue, make the supports a lighter blue, and leave the mouse cars as they are. Well, maybe not blue, it's kind of hard to see it, or the, it blends with the, with the supports. I could make it white, but now it's going to blend with the ground when I change it, so maybe black and light blue rails. I don't know, we'll get back to that if we want to. Woohoo! Okay, what's next? We have go-karts already, which is cool. I guess I'll build those. Let's see. Um, we'll call it the reindeer qualifiers, because only the fastest reindeer are accepted into the Santa Sleigh program on scholarship. So race way out. The super speedway. And then hairpin. So you have to practice when to slam on your brakes. And you never turn while you're braking. You, you turn after you brake. You have to plan it just right. Let's just kind of wander about here. What even is this layout? I wish there was a more variety of pieces for this. Instead, we just have tight hairpin corners. Okay, let's add more station tiles so we can have more cars, more ca more contestants in this uh, majestic Grand Prix. Perfect. Okay, let's get the path set up. And the exit, asphalt. And open. Nice. And now let's decorate it. I think we have mechanical theming, don't we? Aw oh, man, we don't have it yet. Okay. Well, when we unlock mechanical theming, we'll be able to uh, put tires around it. Because there's a the little cylinder, short, the short cylinder pieces, if you paint them black, they just look like tires. And it really makes the theming for this look really good. So the theming will have to wait, because we don't have it, and we don't have the money. So let's bring this around. Okay. Maybe loop this back, delete those mistakes, and now we're super poor. Now we're super poor. I can't even... Well, I guess I can advertise the park. Advertise the park! We'll take out a bit of a loan so we can advertise our wooden roller coaster, Santa's sleigh ride, and advertise free burgers, I guess. Nice. I wonder what else we could sell here. We have hot chocolate, don't we? Do we have it yet? Oh, maybe not. I know we get it at some point. We might get it later. Oh, well. We'll, we'll get it later. Let's sell ice cream, because we all know that when it's cold out, you eat ice cream to make you cold on the inside, too. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, but anyway, let's sell ice cream, because why not? And maybe some other drinks, like lemonade. Whoa. Did I just rotate everything? What'd I do? Hold on. Weren't these all just... Oh, okay. I, that, that was confusing. I thought they were all facing one direction and I faced the other direction. That was weird. Okay, make this uh, the same price as what were the drinks over here? How did I how did I price these? One eighty. Okay, so make these one eighty as well. I'm still salty about that award, the most disappointing park in the country. Gosh, what the heck is that even supposed to mean? Harsh. Okay, let's make this 30 cents, as I always do. We'd like to nickel and dime our guests. If you want the best, you pay the most. 
but then I have to actually make my park the best. <laughs> Let's put this here, change the umbrellas to $20. Whoops. $20. Same price throughout park. Set that to a buck thirty. Nice. Did I open that? I forgot to open it. There we go. Good thing I caught that. That would have been bad. <laughs> okay. And what else can we do with the, what little cash we have? Ah, uh, balloons, I guess. We can have balloons. Right by the bathroom. And I think we can charge 150 for these, which I discovered recently. I've always been charging like a dollar or a dollar twenty-ish. And uh, it's always been a, a missed opportunity that I could have been earning more. And here they go! Blue takes the lead, followed closely by gold. Gold wants to show that gold is superior to silver. Or blue, I guess. I'm not a very good commentator. I'm not going to do that. <laughs> let's see. Oh, I see vomit. We need staff before I forget. So let's hire a few of those and a few of those. And we also need benches. So let's grab some benches. Maybe, uh, let's see. Yeah, let's use the fancier benches. Place them everywhere to limit the amount of vomit that appears in the park the best we can. What these do is they give the guests a place to sit where they can uh, let their nausea meter cool off a bit and let their energy meter go up, which is also good. So dual benefits. All right, let's place some here at the... Uh, oh, that's a dead end. Whoops. Place them here. Okay, that's that should be sufficient. Let's grab some garbage cans as well. So we don't have a litter problem. Although I don't know if any of our food items actually produce litter. Well, the drinks probably do, so. Place these everywhere. Just spam them all over the place. Here, here, there, and everywhere. Okay, we're actually making a lot of money now. We are quickly earning back the money we spent. It. Well, we already out-earned what we spent to advertise. So let's turn this down while I'm thinking about it. And then we'll turn it back up if we want to build. But that way we don't pay interest on money that we don't have. Okay, advertise the campaign for the park just finished. That means we should restart it. Let's advertise the wild mouse this time. I think the wild mouse might actually have better stats than the woody. Let me let me check that actually. I want to see. 6.9, 7.8 versus 6.8 and 8.8. .8. Okay, it's a maybe not. Mechanical theming. Woo! Let's let's start placing that. So this is what I was talking about, the pipe section. If we color this black, now we have what look like little tires. Whoops. We can place. Oh my gosh, I can't. I can't do this. But we can place around the track, much like an actual racetrack. Not that all racetracks necessarily have this, but many do, and it's recognizable as something that you see around a racetrack. So it's it's nice. And now we have this weird clipping thing going on. Let's not think too much about that. <laughs> That's annoying. And there they go. The fantastic racers. Here it all doubles up, which is fine, I guess. Whoops, didn't mean to do that. Let's actually thicken these corners so they don't look as funny. There we go. Yeah, doesn't th isn't this cool? Get the theming for the for the go-karts. Then I'll probably place other forms of theming around it as well, but for now this is all we have access to until we unlock the snow and ice theming. Although we could probably put mine theme uh, mine theming around it too. Let's see. Okay. And the entrance and exit don't need them, so we'll stop it there. Let's do the inside now. This might take a minute. Although I was told by someone in, the, in a recent comment that they'd like to see me do a scenario where I kind of just relax. I'm not racing to win, necessarily. So slowing down and actually doing the nitty-gritty stuff like this. Maybe some of you enjoy that. I don't know. It might be boring to many of you, so I apologize for that, but some people are actually requesting it, so I'm doing my best. I'm doing my best to produce the best value I can. And we're almost done. Just a few more along this inside edge here, all the way to the station. 
And this tight spot here, if you crash there, you might end up in head-on oncoming traffic and get, have a head-on collision. So drive carefully, folks. I want to see no shenanigans on the track. No skidding and no drifting. Although that's actually funny because they always say that. When you go to a go-kart course, they say no drifting. And then you inevitably drift just because you're trying to race the person next to you. And it just happens. It's not that you're doing it on purpose. You just lose traction. And it actually helps you steer better. <laughs> so, in a way, you know. Anyway, that was a lot of money. Let's see, the ads are still running. Let's see, what are we researching now? We are researching another form of theming, as, because that's the only thing we can research because of what I did. I don't want to fast forward. I need to have time to actually develop this park. So, we're about halfway through year one. Okay, let's see. Let's think about... Many of our guests might spend all of their money at the entrance, and if they don't have money in their pocket, they may go home. So to keep them in the park, let's give them a cash machine for them to use. Look how many, look how many people are coming to the park. This is great. Hello, fellas. How much do you have on you? 70, 80, 80 as well. What about you? 60, 80, 70, I don't see anybody with 58, so maybe I... I don't know where I got that number from. Oh, this guy's got his hands in his pockets. He's in a bad mood. He won't be in a bad mood for long. Things will get better shortly, my friend. Yeah, lots of people pouring in. Look at all this income. Well, I guess we'll leave it at 60, because I don't see anyone with 58. So that's a good... That's, that's a good thing. And we are quickly earning lots of money. So let's... Uh, let's see. What else can we build? That we haven't yet. We have more roller coasters, but those are rather expensive. I think perhaps what we could do is just expand and start laying out the uh, framework of the next section. So this area... Oh, parking uh, advertising campaign just wrapped up. So let's restart it again. And advertise Santa Sleigh again. Santa Sleigh ride. Poof. Okay. So this is the North Pole. Or no, this is Santa's workshop. It's not so it's part of the North Pole, but specifically Santa's workshop. So these could actually be toys. So this could be So the Flay yeah, the Fly Rides could be toys. That actually makes sense. So the Rudolph lost his nose lol. Let's name this the uh uh wooden horse. And recolor it. Okay, that's kind of a disappointing color. Make it white. There we go. Much better. And this could be the science student's toy. I don't even know. I probably shouldn't overthink this too much. I'll just just let it roll. Let her rip. You see some of those mega parks people build where, that are insanely detailed. Very, very impressive. But those take many, many, many hours to do every little fine detail. And I don't have many, many hours because I'm recording. I mean, unless you want to see a six-hour video, let me know in the comments. <laughs> but I've also never built anything with that level of detail. I always... I've always played with the objective of winning, not so much the objective of making it look super pretty. Although that inevitably happens when I try to build pretty looking roller coasters. But the nitty gritty fancy stuff with the scenery, I've never really worked that hard at that. So if you want to see a longer video where I do that, let me know in the comments and I'll, I'll think about doing something like that. No promises though, it's not my forte. Well, maybe it is, I just haven't discovered it. I don't know. I've never done it. Ooh, medieval theming, nice. That gives me an idea, actually. We could have... We could have a, a frozen fortress or a frozen citadel. As a, if, if there's any Minecraft fans in the comments, has anyone watched Tango Tech's uh, season uh, Hermitcraft Season 9 build of Decked Out? So he, he named the building around it the Frost... Uh, Fro... What was it? Frosted Citadel? Frozen Citadel? I can't remember. But we could do something like that, where we build an icy castle with maybe the gray pieces here. Are these black? Hold on, you can color these. Oh, fancy! Look at that! I didn't realize you could do that. For some reason, I always thought that you got mismatched pieces where you have gray towers and then red walls. I <laughs> you can color these! What's wrong with me? <laughs> I'm dumb. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Uh, positive uh, affirmation. <clears throat> what am I saying? So we have a Ferris wheel now. Now, I want to put flowers around it, but flowers would realistically die in the North Pole, so maybe dead bushes? Do we even have anything like that? Not really. It doesn't look like it. 
And we don't have anything in the way of dead trees. But I, let's see, what are we working on now? We just got medieval theming. So maybe this could be Santa's workshop, and then we can have the, uh, the frozen citadel could be the more high intensity area. So let's give it a fancier path type. Well, first of all, let's extend this out a ways. And I can't help but make the path look awful while I'm at it. <laughs> you know, this kind of organic look is kind of cool, actually, so I'm going to leave it. Well, no, I'm not. I don't like it. I said I like it, but I don't like it. I was trying to trying to affirm myself there. Let's see. Let's give these paths that are paved with stones. And very carefully and symmetrically lay it out, unlike Santa's workshop. Have a nice right angle there. Whoops. Maybe what I should do is build the frozen citadel first. So let's grab our castle pieces. And we'll have a gatehouse, which will be these. As, or no, this will be the gatehouse. Gatehouse. Like so. And I wish, I wish you could use this. And that the path could go through it. But you can't, which is frustrating. So instead we'll do this. Uh, this, I mean. That is the wrong elevation. <laughs> I want... Oh, man. Maybe you have to use this one. Let me see. Oh, that kind of works. Can this go under it? Nah. Okay. I didn't want... I wanted the, the yellow lines to match up. Oh, well. Well, that's fine. Let's extend this. So we have these uh, aerial slits shaped like crosses. And then the corner towers will be these, I suppose. Oh, that... Okay, we have to make this even bigger, we just realized. So make this go over here. And maybe instead of having everyone have an error slit, it'll be every other one. So let's delete that, and delete that, and make the other ones plain. There we go, that looks better already. Ad campaign just finished, and look how much money we made! Holy smoke! Let's lengthen the duration of this so I don't have to think about it as much. And advertise. And we'll do this one. We'll set this to the Steel Wild Mouse. 12 weeks as well. Boom! And by the time those are done, we should have tens of thousands of dollars. I think. Unless, well, maybe we capped out because we, uh... Well, we met the capacity of all the rides that we have. The soft guest cap. Anyway... Let's not overthink it. Let's just build and have fun. Let's grab this. Place that there and there. And grab the corner piece. And place it there. Now, do these really fit? Or maybe I could do this. I cannot do that. Never mind. Because it doesn't match with the walls. That's annoying. So I guess it has to be freestanding. Okay. So we have that. Now let's place more of these. Okay, this looks weird. I wish it had a junction in the middle. I guess we'll have to do it... I don't know. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll make it work. We will make it work, and I may not like it, though. We'll have a midway tower like this. Another corner piece. Make it face the opposite direction. Break these paths. Hello, mechanic. You're far away from where you're useful. And now let's do the same thing on the other side. Although I didn't finish this. What am I doing? Let's grab this. And I appear to be placing these on the wrong side. Whoops. There we go. Much better. These are expensive, I gotta say. Oops. Wrong side. Now this was, uh, that one was wrong, too. One, two, three, four of the of the walls with arrow slits. So it's one, two, three, four, and then it touches a tower. And then, one, two, three, four. And that lines up just perfectly with this one, although I think it's facing the wrong direction. Oh, no, it's not. It's facing the right direction. Okay. Now for the spacers. Okay, and in the grand scheme of things, this frozen citadel is tiny. <laughs> but the scale of the things we had to build with is also tiny, so it is what it is, I suppose. Oh well, let's uh, finish this off. 
And I guess we'll have another gatehouse in the middle or something. So, uh... Yeah, let's let's have a let's have the path go straight through, or not straight through, but go through it. So let's uh, have this here, and the well, something's not lining up. Hold on a minute. Did I make a mistake? So these have arrow slits. Oh, I totally made a mistake. I have two arrow slits next to each other. Darn it! Uh, <laughs> this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and this one's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Well, darn it. Okay. Well, this is kind of wide, so instead, I'm going to... No, let's make it bigger. Let's make it bigger. So let's knock this wall down. Well, I guess we have to knock both of them down. Knock everything down. Let's do this the fast way. Give me all that money back. Oops, come back. And fix these, because they're all wrong. And start over. Now, they should have a spacing between them. Okay, so I'm not going to make this wider, necessarily. We'll have to make it a little bit wider so it's even. Okay, and put this back on the corner. And before I forget, let's fix the path as well. Perfect. No, 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 come back, come back. Make this go this way. Watch out, folks. Watch out! And now he's going to walk away from the path. Oh, no, he went back to it. Perfect. I expected it to get lost. Because <laughs> they don't know how to find their way back sometimes. It's hilarious. Okay, let's see. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Let's have a tower here. Or a pair of towers. Maybe we could have more multiple exits. Well, no, let's just leave this one as... Well, put that back. We'll just uh, leave this one like this. Or maybe we have a portcullis, so it looks like it's supposed to be an exit, but it's not. And I think I put these on the wrong side again. Ducks, where are you going? Where are you going? You're supposed to stay with me. Hehe. <laughs> oh man. The ducks are abandoning me. Although it is September, it's almost the end of year one. And here I was saying we were going to get 2,000 by the end of year one. We're not. I mean, we could if we tried. I'm just getting distracted with the scenery, so... No matter. That doesn't go there. Let's place these down like this. Now they're on the right side, not the wrong side. Okay, and place these down like so. Those are the wrong ones. They're supposed to be these. Okay, was it one, two, three, four, five? One, two, three, four, five. This is going to be a very deep castle. Okay, turn this around. Perfect. Okay, let's delete these, because they're on the wrong spot. And delete these, because they are also in the wrong spot. Since I'm revising everything, let's see, one, two, three, four, five. So let's go one, two, three, four, space, five. Not there. Five. And this one goes there. Did I place this one backwards? Oh, good, I didn't. Perfect. Whoops. Turn this around. And I'm not even going to try to line that up. <laughs> I'd probably get it wrong if I did. So let's place this one down. One, two, three, four, five. Five. And we have a breakdown. That's not good. Okay. Tower. Tower. And then... One, two, three, four, five. And the corner tower, like so. This is what I mean when I say that scenery takes a while. Very tedious. Very slow. And even that being said, all we're doing is building a small castle, and it may not even look very good. I don't know if this will really turn out that good. But we'll try. And something's wrong. I did something. What did I just do? Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, that's what I did. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. Okay, I fixed it. Perfect. Okay, place those there. Let's grab our spacers and fill everything in. Boom. Boom. Not there. Boom. Boom. I think castles aren't really supposed to have multiple entrances. 
And I think I placed all of these in the wrong the wrong plane, darn it. They're supposed to be here. Yeah, they're all standing on the wrong side. So let's redo this. And mistakes cost money, so that's bad. We're not supposed to make mistakes. Because they're expensive. There we go. And we'll leave that open so we can put the portcullis there. Or not the portcullis, the, uh, the path there. Let's put bring this up. And I... Hmm. I wish I could fit these, fit these under it. Grab another portcullis. Or no, because we're going to leave these open so the paths can go through. Right. Alright, so grab the paths and have these loop around like this. I can't see what I'm doing. Have this go through like that. Perfect. Okay, now it loops around. This comes out. And I didn't quite finish. I gotta put these here. Perfect. Nice. There we go. Now we have the Frozen Citadel, which doesn't look very frozen yet, because it will later. <gasps> we unlocked it. I wasn't paying attention. Perfect. And here's the keep. That was a joke. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's tiny. That doesn't look good at all. <laughs> the keep is not going to be that. The keep, well, the keep's going to look different. Let's see. How do we do the keep? Let's build something fabulistically beautiful in the middle here. Uh, let's see. Let's make this centered. Let's go one, two, three, four, five, five space. So this is the center. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Ooh, floorless twister trains. Nice. And this isn't exactly the base that I want. I think we have to use these to do that. Uh, but for now, let's just lay it out. Our keep will look something like this, I think. Now let's actually raise it up. Or should I raise it up or should I build it up first? Oh, I don't have any filler pieces. I just have these. Yeah, it just floats. And you can't stack them together. So I guess the keep is going to be rather squat. Squat and low to the ground. Unless... Unless I build it out of stuff like these. Let me see what my options are. This looks like concrete. Uh, Metal. I don't want metal. Wood. Corrugated metal. Definitely no. Hmm. Yeah, our options are really limited. Oh, here we go. The Frosted Citadel, indeed. Well, now we're talking. Okay. So let's uh, just build these frozen bricks way up like this. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And on top of all that, that's where we place our tower. Boom. How about that? So that's the first corner. And I built it out of alignment. Darn it. <laughs> Darn it. Let's restart that. Uh, <laughs> 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 7. I'm not even going to count. I'm just going to eyeball it. Okay. Let's delete these the fast way. Okay. Get our money back. Look at all this money we have. Let's turn our loan off just while I'm thinking about it. So we stop paying interest and back to designing all this. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, the rest, the rest of these just match with it. So how now we have walls that look like snowy bricks. That is so perfect. And we could, well, let's save those. We'll put, we'll put the square towers in the corners. One there. One there. Okay, let's bring back the snowy bricks. Make sure this is lined up correctly so we don't have to redo it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And again. For anyone who doesn't know how to do this, I'm just holding down shift and clicking. And if I have to, I can drag the mouse to do that. That's something I never understood how to do as a kid. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. If I had known, I would have really improved my gameplay, but I, did, I, I don't know. 
It's not very intuitive to any player who, or a child in particular, who hasn't read the manual. Because manual is one of those anyway. Who reads a manual? Okay, so those are the four corners. Let's, uh, let's build up our walls. Let's see. Let's make this, um, one, two, three, four, five, six. So all these are six. You do see the lines of the individual pieces, but I think that's okay. That's fine. Okay, and now let's uh, grab these. Yeah, like that. And I didn't make the. Oh, no, no, I made this even. That's bad. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Or no, I didn't. It's just not lining up the way I want. Okay. Uh, huh. Interesting. I guess we'll have a double space in the middle. Oh, well, that's fine. Let's uh, continue. One, two, three, four, five, six. The Frozen Citadel. And I just realized I'm doing these all on the wrong side. Or no, I'm not. It's, these are out of alignment. How did I make this mistake again? <laughs> I'm doing everything wrong today. What in the world? Restart all this. Oh my gosh. I think it'll help if I turn grid lines on. Let's see. Grid lines. Do I have grid lines? Well, I have grid lines by default. What am I saying? I am so scatterbrained today. I don't know what my problem is. What in the world? I'm looking for grid lines and there's already grid lines on here. Okay, so this is lined up. Yeah, if I build it there, if I build it there, let's keep it there as a placeholder. Okay, now I can't lose it. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Very good. Grab our tower and place it on top. My gosh, what a headache. I don't think I like scenery. <laughs> it's too much work. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And that's why I wasn't lining up, is because I had that extra tile there. So now it should evenly. Perfect. Even spacing. Nice. Very good. Okay. Let's do the same. Let's grab, uh, where is it? Let's grab the, uh, well, actually, before we finish, we need to put a roof on this that goes partly up the, uh, part way up the wall. So let's grab some roof tiles like these. Turn this. Maybe line it up halfway. This is going to be hard. Oh yeah, someone told me in the comments that I can hold control and it lets me do this. So thanks for that. I didn't realize I could do that. So that's going to save me a huge amount of time. Actually, I got to give credit where credit is due. Let me look up, look that up really quick. That was... Who said that? There it is. Aharanti son. I apologize if I said that wrong. 6958. If you hold control, it keeps it at the same height. Really helpful for scenery. Yes, indeed it is. I am grateful for that tip. That is making this much faster and less painful. <laughs> No, not there. There we go. That's a beautiful thing. Okay, shift. And then... Oh, something something went wrong. Hold on. There we go. Beautiful. Okay, now that that started... Oh, I missed one. I missed one. There we go. Fixed it. Okay. Now let's uh, let's build the other walls before I before I miss it or uh, forget. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Not gonna count for all of them. And all these poor peeps who don't have umbrellas, let's give them umbrellas. Let me place this there. Is that where I want it? Oh, I can't even see it. Where is it? Oh, the path is wrong. Ha, ha, ha. It'll fix the path. Delete this path. Information kiosk. Move it. 
There we go. Perfect. And we'll change the color of these umbrellas to blue to show that these, okay, people with blue umbrellas bought them from a different place, which is kind of cool. Perfect. Okay, back to this. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. I think I miscounted. Oops. No, didn't mean to do that. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. And now here's where things get tricky. I have to find a way to make this uh, look okay despite the roof. Or maybe just lower the roof a little bit. Or I can make it a, not a cannered roof, a, a, a roof that goes four ways. Yeah, that might be the best option. Do I have corner pieces? Roof corners for this. I'm not sure I do. That's a problem. Huh. Okay. Yeah, how do I do this? I need something similar to this, but it's a square and it's like, uh, it's not rounded. That's frustrating. Uh, what have we unlocked recently when I wasn't paying attention? Oh, I guess we got all of the scenery, so it turned itself off. Yeah, it turned itself off, so let's turn all these on. Since we got all the scenery, so we have everything we wanted. That's good. Grab this. Place them here like this. Nice. Over here, let's do these ones. And then these. Oh, ducks! Hold on, I gotta collect the ducks. Woohoo! Hello, feathered friends! So you're coming in for the for the spring because it's March again. Very nice, very nice. Uh, oh, I see you had a child. How how lovely. Flew off to the warm climate and then had babies. Okay, let's do the back wall. This citadel is proving to be very challenging. Or maybe not challenging, but tedious. I mean, this is all easy. It's just so many easy steps it becomes hard. Too many easy steps is just hard. We'll just say that. Okay, now for the walls, the castle walls. Boom, 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 boom. And these ones as well. Cool. Yeah, I like how this is coming together. This is nice. Now for this part, I don't know what I'm going to do about that, aside from maybe filling in the bottom. Yeah, I think that's what we'll have to do, is we'll have to fill in the bottom. Okay, uh, bring this back. Give me my roof pieces. That is in the wrong tile. Wrong tile again. Let's move a little closer. Wrong spot. Come on. Here we go. Assuming that's in the right spot. Or not. Something went wrong. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Oops. Wrong button. I don't know what I'm doing. Let's turn this and try from this angle. Why is this not working? Okay, maybe if I... Huh. I guess I have to delete these first. We'll fill them in later. There we go. That's what I was trying to do. Now from here, raise this a little higher. One more layer. I think. Assuming I didn't totally botch it. Oh, no, I didn't. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Something is seriously amiss. Yeah, I started these ones. I started these ones lower. Gosh dang it. <laughs> Whoops. Although that might be better, though, because it doesn't poke up above the wall so much. Or we, we, could, we could give it a flat roof. So maybe delete these. Well, not a flat roof, but it's a, a flat peak of the roof. So delete all of these. All the hard work we did down the drain. Oh, look, our ad campaign finished. And we don't have very much money to show for it because I've been so distracted. Okay. Let's try this again. Make this the same as the one we just did. Okay, move over one tile. Bring this up. And now we give ourselves a flat roof. 
And unfortunately, I don't see anything, whoops, anything flat with shingles on it, so we'll just have to use this concrete block. Are they supposed to be different? They look like the same texture, and they're both colored. Oh well, anyway. Let's use this, and that's in the wrong spot. Here we go. Not quite the right color, but we can all we can always go back and retroactively paint it. Yes, there we go. That's cool. That's neat. Okay, let's fill in the wall the rest of the way. Right there. And the last piece. The there. Perfect. And now we'll place a second story. Yeah, that makes sense. We'll place a second story to the fortress, to the citadel. Although I think these should be rotated. It's uh, twisted around. There we go. Oh no, this one will be facing this way, so both of the little gables are facing out. Same with this one. Facing out. Hello, little duck. I am too busy, too preoccupied to quack you at the moment, so I apologize. Oops, I should have kept that. That was exactly where I wanted it. Whoopsie daisy. Let's do the same here. And here. Nice. And now we'll have a raised section and put circular towers on top. So let's grab, let's see, I think if we could if we could pull this off, this will be fantastic. I don't know if we can though. Let's uh guess around. There we go. Got that one in the right spot. And that one. Not there. Not there. Almost. Not there. Not there. I'm so close. Yes, right there. One more. Right there. Yes. Now we'll use a the, the cross again. Not there. I guess I just have to keep guessing until it gets in the right spot. Yeah, there we go. Like that. There we go. This is coming together rather nicely. This is so cool. At first I was regretting how long this is taking thinking. I probably just have to start over this whole recording. Haha. <laughs> but this is nice. Maybe it was worth it. Okay, one more. Perfect. Yes. And now if we can center this. Oh, ho the Frozen Citadel, ladies and gentlemen, it is completed. Let's go. <laughs> the Frosty Frozen Citadel. Okay. Now, uh, our income was pretty high and now it's kind of dropped off a bit because we're not building any new rides and our ad campaigns stopped. So let's restart them. Advertise the wooden roller coaster because that's our best one. Our Santa sleigh ride. Okay, that was a lot of money. While we're letting those do their thing, let's fill this space inside of the castle with flat rides, because that seems to be the most, uh, what makes the most sense for the inside of this. Let's put a circus. This seems like a nice medieval kind of thing to have in a, in a castle. What is with these colors, though? White and red, that makes more sense. Perfect. Open. And now let's put some food items in here, like maybe popcorn for the circus. Uh-oh, I don't think that's touching the... Yeah, it's not touching the path. Whoopsie-daisy. Okay. And with that, let's grab the popcorn again. Popcorn. Right there. Change the price to $2, because I'm price gouging, because I need money. Give me all your money, people! And maybe... Maybe not that. Maybe we could have... A bathroom over here. Place it right there. 30 cents. And what else? We need drinks out here. But we only have these two drinks. We don't have any hot chocolate yet. Oh well, we'll just place another drink stall. by the popcorn. Seems fitting. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Two, uh, wait a minute. 120. That's supposed to be 180. Same price as the rep park. Perfect. Alright. Let's build some other stuff. We don't have a magic carpet yet. I completely forgot about this. So let's build one of these, maybe a little further back, so there's room for the queue line. Let it warm up. Perfect. Open. And we have to change the colors as well. That's kind of cool. Blue and yellow. And what else? Swinging inverter ship. Just like the magic carpet. 
Now I'm putting a modest amount of space between everything. So I can fill in the rest of the space with scenery. That is, if I get around to it. Speaking of scenery. Now that we have this, we have the snowy trees. So let's go flesh this area out with snowy trees. Another frosty uh, scenery. Like the snowy castle. Oh, this fits perfectly. Right there. Let's grab some igloos. Do we have a... We, the mechanical theming has a fire, so we could have, like, this. Give it a brown base as if it's, a, like, a campfire. And we'll change the ground type to... Well, we'll change the... Oops, wrong tab. We'll change the ground type after we change everything to ice, because then I don't want to have to do it twice. Let's see. Uh, more scenery. Grab the snowy stuff. Get some snowy trees everywhere. Not there, apparently. Oh, this one fits in corners. Nice. We have an ice cube for some reason. Not sure what we do with that. Snowflakes. Cool. And then log cabins. This looks like a shop, so we'll place it there. Just a few shops like this. Not really serving a purpose. And snowy rails. That's fun. Just put a redundant fence here, because why not? Why not, I say. Who wouldn't want a fence there? And an igloo wall. Okay, let's uh, place these here first. And then place these on top. Whoops. There we go. Oh, we have a water coaster. Well, we're not there yet. We're still, we're still working our way up in the scenery department. Uh, why won't this center work with me? There we go. Okay, and the igloo ceiling thingy. Oh, I killed it. Darn it. I was supposed to drag. I was supposed to drag it up. There we go. Raise it up. And I'll have to replace these ones that I broke. There's that one. And that one. Perfect. Okay. Let's got a... Oh, we have a snowball. Snowball with a face on it. Although I can't see the face. There's the face. Look at that little face. <laughs> I didn't even... I never knew that until I think it was Marshall Voss or someone pointed it out in a YouTube video that the snowballs have faces on them. And somehow I never knew that. So let's make a snowman. And how do we cap off this snowman? What works as a hat? Let me see. How do we give this guy a hat? That doesn't work. Uh, <laughs> let's see. I want to give him a hat. But I don't know what to use. We could give him like a bowler hat. Not a bowler hat, though. No, it's not centered. Darn it. I was hoping it was centered. Water shoot out his head. I don't think anything's gonna work. Oh well. It was worth a shot. Well, there's gotta be something in here. Oh, here we go. Now he has a hat. <laughs> Look at that little hat. That's hilarious. Put some more trees everywhere. Walking in a winter wonderland. Speaking of which, let's kill the music on the merry-go-round and replace it with something winter-esque. Let's see. Ice style? I can barely hear it over every all the noise from the rides, but oh well. That's fine. We have new income coming in. That's good. Let's see. What else can we do today? Maybe... Maybe more scenery, because I don't have to think very hard about it. Hehe. <laughs> I don't want to think. Brains, using brain cells is hard. So lots of snowy trees everywhere. And it seems that we had a breakdown. That's not good. Look at all this unused space I left here. We need something to put there. That's the problem with a park this size. Is this A regular sized park might be about the, a quarter of this size. But we have a you know, massive map to work with. Which is cool because we have lots of space to be creative and do stuff. But it's difficult when you try to flesh the whole thing out. Then it gets tricky. So now that we have this scenery, let's flesh this area out too. Let's put a shop there. Snowballs that serve no purpose. They're just funny because I have faces on them. 
maybe an igloo. And then we have medieval stuff too, so let's maybe put some medieval houses around. What end is the front? Okay, it's facing the right direction. A little shopping center over here. Speaking of which, let's put some food over here. We already have food over there, but options is always good. Buck 30. Buck 30 for your cotton candy, which by today's amusement park standards, that's really cheap. I'm still so proud of this. It was such a headache putting it together, but it actually came out pretty cool. Anyway, let's build more rides instead of dilly-dallying. I think it's time to build a roller coaster. So let's build... Let's build a roller coaster that I actually made a tutorial for this design in a, well, in a tutorial video. It's just like a minute and a half long. Let's place it maybe here-ish. And make sure I get two trains. So let's uh, change this to plane so I can see what's going on. There we go, two trains. And I don't remember how many boosters I need, so we'll have to make this up here. Is this enough to go through a large loop? Just barely. Okay. Whoops. Another half loop. And loop again. Loop again. Not that direction. Loop right. And I have a feeling I'm doing this wrong. Yep, I was supposed to have one more tile of booster. So let's put that there. There we go. Large loop right. Course key right. Course key right. Large loop right. Now, large loop left to go over the track. Large loop right. Very good. And I think I'm doing this all backwards because the entrance has to go over here. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, boy. But lucky for us, this is very, very easy and fast to do. So left it is. Horse screw left. Left again. Large loop left. Here we go. And now I have room to put the entrance on the correct side, as you can see. Photo section! Okay, large loop left, corkscrew left, corkscrew left again, and half loop left. Perfect! What a beautiful roller coaster. Let's paint it a very sharp, a very saturated blue, not purple, blue, with red, maybe not red, maybe green supports. And are these floorless? Let's go floorless because floorless get superior stats. Nice. And while that's warming up, let's build the entrance to it. And this, whoops, this roller coaster will have absolutely monstrous throughput. So we don't want you don't want to make the queue line too long because it's just wasted space. Okay. Same price to that park. That's what I want. Let's open. We get our super nice stats. Perfect. Okay, and I just basically blocked this whole area off. What was I thinking? <laughs> I could probably put a large roller coaster over here, actually, so no biggie. No biggie. And I can flesh it out with trees and stuff later. Let's see. What else can we do today? Let's build another roller coaster somewhere. Maybe a looping roller coaster. That's always fun. That is not what I meant to click. Looping roller coaster. Build custom design as I always do. And we will build this maybe over here outside of the castle. So we got the frozen citadel, and then we have a looping roller coaster. Let's build it just slightly off the ground. Just slightly. Let's see, that's one train, two trains, perfect. And I really like the roller coaster, the train design for Roller Coaster Tycoon 2 better than the one for Roller Coaster Tycoon 1. It just looks better. And it's more compact, so you can fit more into the, more into the station. And these boosters are pathetic. Come on, what is that? <laughs> Fine, oh, let's use a lift hill. I, I, like, I like boosters because it gives a higher throughput. It's faster, it progresses through the track faster, but it's so, these boosters are weak. So pathetic, so we won't, we won't use them. Then we get access to banked 
sloped turns with the roller coaster tycoon 2 version of this roller coaster, which is nice. Okay. That comes up to 10 feet. Okay, that goes to the ground. I don't want to go to the ground, so let's make it do this. There we go. Much better. And that goes to the ground, which I don't want. Can I manage to squeeze in? Oh, look at that. Fancy. And we need to take a loan out to do this. But that's fine. Low interest means low collateral for being reckless in our spending habits. Which means we can make this crazy. We can make a crazy design with minimal, minimal damage. Okay, I think we should have slowed down enough that we can put a loop here. Let's make it a double loop. And then come up like this, ever so gently. So we can go through the loops. That's a problem, okay. Maybe if we go wide. And then uh, helix down. Oh, no, not gonna work. Maybe if we go like this. Let's see, what's the hold up? Oh, I'm hitting the loop. I'm too tall. Okay. Okay, for a tight turns it is. Is this low enough to... No, it's not. Okay, so we have to do it like this. That's annoying. I'd like to be able to helix through the loop twice, but I just don't have room. Unless I turn the other way. Maybe this is how to do it. Here we go. There we go. That's what I wanted. And then obviously that's not going to work. Didn't think it would. It is barely going through those loops. That's actually kind of scary. And then just crawl through the helix and stall. It's probably going to stall. <laughs> yeah, I totally stalled. Oh, brother. Well, uh, maybe I could, I could revise this somewhat if I break these and make the lift hill just slightly taller. Let's go to maybe 90 feet. If I have room. Oh good, I have room, perfect. Bring this down, oh, 15 feet, huh? What did I do, what did I do differently here? Okay, something, something's wrong. Oh, well, it's fine. We can do this instead. To 15 feet. Little airtime pop. And break this. Whoops. Flatten that out to, uh, to 65. We have to find our way back up to 65 somehow. Or 75, whatever. No, that's not going to work. Let's go to 20. Here we go. Now it'll, now it'll connect just nicely. Whoops. Well, kind of. It, is, it looks a little janky, but at least we'll be able to go through the loops without a hitch. And does this go outside the loop? Oh, darn it. Okay. Let's go around. Kind of. Or maybe start this a little sooner. Okay, listen to that circus. Can I fit a photo section here? Oh man, I can't. Ooh, we have a road to drop. Nice. One of the best flat rides in the game. We'll deal with that in a minute. First, I'm working this out. 
And that doesn't work. Okay. Um, maybe we turn and go the other way. Yeah, here, that, this is cool. Can we actually come up through these? Yeah, look at that. That is neat. Neat, neat, neat. Very cool. And now we're at five feet, which is precisely the elevation we want to be to return to the station. Or the multiple of feet, I guess. I don't know. Let's uh, go up. Little bonus hill. Maybe not do that. Uh, well, now the castle's in the way. Okay, bad idea. Bad idea. Let's, uh... That's not going to work either. Okay. Let's have a mini hill. To 15. Back down to 5. Let's put brakes here. Brakes to 13, which may not slow down the train sufficiently to produce any crazy breakneck G-forces. So we'll just have to test it out. More brakes. Okay, or maybe this should be 18 and those last ones should be 13. So it's 18, 18, 13, 13. Perfect. Okay, let's test this monstrosity. I usually don't build loopers this big, so this is going to be really fun. And what's up with these colors? Come on. <laughs> let's follow train one. And while we're following it, I'm going to revise these awful colors. Something electrifying. Woo! That's fun! And to complement that color scheme, we'll make the train red with uh, white highlights. Okay, let's watch these G forces, make sure we don't get anything too extreme, although I think it'll be perfectly fine. Yeah, it'll be fine. Nothing to worry about here. Woohoo! Although the graph preview goes all the way up to 8G, so there might be something somewhere that's a problem, come to think of it. Because it usually doesn't do that unless the game already knows it's going to botch something somewhere. So, <laughs> but I can't see where it possibly would. The loops, it goes through the loops slowly, doesn't it? Interesting. Woohoo! Through the loop. Nice and easy, not even exceeding 4Gs. It's barely even exceeding 3Gs. And the laterals all look good. And then just gently crawl through that helix. Barely not stall. Yeehaw! Hop over that hill. <laughs> it's barely, barely making it. Uh, we might have a crash on this if the train stalls. Huh. Interesting. So we may want to only go through the helix once, come to think of it. So yeah, let's only go through the helix. But, well, not the helix. Let's only go through the loop once. So let's uh, break all this stuff. Break everything back to the helix. Okay, let's see. Okay, let's add another hill here. Just for funsies, and something's in the way. So what's in the way? Oh, that's in the way. Heh. <laughs> that's not going to work. Okay. Well, in that case, we'll just uh, go down to five feet. Can I sneak through here if I do it differently? Nope. Oh, wait, no, it's because it's, it's directly over me. I thought I was going alongside it, and if I just threaded the needle just right, it would work. But nope, that's not going to work. So let's put the brakes here. Brakes to 18. Three sets of them. Set the last one to 13. Break these, because we don't need them anymore. Perfect. And with that, I think we'll have less likelihood of stalling. Nowhere to stall on this train, on this roller coaster. And now, let's expand our path network. Okay, let's go out way over here. Woohoo! Something like that, I don't know. And then this will kind of gradually follow the contour of the lake. 
and then come out to here, this point where we'll have an abrupt right angle. Cool. Let's make this green to match the track. And that should be sufficient. The queue line's not particularly long, I guess. Well, yeah, let's make the queue line longer. I think that would actually be beneficial. So let's, uh, whoops. Bring this back. And zigzag it up like so until the last second and drop it. Perfect. Okay, let's get our stats back. Not bad for a looper. It's nice that the excitement exceeded the intensity. Open for business. And I forgot my photo section. Gosh darn it. Okay, close. Heh <laughs> heh. Whoopsie. I wonder where I could put it. Maybe inside one of these loops if I do this right. Leave that flat. Photo section. Now helix up. Keep that rolled. Okay. It's barely noticeable. Barely noticeably different. So now we have a potential source of income from this roller coaster, so it at least pays for its operating costs, hopefully. Uh, did our ad campaigns finish? They did, and I wasn't paying attention. So let's restart that one. And uh, advertise the looper. Okay. Okay, let's call this the... Uh, Frosty Worm. Worm spelled as in dragon. Because of the, you know, the frozen citadel. Maybe this is the ruler of the citadels. The, fro the frosty dragon. It'll be a green dragon. I don't know. Let's think about what we do next. I just spent most of my money on advertising. We have about uh, half of the park laid out. Not fleshed out, just laid out. So maybe we should lay out the other half of the park. So we have the frosty citadel. We have the, we have Santa's workshop. Then we can have the Frozen Frontier, which will maybe have the Abominable Snowman and other monsters and things like that. So I wonder what kind of path we should use for that. Maybe just Asphalt again? I don't know. Because Asphalt's not the most attractive path map, after all. Although, as a preview, while I have a bit of cash, I want to see what this will look like. So let's switch this to Ice. Make this really big. And watch as it just destroys my... By my bank account. <laughs> no, I'm poor. <laughs> and I, oh, I forgot. I got to pay my loan off still. Darn it. Oh, man. But well, we have a decent source of income coming in through the gates of the entra Coming through the entrance. This is very crowded. And our, and our uh, handymen are sleeping on the job. Although it looks like I don't have enough of them. Well, let's grab one of them. Come here, buddy. Oh, he's working. He's working. Why is there trash in the ground? There's trash cans right there. Come on, people. What's wrong with you? Okay. Now, let's think about this uh, frozen frozen frontier. Something I didn't think about was transport rides. I completely forgot. How am I going to make a train go through all this? I could... Yeah, let's get the train laid out first before I build anything else. Because I don't want it to have to go over hills to go through things. Because hills suck for trains. Oh, I have a nice little corridor I could snake through there. So let's grab our miniature railway, which would be add a lot of charm to our park. And just sneak it through there. And now, can I S-bend here? Aw, oh, man, I ruined my tree. Darn it. Okay, how am I going to pull this off? I may have to ruin my trees. Unless... Here we go. Now I don't have to ruin my tree. Nice, 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 nice. Very nice. Okay. Let's put the station here. One, two, three, four, five, six. How long of a train can we get? Okay, that's as long as it gets. Why is it so loud? <laughs> My gosh. Okay, so I need this last tile. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight tiles long to get the maximum length of the train. Very good. Okay, now I have to somehow maneuver this through everything 
without crashing into uh, into the roller coaster. Okay, I'm crashing into Santa Sleigh. Let's go around this way. Crashing into Santa Sleigh again. Maybe just leave it going diagonal for now. Uh, not like that. Oh, perfect, perfect, perfect. Now we're cooking butter. Now we're cooking chicken. Let's see, where does that come out to? Oh man, that doesn't work after all. I thought it would work. Gosh dang it. Maybe if I make it narrower, no, no, not gonna work, okay. Okay, fine. Maybe if we do this. Oh, look at that. We can go right alongside the path and rest in peace, Snowball, you won't be missed. Let's see, S-Bend to the right. Uh, da, 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 da. This isn't gonna work. Let's S-Bend a little sooner. S-Bend right. Here we go. Eh, here we don't go. Heh <laughs> heh S-Bend right. Well, this can move. This is, this is not hard to move. So let's just close this. Get everybody off. Sorry, fellas. I have to move this. Put the exit here. The entrance there. And the queue line is a little short, but that's fine. It's a little short. Well, actually, I can fix it pretty easily. Let's just, uh... Just, uh... There we go. Now it's a respectable length. Open that up again. And uh, where's my, uh... Where's my miniature railway? Here we go. So now we go straight. Perfect. Now follow along that direction. Okay, so station one is over there. So let's try to get an idea of how long each segment needs to be. Just follow along the perimeter here. Okay. And maybe I made that go too far because I'm going to crash into the edge of the park. Let's bring this back a few tiles. There we go. I love the ambiance of the miniature railway. It's really nice. And maybe we'll have to replace this portcullis with an entrance. Oh well. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Was that even the right length? Oh yeah, that's perfect. Okay. Perfect. Now straighten up. Now we have to uh, maneuver through the looper. Oh well, that couldn't have gone much better. <laughs> right through the loops and everything. Beautiful. Beautiful. Rent right through without a hitch. Oh, we have a topspin. That reminds me, we have other rides that I unlocked that I forgot to build, like this. Let's build ourselves a roto drop, and where should I put it? Let's put it right over here in the corner. Right over here on the corner. I think the optimal height is 170 feet tall. And unlike Roller Coaster Tycoon 1, Roller Coaster Tycoon 2 had the sense to make zero ground level. I don't know why, but Roller Coaster Tycoon 1 makes it like negative five or other weird numbers like that, which doesn't make sense. Anyway, instead of razzing on Roller Coaster Tycoon 1, which I love the game, I, I don't want to offend anybody. <laughs> That's just, some things just don't make a lot of sense. Let that test. Back to designing our miniature railway. Right to the edge of the park. And is this going to work? Oh, no, the hills are in the way. Okay, we can't do that. Cannot do that. Bring it closer. Okay. All the way over here. Station is over there. So the next station should be... Let's see. This station should actually be a little further back, come to think of it. So let's break it. Move it. Put it here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's slightly better in relation to that one. But it doesn't have to be perfect. Let's see, let's go around the mountain here when she comes. Around the mountain when she comes. Station, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ferris wheel broke down, what a tragedy. That's not fun, we don't want the, the what the, what the, why is there just, all right, I'm not even gonna ask, I'm not even gonna question it, that's fine, that's funny. <laughs> that's, that's weird, that's what that is. Let's go straight along to this deserty, hilly, dune area. Diagonal along the edge. And we're really gonna have to flesh this area out in order to make this work. 
And look how cheap this is. We're not even putting a dent in our money. That is great. Break a few of those tiles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now we just have to return it to the to the first station. We might actually be a little close to it, so we could maybe mosey about. Or maybe going straight instead of diagonal is what we need. I don't know. Straight. Come on down. Let's get closer so we can actually see what's going on. Okay. I like how this is coming together. Uh, not, not dip. Oh, look at that. Perfect. Lined up just perfectly. Okay. Let's get the entrance and the exit sorted. Let's put the entrance over here for this one. And the exit can go wherever, I guess. Let's put the exit over here. Next station. Entrance and exit. Next up, station three. Entrance and exit. And station four. Where is it? Entrance and exit. And now while this tests, how many trains do we get, first of all? Okay, and let's change the, the wait time to 20 seconds so they get a proper amount of space between them. We have 12 trains! Holy cow! On second thought, maybe we should reduce this and leave it at the default of 10. So that's a, that's a 10 times 12 trains, that's two minutes. So two minutes per uh, cycle, I guess. So if the, if the total duration of, uh, of the whole track is two minutes, then that'll be perfect. If it's longer or shorter than two minutes, we'll have to adjust it. And holy smoke, that's a lot of ducks. Hello, duckies! Get quacked! Go forth and enjoy the, uh, the, uh, go, go to Florida or something. Have fun in the south. Enjoy. Eat some fish while you're there for me. Anyway, these ducks are a little late. Wait, where's this one going? It's going the wrong direction. Where are you going? Hey, where are you going? Uh, okay then. They all appear to be going different directions. Well, I don't know which way north, south, east, and west are, but... In real life, sometimes they'll see Canadian geese flying overhead, and it seems like they're flying the wrong direction. Because, like, you know, in winter, they'd want to fly south, right? To go where it's warmer. But I'll see them flying, like, west or east or weird stuff like that. Sometimes even north. It's like, uh, hello? I think you're going the wrong direction. <laughs> it always cracks me up. So, we have the asphalt. This nice developed area, I think, will have the frozen frontier over here. So let's maybe change to brown. We'll, we'll pretend it's like a nature trail. But not this, because dirt, this would just be ice. So we'll call it brown. I don't know, the logic doesn't make a lot of sense, does it? Yeah, that doesn't make sense. Ah, oh, whatever, it doesn't have to be perfect. We don't. We only have limited options here. Ah, oh, I don't like it, though. I don't know. Well, hmm. Hmm, 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 hmm. We can always change it later. We'll change it when we make it white and see what it looks like. So we'll make it veer off like this because this is supposed to be an undeveloped frontier and a frozen wasteland. Okay. Whoops, did not mean to do that. Break. Break those. Break that. Okay. And link this up. Perfect. That took a chunk out of my money. Goodness. Where's the fee for that? Landscaping? Yeah, that was like nearly $3,000 for all that. Okay then. Well, let's, uh... Why did I make this so far away? What was I doing? Let's bring it closer. And, I guess, leave this little roundabout thing here. That's kind of cool, actually. And maybe not put that there. Let's put it here. So that way everyone who passes through has to face it. If it's over here, only half the people who happen to turn right when they come this way will see it. Or left if they go this way. Anyway, let's uh, get the other paths connected up. Let's switch our path type to this one, go back to blue. And now, destroy this! There we go. Okay, so it looks like we'll deposit a lot of people here, but not a lot of people will find their way onto this unless they wander down this path to the queue line. And people are getting upset. It looks like we have a lot of trash in there. A lot of vomit. Yeah, what in the world? What in the world? You guys are not doing your job. Or I just don't have enough of them. Let's hire more. Let's hire a lot more. 
My goodness. I think we need more we need more benches too. Uh, but I'm getting distracted. We'll figure that out. We'll fix that in a minute. First of all, I think we should bring the entrance. We should, well, we should change the way we laid this out. So delete all this. Delete all that. Okay. And we'll uh, stretch this around like this. So people are more likely to ride it because it's closer to everything. Now we'll fix the castle that we just messed up. Grab this, which is the wrong color. Select gray. Drag that up. There we go. Perfect. Okay. Now let's do the last key line over here by the entrance of the park. Let's make it yellow. And that might be a little short. Yeah, that might be a little short. Let me uh instead let's go around the let's go around the back here. Whoops. There we go. Now we're talking. A decently long key line. Now, is this done testing yet? Okay, so... Yeah, so this is... Each each segment is about a minute and a half. So that's a... That's a total of six minutes. So for 12 trains at 10 seconds minimum wait time... Yeah, we gotta, like, at least double this. Possibly triple it. I'm gonna double it for now and see how that looks. Because what'll happen is we'll have... All of the trains close together on one half, and then the other half is just completely neglected. No trains for a while. So I think by increasing the wait time, it'll back up this area to start with, but then it'll release them slowly, and then they'll be spaced out correctly. So that's the theory behind it. Let's turn a loan down while I'm thinking about it. And restart our ad campaigns, which are still running. Never mind, I forgot. I figured, I must have, uh, I figured they must have expired since I hadn't thought about it in a while. Okay, now to fix the vomit problem, let's place benches everywhere. We need lots of benches, so people have a chance to sit down. I'm sure this this uh, twister is causing problems for us. Lots of benches. And trash cans, because there's litter everywhere, too. And then maybe we'll be able to fire some of our staff, some of our extra handymen. Let's see, lots of benches. That's not supposed to be there. <laughs> okay, more over here. Lots of people with cotton candy. That's popular. Maybe I don't. Maybe I undercharged for it. Let me see. Is this underpriced? I'm not paying that much for cotton candy. No, it is not overpriced. It's overpriced and still selling lots of cotton candy. So that's a good thing. That means people are so hungry that they'll pay extra, which means we're getting more profit. Nice. Because I am a ruthless capitalist. And I care not for the the needs and the wants of my guests. I'm just messing around. I'm just kidding. Let's uh, grab some garbage cans to fix our litter problem. Yeah, like this right here. That's litter. That's a little cup, it looks like. Lemonade cup. Or not a lemonade cup. I don't know what it is. A wrapper. Lots of garbage cans. I'll place garbage cans on the inside here. You can see our handyman hard at work. Let's turn scenery invisible. So I don't... Uh-oh. I got a double path there. That's not supposed to be like that. Let's see if I can carefully... Yes! Got it. I was afraid I would accidentally delete my scenery. There is a lot of litter in here. My goodness! It's a good thing I can to fix it now. Uh, anyway. The magic carpet's probably producing a lot of vomit too. So let's put benches there. And we could potentially place some first aid stalls, although I'm under the impression they don't make a huge difference. Although it is occasional enough, it might, uh, a one-time expense might be cheaper than paying more handymen in the long run. So maybe it's a good thing. I don't know. Let's get some benches over here as well. Now for the frontier area, we'll switch the bench type to the stick benches, or the log benches, whatever you call them. The wooden benches. Well, I mean, these are wood too, but they have steel frames. The all-wood benches. And I forgot to open this! What am I doing? Open the train so people can ride it. And also decongest the paths. Because it has a massive capacity. Let's see. Let's do some quick math. There's 12 trains. 12 trains. 
Um, let's see, six passengers per carriage, including the front, I guess? Or no, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, five cars per train. So 12 times five, that's 60 cars. So 60 times six passengers, that is, what is that, 360 guests. So we could take a ma about a fourth, more than a fourth, that's a, or no, less than a fourth, what am I saying? Uh, what is that? About a fifth, or, oh yeah, a fourth or a fifth of the total guests in the park can be on this ride at the same time. I am not mathing very well right now. Let's, instead of mathing, let's place benches, because that doesn't require brain cells. <laughs> Merry Christmas, everyone! My brain is fried! It's the end of the year! I've done a lot of uh, worked hard uh, producing this content for this channel, and maybe I need a break, I don't know. Maybe I'll take a break over the new year, and then come out, come out swinging after the new year with lots of new content and lots of fun stuff. Let's see. Let's come back over everything. Ooh, standard twister trains. Well, those are inferior to the floorless train, so we're not even going to bother with that. Boop. 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 Well, I wonder, actually. So, that doesn't apply to this park because this is a paper entry park. But in paper ride parks, the, the price that guests are willing to pay is reduced if you have more than one instance of the same ride type. So if you have two Twister Roller Coasters, whereas one you may have been able to get away with charging $15 per ticket, if you have two of them, you have to charge less. I don't know how much less, maybe $10 or $12. Um, but does using a different train type affect that? Because in the original Roller Coaster Tycoon 2, they were categorized as separate roller coasters. So it looked more like this. Like, here's the, here's the uh, floorless roller coaster, stand-up, and regular Twister. But Open RCT2, which is what I'm playing now, has grouped them together into one roller coaster type with three train options. So now, because it's all the same type, does that mean even if I have a floorless, a stand up, and a regular twister, that they're all counted separately or all counted the same? That's something I'd like to know. Anyway, we're almost done with year two. Let's, uh, we gotta hurry before the. You know what? I might just win and then just keep playing, because why not? We're having fun today. I have a five-hour scenario. <laughs> we'll see what happens. Advertising campaigns have finished. Uh, right now I'm placing balloon stalls so I can get all the primary colors, all the secondary colors, plus pink. And hopefully as we get tons of people into the park, yeah, we have 1,500 guests now, we'll be able to have a massive release of balloons at the end of everything. Okay, so that's green. Let's get orange. That's not orange, uh, orange. And purple is the last of the secondary colors. Let's place that maybe here. Purple. And last but not least, pink. Although perhaps we should put that in this lake area. Let's actually change the path type. Make it dirt. So everyone freeze to death this Christmas can be dreaming about the warm summer vacations. Although many of you, if you're in the Southern Hemisphere, this is actually warm right now. So if you're in like Australia or Africa or South America, you have the inverse of the climate of what we have in the Northern Hemisphere, or roughly approximately the inverse. So whereas in the Northern Hemisphere right now we have a, it's colder, some places very, very cold, um, you have a warmer. So maybe the Christmas, this lake area, lake vacation resort, could be your version of the Christmas special. <laughs> so we're including everybody. An inclusive park, all inclusive. Very nice. I think I need to change these path types as well. And this is, I'm gonna mess up unless I get closer. Cause I'm free handing it. And I'm not, I don't have the most dexterity with a mouse. If you see me playing a first person shooter game, you'd see that my aim is terrible. <laughs> okay. So now we have everything pretty much fleshed out, although I need to connect this here. Let's grab maybe the brown path. Not straight, but it doesn't have to be. Okay, so now we've outlined everything roughly. Now we just gotta flesh it out in the last year, or last two years. It's March 3rd, year three, so year three just started. We have two years to really rack up lots of money and build some big, impressive rides. So let's uh, increase our loan so we can maximize our advertising so I don't have to think about it. Boop. Wonderful. 
Let's advertise the wooden roller coaster again. Santa sleigh ride for 12 weeks as well. And do free food. Let's see. Ice cream for 12 weeks. Dad, there's a discount because no one wants to buy it because it's it's winter. No, no one in their right mind eats ice cream in winter. Except myself because I'm not in my right mind. <laughs> Let's see. What have we unlocked recently? A gentle ride. Oh, nice. Flying saucers. That'll be fun. We could have a Christmas in space section. <laughs> I don't even know what that would look like. But let's build some smaller roller coasters because we desperately need to raise our soft guest cap because advertising only goes so far. So let's build some more roller coasters. Maybe a spinning wild mouse. This is always a very fun roller coaster to build. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Lots of cars for this. Let's go up over the train and make this tall. This is the maximum height available for this. And big drop all the way down to the train. From 75 to 50, that's a 25 foot difference. I think, we, I think we'll manage that. It could potentially stall, but I don't think it will. I think we'll be okay. Let's watch what happens. Woohoo! And just breezes over it, perfect. Very nice, okay. So no problems there. Now we can do our customary switchback section, which I like to do with uh, Wild Mouse roller coasters. I think you see uh, Wild Mouse roller coasters in real life do this. Just draw out the length of the track. Although this may rack up uh, the lateral G's if it speeds up too much. Have some hills here, just for fun. Uh, what if we can make it back up to 20 feet? Or maybe better yet, 25. Let's see if we can pull that off. Because you see the train, or the car, is getting really fast. Will it manage? Oh, look at that! It did it just fine. Perfect. And with that, I think it's time to return to the station. Let's go back to tw from 25 to 20. Now, we have to line it. Well, maybe not that high. Let's go up to 15, actually. And back to the station. Perfect. Now, we wasted this whole area. Why was I... What, what am I even doing? <laughs> we made it go all the way out here just to... And never mind. Let's just roll with it. Entrance there. Exit there. And turn up the lift to speed. Turn off minimum wait time. And test. Let's build an entrance to it. Make the queue line extra long. Okay. Oh, I forgot the exit. We need an exit. There we go. And I may need to impose a minimum wait time in this. Otherwise, we're going to have a big gap between all the cars. Or I guess the time it takes the guests to board will do that for us. So maybe not. We're good. Look at him go. Woohoo! Okay, let's see what stats we get as this wraps up. Back into the station. That was a little jarring. My goodness. Let's see what we get. Ooh. Okay, that's good enough. That's possible. Okay, we'll have to find something else to stick over there. If anything. Or we could just put scenery over there. That's fine. Speaking of scenery, what do we have again? We have Jurassic stuff. We have sp uh, creepy theming. But no spooky theming, which is unfortunate. Uh, unfortunately. Unfortunate. Oh, I can't English today. My goodness. I'm tired. I started recording rather late in the day. I probably should have started recording earlier when I had more energy. Let's put an observation tower right there and make it 200 feet tall. Well, let's make it 300 feet just for fun. Just so people in line have to wait forever. Huh? Exit can go there and the entrance can go there. And while that tests ever so slowly, do we get double deck? Yay! We got a double deck cabin. Perfect. So that way we can get away with the extra long ride duration. Because the there's more capacity per ride. So that'll be fun. Let's just open it so I don't have to remember it. Speaking of which, do I have anything testing that I forgot to... Uh, yep, I forgot to open the roto drop. I thought so. And the same with the swinging inverter ship. What the heck? What's wrong with me? Heh <laughs> heh. Anyway... 
Let's build more stuff. We have flying saucers, which is kind of fun. Question is, where do we build this? Oh, over here. That doesn't really fit with the, with the theming, but that's fine. That doesn't have to fit perfectly. These could be uh, uh, hovercraft to rescue people from uh, avalanches or something. Okay. I'm going to turn the music off. And let's see. Well, I guess we could leave it on. That's fine. It's far enough away from everything else that it's not too much of a problem. Now, we don't have bumper cars anywhere, so let's place one over here. This could be like bobsleds out in the out in the wilderness. Perfecto. And as we spam flat rides, or maybe not spam them, some of these we're building for the first time. As we build all these flat rides, we're going to really elevate the soft guest cap and draw a lot of people into the park. Most of them won't be riding the flat rides though, because they'll probably be more interested in the in the roller coasters, which is good for us. And they'll all be backed up in the queue lines, which will keep them off the paths, which will prevent the park from getting too congested. Uh, I just noticed we have 1,700 guests, so we have met our objective. Let's uh, let's see if we can double it with 3,000, or maybe even triple it with 4,500. That would be sweet. But we'd have to really go crazy with the ride spammage. But I think we can do it, so let's do it. Let's get a frosty golf course. Let's maybe put it here, here-ish, I don't know. One, two. Okay, let's see. Let's make a turn. Not that way. Oh, for goodness sake. Let's uh, find a better spot for this. Um, well, I guess it's fine. Let's just move it away from the path. One, two. Hole A. Hole B. Hole C. Back to hole A. Hole E. Hole D, so we can turn again. Hole B. This isn't really going to line up very well, is it? Okay, hole D. Space. Hole E again. Now turn. Hole A. Hole B. Then hole E again and a hole C. And then, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. I want these to be evenly spaced, though. So let's put the entrance here. There we go. And guests are probably going to want to get off because they're terrible at golf and they're going to get stuck. And I want to move the... Oh, never mind. I can't move it. Okay, fine. We'll leave that where it is. I like to have a bit of space. Well, yeah, I do like to have a little space. So let's, let's revise these. Okay. And grab this one. There we go. So I maintain my buffer space. Perfect. Now the entrance can go there. Or the exit, I mean. Perfecto. Now people will be endlessly backed up in the queue line, which is pretty funny because it's a short queue line. Because they suck at golf. Let's put a castle in the middle of it. Maybe here. Oh, it's not centered. Oh, well. We'll put it here. And a little cabin. Right there. And we'll cut, we'll surround it with trees. A variety of trees, actually. Let's uh, make them not all the same. Oh, rowboats. So you can fall in the water and freeze. Okay. Variety is the spice of life. So let's keep the trees different. It's not perfect, but it works. Okay. And maybe some igloos. And frozen fences. Look all around the golf course itself. Not quite, because we can't with the where the holes are. Like so. 
This is fun. Let's turn vegetation off because I can't see what I'm doing. Whoops. And now we have weird graphic clipping. Does that happen in the original game? I don't remember. If it, if not, then that's a bug unique to OpenRCT2. Okay. And maybe we could put snowflakes here, too. How, what orientation are these? Okay, so they're at diagonals. Let's alternate. So we got three, so it's a one, two, three, three, one, two, three, one, two, two, three, three, something like that. How does it look from other angles? Oh, that's pretty cool. Okay, one. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, and two, three, and three. Sweet. How does that look? Okay, that's kind of forced. <laughs> it's all boxed up. But it's okay. I mean, it works, kind of. I wonder if we can get some flower boxes in there. Like, maybe snow crocuses. Something resilient. Immune to the frost. Which I guess no crocuses really aren't, but I like to have some color on there. What's in the way? Oh, right, the snowflakes are in the way. The snowflakes that I planted. <laughs> or not planted, I don't plant snowflakes. Placed! What am I saying? <laughs> Maybe some up front here. Very nice. Now let's put some fences around those, because the, the, the dirt is exposed on those flower beds. Only in the front here, though. The ones by the trees are fine, because they have uh, uh, the trees and the fences are covering them. So like here. There we go, that all looks good. Very nice. Okay, so that's done. And here I am talking about how we have to spam flat rides and then I do something like this. Very time consuming thing with scenery. Let's build some small roller coasters. Nothing too cheaty, cheeky, whatever. But maybe like a reversed shuttle coaster. Let's place this one here. How long of a train do we get? Let's see. Okay, so that's two trains long. We don't need it that long. Okay, how tall is that? 75. Okay. Let's have some redundant track. Then up. Small half loop. Corkscrew not that way. Corkscrew right. Right again. Half loop again. Okay, do we have room for a loop here? Uh, not really. Okay. We do have a room for a little airtime pop, though. With a loop. Loop left. Photo section. Boop. And now up alongside the other hill. Or the lift hill. Perfect. Okay, let's see how this runs. Let's uh, turn this up. Reversed inclined shuttle mode. Launch mode, whatever it's called. Did I turn the speed up? Yeah, I did. Okay. Perfect. Let's see how it runs. Nice and slow through the corkscrew. That's what I like to see. Got the little mini hill. Okay, that's a work of art. Beautiful. Now, I wonder if I could cram a little castle into it. Oh, I have the little snowman guy. I completely forgot about him. <laughs> I wonder where I could put this. Maybe a couple there. I'll have to find other spots for it. Okay, let's get our test results. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Ooh, okay, that's not, not incredible, but not bad. Not bad. Very nice. So this is a corkscrew roller coaster, so that, so that attracts, what is that, like uh, 80, 85 additional guests? Whatever it is, that'll draw more people. Let's do another uh, shuttle coaster with the uh, this version. Let's place it over here. On the other side of the tracks. Okay, that's two trains. There we go. One train. Same deal. 
Go up backwards. Let's go vertical. Up to 90 feet. I don't know if that'll be enough. And now here's we're gonna have some fun here. It's gonna go over it's gonna go over the tracks. So let's loop left first. And then half loop. Corkscrew not that. Uh, corkscrew right. Corkscrew right again. No 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 no. Corkscrew right. And then half loop. And now I don't I need to leave this open so I can have my paths go through there. So let's uh or no, what we could do, maybe, is if we go half loop again. Corkscrew right. Corkscrew right. Oh, that's messy. <laughs> Can I twist out of it? I cannot. Okay. It was worth a shot. It was worth a shot. It would have been cool. But oh well, it's not gonna work. Let's uh go vertical right here, so I don't so I leave this area open for my Q line. Speaking of which, let's get this sorted right now. Okay. Reversed. Actually, how many? Ooh, vertical shuttle cars. Nice. More people per car. Reverse incline launched shuttle mode. That's a mouthful. Test. And while it tests, let's build our queue line. And our exit. Very nice, very nice. Progressing through the chorus just perfectly. Okay, let's see these stats. Let's see what they look like. Okay, moment of truth. Oh my goodness, the intensity is almost too high. Wow, that's a lot. Oh, but I just remembered, we don't have a photo section on this. So let's, uh, let's knock this down. And put a photo section right here on my photo section. There we go. Bring that back up to 90. And I know it works, so we'll just open it and forget about it. It'll test itself. How many people are on this total? Uh, overall view, 72 people. Okay, so only a tiny fraction of the capacity are actually riding it. But that's fine. It's people who are not on the path, which is what we want. Oh, this looks so cool. I love this. What else can we do? It's still so barren. There's so much space we need to fill out. And we gotta pay our loan down. I keep forgetting about that too. These still have some time left. We've increased our income to about 10,000 per month instead of what it was before, which is good. Probably because we have limited, uh, limited, uh, we can't charge very much at the entrance. Only 60. Although that's better than many of the Roller Coaster Tycoon 2 scenarios where you have guests that come to the park with $40 in their pocket, which sucks. Let's see. Let's have a micro coaster somewhere. Maybe over here. Something cute. One, two, three, four. Let's go corkscrew left. Corkscrew right. Corkscrew left again. I don't know how long that has to be. Let's see. How long is this? Four cars. Let's go launched without passing station. What, what does the default do? Oh, that almost crashed. <laughs> I saved it. It was right in the process of falling off. So let's add another piece and try this again. Woohoo! I think that'll do just fine. I don't think we'll have any issues. So it's not quite the cheesy cheese coaster, but I do want a photo section on it. Whoopsie daisy, that's not what I want. Uh, Photo section. Maybe it'll look better if we make this steeper. Okay, let's see what this looks like. And I maybe I may even get away with deleting this piece if it's a. Uh... Nope, we gotta keep it. Okay. Very good. Stats, please. Not bad. Not bad. Okay. So we have a uh, that micro coaster there. Let's do a looper as well. Let's place it somewhere else, maybe over here. This whole area is so barren. There's nothing here. Let's place it over here. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five. Okay. Let's actually build it off the ground.
Okay, loopity loop. Loop left, or loop right, loop left. Or, oh, uh, what was I thinking? <laughs> I'll have to change the path now. Let's actually make this spiral up to 75. Let's see what that looks like. Let's go power launch without passing station. Or actually, no, we could just return it to the station. Nothing's going to crash because there's only one train. So let's just... Uh, Let's just, uh, what am I saying? Go up like this. And then return to the station. And now we can put a photo section here. And even make the station longer so we get more trains. How long is this train? Let me see. Um, okay, yeah, that's good. And that is not fast enough. I don't think it'll even finish the circuit. It'll probably stall on this hill right here. Let's watch. Oh, ad campaign finished. Oh no, it got through, just barely. But I don't like it. Let's test it a little bit faster. Nice. Oh, I forgot. I gotta change it. First of all, let's re-roll this color scheme. It's awful. Not those two colors. Is there any other default colors? Come on! Okay, those appear to be the only defaults. What the heck? I could have sworn there was a third color scheme default. Uh, let's see passing station. That's what we want. Let's go three circuits, and let's test it. Okay. And now here's where I have to make some revisions to the path. Since I was dumb and didn't think this through. There we go. Dude, what, what are you doing? The path is right there. Just get, just get on it. Just get on it. There, there you go. <laughs> He's so lost. That's hilarious. Woohoo! Okay, let's see what our, our stats are. Not bad. Very cheap, very effective. Multiple circuits, that's exactly what we want. All right. Now let's, uh... I want to build something big, but we don't have a lot of cash, and we need to raise our guest uh, count up. So let's see, do we have any more flat rides I haven't been paying attention to? Like this one. Let's find a spot for it. Oh, look how colorful this key line is with all these balloons. That's what I like to see. Nice. Maybe we could put this inside the castle where people will vomit everywhere as a consequence and I won't be able to see it or fix it. That sounds like a great idea. Berserk mode, yeah, baby. Okay, let's uh, fire this up. And perhaps build a cinema. Where do I want this? Where do I want this cinema? Maybe over here? In this corner? Maybe not there, because there's a lot of room there for something bigger. I wonder if Mouse Tales is supposed to be like a knockoff of Mickey Mouse. Because, you know, Disneyland, theme parks. And what even is this color scheme? Let's get something nice. Something frosty. I wonder if we flip these. Oh, that's better. That's cool. Let's go ice. Because I've been forgetting to do that, actually. Let's change this one as well. Snow ice theme. Perfect. And open for business with Space Raiders as the, uh, the feature film. No ice. Okay, what else can we build? Maybe we don't have a motion simulator yet, so let's place that inside the castle as well. Small stuff belongs in the castle. Let's see, the entrance to get on is... There it is. Okay. I think I actually built that too far away. Let me bring that little, uh, little closer. There we go. So the exit is touching the path. Oops, let me set this to Thrill Riders, the superior film. And open. Okay, what else? 
I think we've built all of these now. We haven't built all of these, though. We don't have space rings, although space rings are frankly awful because they generate so much vomit. They're hardly worth it. But no matter, we'll build it anyway. Let's place it here. I'm not going to bother with the queue line because it's uh, the throughput is so lousy anyway. Let's place... We don't have a maze yet. We could put a maze in here. Although I can't see what I'm doing, so maybe this is a bad idea. If I go see through uh, scenery... Okay, I can see the shadow of it. Okay, that's, that's all I need. Let's see. If we put the entrance here, or the entrance and the exit flanking there... Yeah, something like this. Let's put the entrance right there. Perfect. And the entrance, we'll deal with that later. Oops, uh... Give back... Make that see-through. There we go. And there appears to have been a mistake here. Let's put a dead end there, which will confuse everyone who goes through this maze. They'll never be able to find their way out. <laughs> Because their pathfinding algorithm is terrible! It's awful! Okay, let's uh, wind around like so. And bring this not quite to the, uh, not quite to the castle. We'll have one little dead end there just to keep it interesting. Don't want to make it too easy. Uh-oh, another dead end. Not good. Okay, no more dead ends. We'll just have a linear straight way through to the exit now. I hope. Maybe. <laughs> we'll try. We'll try to do that. Although it may not work, though, now that I'm looking at this. Oh, this works, okay. And, uh, looks like I missed the place that the exit goes, but that's okay. We'll just stick it right here anyway. Perfect. Now, let's change this to, uh, is it brick walls? Yeah, brick walls. Perfect. And open! Maximum number of people allowed in the maze at a time, 64. Now let's put some kind of scenery over here. Maybe, uh, I don't even know. What the? Oh no, I ruined my walls. Ha, <laughs> whoops. Ha, ha, ha. Let's put those back. I guess I can't do anything there. I could plant trees here, I guess. Just a few. Something like that. Maybe a snowball or two. We are not earning a lot. It looks like our ad campaign's finished, and I barely have enough money to restart them. Let's, uh... Go, let's see, uh, Frosty Worm. Let's advertise that. That's this one right here, I think. Very popular, as you can see. Yeah, we may have to go way past the deadline of year four to really flesh this park out. But we're in for the long haul! This is the Christmas special, and we're going to have fun! And we're gonna quack some ducks! Get quacked, you silly feathered monster! Dinosaur Descendant. Okay, how else can we flesh this out? We could just go crazy with the loan and just forget about money. And just take out a massive loan and just build stuff, man. Let's go. Let's go for it. Let's build... I already have a twister, but let's build a proper twister. A big twister. The question is where? Let's build it over here. Right here. Two, three, four, five... One train, two trains, there we go. Let's put boosters on it, as we always like to do. And I'm building this on the ground. Why am I building on the ground? It should always be off the ground, just slightly. Two trains, booster, there we go. That might be a little rough on the, on the G-forces, so let's make that more gradual. Or what we could do is just make this... We could make this a large half loop. And then quarter loop. 
that doesn't work. Um, hmm. Yeah, I don't know how I'm gonna do that. Let's, uh, huh. Okay, plan B. No, 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 come back. Corridor loop. And that's not gonna work either. Okay, let's, uh, I wish we had zero G rolls in this, but we don't. We don't have it. Looks like a barrel roll is the only way out of this. I already hate this. This does not look good at all. Let's instead do a launched lift hill. So let's uh, do this. Go straight so we don't give too many negative Gs at the top. Maybe a little bit taller. And that doesn't work either. Huh. Well, maybe... I don't know. How do I make this go underground? There we go. I just have to line it up right. It looks like this is too deep, so I can't do the gradual... Uh, the large... What do you call it? The large... Uh, this thing, as opposed to this. But instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to quarter leap out of this. Can I course screw here, or is that too fast? If I could squeeze through... Oh man, I can't. Oh well, that would have been cool if I could. Let's go down again. And that doesn't work. Okay, let's go around. Okay, barrel roll. That's not a barrel roll. <laughs> let's go barrel roll right. So it looks like it's a continuation of the curve of the track. And from there, a quarter loop. And flatten out and just glide under the lift hill. And now we're on the ground. Darn it, I said I didn't want to be on the ground. Oh, well, it's fine. It's fine, no biggie. And what am I hitting? Oh, I'm hitting that. Okay, let's go wider. Still doesn't work. Well, in that case, let's put a photo section here just as a, as a spacer. Quarter loop again. Corkscrew to get out of it. Corkscrew right. That doesn't work. Okay. That doesn't work either, so helix up. Okay, make that more gradual. And now that we have this knot of a roller coaster, I think it's time to return to the station. Okay, let's see. Okay, so we're, we're at the uh, right elevation. I just have to find a way to bring this back. Let's put some brakes here, actually. Uh, not a booster, opposite thing. <laughs> brakes, set that to 18. Or maybe 22 is fine. Come back, come back, I lost it. Brakes to 22. And there we go. Well, I can make the last one 18, actually. Yeah, no collisions happening from there. All right. Let's put our entrance on here and the exit and fire this thing away. Let's follow train one. Yeah! Let's go. Everything looks good so far. Just a typical twister roller coaster pulling some major G-forces. But it's all smooth, because it's made of steel. Woohoo! Little airtime pop right there. Okay, that looks good. Let's uh, release the camera. Let's uh, build our entrance for it. Oh, we have a hyper twister. Nice.
Coolio. Let's uh, make this brown. Not there. Once we bring it down, then we switch to the dirt. Perfect. And with mega stats like that, this is ready to open. Boom. Okay. Let's turn our loan down while I'm thinking about it. Did these expire? Oh, they did. Okay, I've got to take my loan back. <laughs> take the loan back. Let's advertise the park as a whole for 12 weeks, as long as we can. And our new Twister Roller Coaster. What is this, Twister Roller Coaster 2? Or did I already name the other one? I did not. Look at that. Okay, take the bigger loan out. Okay, perfect. And with that, we should have more people coming into the park, giving us money. And look at the park coming together nicely. Maybe what we really need to flesh it out is just a lot of scenery and trees and stuff. Because if you think of a real theme park, most of the time they're not really packed that close together. If you go to a place like Kima Boardwalk, it's super compact, but it has to be because the real estate is so limited. But in most parks, you have lots of land to work with, so the, ro the roller coasters are spaced out pretty, pretty nicely. So maybe I shouldn't stress the spacing too much and just flesh it out with lots of trees. Santa's sleigh has broken down. Sorry, kids. No, no presents this year. Santa is on vacation. <laughs> going to some uh, the Santa going to the sleigh auto shop to fix his sleigh. I'm gonna stop now. That's kind of a dumb joke. Yeah, if we just spam trees everywhere like crazy. And already this place looks better. Look at that. I should also probably put some more supports on Santa's sleigh. Like this. Let's move this tree out of the way. Hold down shift. Something similar like that. Let's do the other side if I have room for it. I do have room. Look at that. Okay, that doesn't work. Okay, perfect. So now that looks a little better, although this looks a little janky. Yeah, let's uh, let's make it look like this is actually supported. Because the track under the supports make it look like it's floating. And then these are still these are still floating because of the train under it. But this support structure looks makes it look like it's all cohesive. So we'll leave it like that. Okay, that's an improvement. What are the stats in this? Oh, the stats have gotten better. They've gotten way better. Look at that. Because of all the adjacent rides and scenery and stuff. Nice. Santa sleigh still hasn't been fixed. Oh, that's why. I only have a handful of mechanics for this giant park. Silly me. And look, I see litter and vomit everywhere. Not cool. Let's grab one of these guys and uh, assign him to this area. Assign him to the entrance. I can carefully lay his his land out without accidentally selecting queue lines so he doesn't let himself in thinking he's going to get to ride something. <laughs> I don't know why they do that. It's really annoying. They spend half their time in the queue lines instead of sweeping the path. Okay, so this should be sufficient. That'll at least keep the, the, the entrance for the most part clean. All right, I think it's time to start placing more flat rides of flat rides that we already have, like Ferris wheels. Although I think I already have... Oh no, this is the second one. Okay. So Ferris wheel number two. Let's place it over here. Although a lot of a lot of parks have more than one Ferris wheel though. So nothing wrong with having multiple. Let's actually delete those. Maybe we could place two side by side. Open this one. Turn in opposite directions. Nice. Well, this grinds my gears. I wonder what kind of scenery would make sense to put in there. Let's put a... Hello, snowman. Let's put you both there. And snowballs that serve no purpose or function. And we'll put uh, these over the queue line. For no apparent reason other than they're fun. All right, I wonder if, how these work. Okay, they don't actually reach the, the, the thing. 
So instead, let's use, where is it? This. Let's color it white. That looks good. That looks very nice. Same deal for this side. Perfection! Okay. And they're not very visible, but let's do a few for the other side as well. Just to be consistent here. Okay, my OCD approves. Nice. And all of that will attract more people to the park because of the soft guest cap. Let's spam some spiral slides. I haven't done enough spiral slide spamage this episode, so let's do that. Max number of five people on the ride, no issues. Let's change the color. Make this uh, blue and white. Matching the adjacent uh, 3D cinema, that's fun. I never recolored this roller coaster. What even is this? Whoops. Pea soup color, not cool. Okay. What else can we do? What have we researched recently? Ooh, chicken nuggets! Chicky nuggies! We just we just researched it. Let's grab it. Oh, that's uh, this one. Oh, these are these are the same thing. <laughs> they sell the same product. They just look different. It's like a reskin reskinning of the same ride. Two bucks. That's actually cheaper than what I was charging for the burgers, but that's fine. Let's grab some fried chicken and place it over here, just so we have food in multiple parts of the park. Basically, you want to have your food and your drinks uh, cover as much ground as possible. So people, um, so everyone has access to it. They don't have to walk far to find it. Have a coffee shop. Let's place out there. Raise this to a buck eighty, just like the other drink stall. And I thought I saw souvenirs. Let's make these green umbrellas and make these cuddly toys three fifty. I can't remember if that was too much or not. Look how many balloons there are. My goodness. Thoughts. Really good value, he says. Okay, so maybe 380. Or I may have bought it before I had a chance to turn the price up, actually. Okay, nope, they're paying for it. Okay. Well, that's good. The umbrellas are too expensive. Of course they are, because they're priced for rainstorms. Man, I also have t shirts, which is fun. Let's sell t shirts. Let's make them. A light blue color because of the season, and let's make these five dollars. Will people pay five dollars for them? I saw four ninety. That's pretty much the same. There we go, five dollars. Look at that. Nice. What other souvenirs do I have access to that I have missed? Hats. Let's go. Let's place these hat stalls. Hat stall right there. We'll make these a nice leathery brown color, and uh, make this two fifty. Will people pay 250? Really good value, they say. Let's get some more sales and see what people think. Okay. Anyone else? Still really good value. Maybe three dollars is the optimal price. Let's try that. Top spin is broken down. That's not good. So much cotton candy here. My goodness. This cotton candy is selling like crazy. Yeah, look at that. 1,900 per hour. Holy smoke. And the hat is still good value. Okay, I'm just going to leave it at 320. We'll leave it at that for now. What about... Are the other food stalls producing money like this? Where's the burger stall I, I placed? There it is. Burger stall. Oh, yeah, the burger stalls make it way more. Never mind. <laughs> yeah, this park is packed. Look at this. We're, about, about, we're at the end of year three, and we have 2,300 guests in the park. My, oh my. And I think we need to fix these uh, fences that I messed up with the trains. Perfect. Okay. Let's turn alone down. These still have a while remaining, so let's um, build another roller coaster. I don't think I have any of these anywhere. I've had access to this the whole time and I never built it. What was I thinking? This is one of the best flat rides in the whole game. So let's remedy that problem right now by building one. Woohoo! Let's place it here. Perfect. So we have it there. Let's place maybe another one over here. 
outside of our castle that we spent so much time building. Okay, so that's open. And now that the now that it's raining indoor rides like the 3D cinema and the haunted house and probably the circus will be more popular. I wonder what else we could do. We have all these water rides, but it's winter. The okay, for for the folks that uh for the folks that um live in the southern hemisphere, we'll build some water rides because for you guys it is hot, very hot right now. So let's build this up. How tall can I make this? Okay, 45 is the max. Okay, so have a big drop. Splasharoo, splasharoo to you too. Okay, let's uh, go up again. And drop. I'm out of money. There we go. Earned a little bit of money. <laughs> let's put a photo section on here. Okay, we'll place this here and drop it down to zero. And reconnect with the station. Cool. Place the entrance and the exit and... Well, don't test yet. Let's make sure we have the maximum number of boats. Uh, the lift hill speed, we can't change that, but let's turn the wait time down to through four seconds. There we go. Let's fire it up. Fire away. All right, perfect. And let's follow boat one and see what it does. And watch as it goes. Okay, bad idea. This is boring. Let's let let's not watch it. <laughs> we'll come back to that when it's done testing. Uh, what else can we build? Let's uh, close that. I'll probably forget about it again. Looks <laughs> like I forgot the other one. Double drop. That's the pre-built, but let's not build the pre-built. Look at that path layout, that's terrible. Let's build a custom one and fill in the opposing side right here. Oh, I do get photos, or S-bands, nice. Let's S-band left. Let's go up to the maximum height of 75 feet and drop. Double drop. Photo section right at the bottom. Whoops, let's go S band left. Or a bad idea, let's not do that. Let's uh, go up, go over the track, drop down, and reconnect with the station, just like that. Okay, entrance and exit. How many boats do we get for this monstrosity? 13? Ooh, 20, wow. Let's turn this wait time down to three seconds and test while we build the entrance. Boom. And I think uh, I think uh, our log flume is done testing. Nice stats. Let's open it. Oh, I already opened it. Whoops. <laughs> I didn't realize. I thought I I thought I left it on test mode. That's funny. Splash boats is testing now. We'll come back to that. Yeah, this place is coming together nicely, but I don't have any monster roller coasters. I feel like I need something huge. So let's grab the hyper twister because these are very photogenic, very pleasant to look at. And let's place the entrance right here. A little bit of ways off the ground so the lift hill doesn't have to take so long. It's a plain entrance so I can see what I'm doing. Plain entrance. Let's make the track red with light blue supports. 
Or maybe white supports. I don't know. What kind of cars do I have access to? Okay, only Hyper Twister. That's fine. Well, let's re-roll the color since uh, we... There we go. Since the track is red, I don't want red trains. Okay, let's see. Do I get another train? Or another car? I do not. I just got another train. That's not what I wanted. Okay. Up we go! Woohoo! Make this go as tall as we can. And we're out of money. Let's take out a massive loan so we can build this. 30,000. Okay. And this won't be a hyper coaster unless it exceeds 200 feet. So let's go to 200 and... 250. Yes, indeed. Now the problem with this roller coaster is because the lift hill is so limited in its speed, the, uh... Yeah, the problem with this roller coaster is because the lift hill is so limited in speed, it, uh, the, the, the block section is going to be really, really long. So I could turn this up to, to 8, but that's still very long. So the throughput's not going to be fantastic, but it's uh, this is a paper entry park, so it's okay if the throughput isn't fabulous. What we can do, actually, is just have a really long queue line, and on the flip side is it keeps people off the path, which is good. That's not a bad thing. Let's see, from 250 to 230, I don't know if we're going to make it. Well, I guess we'll find out in a minute. So this is the end of a block section. So the block sections can be pretty long just because the lift hill is so long. What is that, 230? 210? Okay, let's watch what the train one, what train one does. Let's go down the little turn. Woohoo! Okay, just easily crests that hill. Same thing with the second hill. Okay, so I think we're fine. And with this, we will have a monstrosity of a roller coaster in our park, which is nice. Okay, up to 90. Okay, let's go down. Come up again. And put a block section right here. Or maybe not there. Let's go straight a little bit. Then put the block brakes on. Let's uh, max out the speed so it just lets trains fly through it if I can, because we want to maximize the throughput of this monstrosity. Let's switch this back to continuous circuit mode and reset that. Woohoo! Drop down. And even this is really tall by most roller coaster standards. Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. Let's, uh... Break that and twist around like this. And start to add some interest to this layout. Let's see, how do I do this? Flatten out to 20. To 30. Uh-oh, we're stuck. Maybe up one more time to 95. Well, I don't want to go to zero, though. Because it just doesn't look right. We managed to not break our trees. That's a plus. Up to 100... Gently crest that peak. And after this, I think we should have another block section. Whoops, that's not what I meant to click. Uh, come back. Break that. And we're not lined up with the station. Good, I thought we were lined up for a second. That would have been bad. Okay, we went from 180. Let's go all the way up to... 160 is pushing it. Let's go to 155-ish. 145. If we can manage to make it up that hill. Let's find uh, the train, see what it does. 
We're going to follow the ghost train. Yeah! So we get a preview of what the train is doing, but we don't get a preview of the G-forces it exerts on its riders until we actually test it. So this is what we're stuck with for now. Get stopped by those block brakes and pass through. Woohoo! This is intense. Make that wide turn look crazy. Holy! And just gently... Uh-oh! Uh-oh! That's bad! <laughs> Not good. Okay, well, reset that. And it looks like we're not going to 55. Let's just uh, level this out to f 140 is probably what the most we can get away with. Straight section. Block brakes right there. We'll put tire drive behind it just in case it needs a little push to get through it. Let's see, reset this. And this will be the last block section before we return to the station, I think. Okay. And we're out of money. Holy smoke, these... Yeah, yeah, each of these little pieces are like $500 a pop. Holy smoke. Holy, holy smoke. I can't remember from the photo section on this yet. I did not. Good thing I remembered. And with that... Let's have a few hills and then return to the station. Where were we? 140. So from 140 to 85, that should be just fine. Let's see, where am I lined up with? And I think this... Or no, this tile is uh, lined up with this line. So I missed it. I just barely missed it. There we go, that should do it. Let's put some brakes on here to a respectable 27. And drop this down to 20. And just a nice straightaway to a little bit of block brakes. Block brakes right here. Although we should put some brakes in before the block brakes, just in case we have any disasters. So 13 miles per hour, proceeding, or maybe 18 as well. Yeah, 13, just to be safe. Okay, how many trains do we get? Four, not bad. Not bad at all. Let's fire this monstrosity up after I place the stations, which I forgot, as I always forget to place them. <laughs> Let me grab this real quick. And uh, No, 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 not there. Not there. Let's see. Oh, I, I just realized we're in year four already. My goodness. It's kind of funky. We'll get the rest of that in a second. But for now, let's uh, close this and test. Let's follow train one. Look how huge this thing is. Holy smoke. I haven't built a roller coaster like this in a while. I don't think I've been doing this since the Roller Coaster Tycoon 2 series since I learned more recently that the size is irrelevant to winning. And because I was trying to win, I just built lots of small to medium-sized roller coasters. So I haven't really done any of these monster roller coasters in a while. So this is cool. This is nice. Although our bank account is suffering for it. <laughs> We're going to pay lots of interest because of this. Let me turn this down as much as I can for now. Okay, let's see. Let's watch the G-forces on this monster and see what it does. Here we go! Woohoo! You have to zoom in, it's like even more intense. Okay, maybe not. It's kind of annoying. Can you imagine riding this in real life? That's a problem, that's a problem, that's a problem. Hold on, hold on. The <laughs> this roller coaster got stuck! What happened? It stalled somewhere. This one, I think. Let's see if we can find where it stalled. dear. Okay, well in that case, we'll have to replace the, this with chains, and the, the the game will treat that as a block break. Yeah, that's not supposed to be there. But it's fine, it's the same number of trains, so it'll work out. So let's bring that to the top of the top of the lift hill again. Follow on main view. Woohoo! Down the drop. Let's see if I can click this balloon. Oh, I got it. Nice. Let 
Yeah. Okay, so if I didn't catch that when I did, we probably would have had a crash. And all the work we did would have been for naught. Because we would have had to... Well, we might have been able to refurbish it and uh, ease people's minds on the danger of the ride. Never mind, that was scary. What's going on here? Why is this all backed up like this? Whoa, 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 wait. Oh, there's five. I thought it was four still. Ha! It's still set for, but once I t test... Okay, that's weird. So that won't happen if there's four trains, I think. But just to find, just to test, let's uh, follow on main view, roller coaster one, and speed up till we get to the point where we left off. Woo! That's kind of intense. <laughs> okay, yes. Yeah, so it's all cleared up for us. Perfect. And we're stopped because we have to wait on this one. Yeah, that's going to be a big holdup. But that's okay, there's nothing wrong with being stopped. It just means people are off the paths and on the roller coaster. So no, no problem. That's not what I wanted, but it's okay. Ducks! Can I click one while it's moving? Can I? Uh, I can't move my mouse fast enough. Come back! <laughs> I can't do it. Come here. Yes, I got it. Okay. Woohoo! That does come in a little hot, though, so if there's a backup here of three trains, that could be a problem. So this needs to be set to 13, unfortunately. And this previous one will just set it to 18, I guess. I guess like, it doesn't matter. They can both be 13. But yeah, let's test it, because now we have to test all over again, because I changed something. And while it's testing, we'll build our entrance. Woohoo! Okay. I can't see what I'm doing. We'll have a big queue line to accommodate the massive length of this. And also the amount of time people may have to wait for the trains. So that's good. We'll keep them off the paths. They might complain that they've been in the line forever, but that's all right. We have 2,500 guests. My goodness. Okay. Now, I think the ad campaign's wrapped up, so let's restart those. And maybe wait till we get test results from this. To do the other advertisement. Man, this, is, this takes forever. There we go. Nice! Holy smoke! Nice stats. Okay, let's advertise the Hyper Twister. Hyper Twister Roller Coaster 1. And what should we name this? Uh, we'll name it, uh... I don't even know. What's something Christmas themed we can name this? Frostbite. I don't know. Or, um... Yeah, I'm at a loss for what to name this. It's red, it's giant, although we could change the color. Um... Red Giant is not in theme at all. And it's super cliche. I don't know what to name this. We'll name it Avalanche. And I think I spelled it wrong. Let me make sure I don't I wanna make sure I didn't spell that wrong. Uh Avalanche. Oh, I spelled it right in my first try. Nice. Anyway, that's good. But to keep it a theme, let's change the color. Massive blue roller coaster taking up my screen. Sweet. And change this to snow ice theming. Okay, so that's done. We have lots of new people coming to the park, so we got all this income. Let me actually take a look at the entrance and see what's going on. I love how super developed our first area is that we started working in, and then everything else is just so sparse. So sparse and empty and soulless. <gasps> hot chocolate, yes! We have hot chocolate. Let's place hot chocolate everywhere and make it free because it's Christmas. Free hot chocolate for everybody. You pay for bathrooms and you get free hot chocolate. That's what my generosity looks like. Okay. This guy's already got a drink. What does he have? Coffee. Oh, yuck. I personally don't drink coffee. Let's see. Because hot chocolate's better. 
I actually don't drink hot chocolate that much either, uh, that much either, because it makes me feel ill. I don't think I'm lactose intolerant or anything. I think I, d dude, there's a mess here and you're just ignoring it. It just doesn't sit well with me. I think it's the sugar, the fact that it's a hot liquid with sugar. Okay, the ad campaign just finished, so let's restart it. Okay, it looks like he's going to finally do what he's supposed to. I think we need to hire more of these guys. Now, these guys are all busy. There's so many operating expenses to a park this size, and we're not even half done filling it in. My goodness. This is still testing because I forgot to open it, so let's open that. What else? We don't have pretzels anywhere. Let's play some pretzels. Yum. I actually know how to make pretzels in real life. All it really is, it, it's, it is, it's a yeast-based dough, but instead of just baking it first, you boil it for like, well, I think it's like 20 seconds in a baking soda solution, and that's responsible for that pretzel flavor. But if you overdo it, you end up with a metallic flavor, so you have to be careful. But it's fun. They taste very good, and they're easy to make. Let's see, let's make this a buck 20. Whoops, close that. We got ice creams. Or fruity ices, whatever you call it. Let's change the price to... Okay, same price as the ice cream stall we already have. Fries! Let's place fries. Maybe not next to the burgers, because then they won't sell. Place it here. Set this to $2. Nice. Same price throughout park. Okay, what else can we do here today? Let's, uh... Funnel cakes! We don't have any funnel cakes yet. Let's place that there. I don't think I've ever actually had a funnel cake in real life. It's basically just like a deep fried donut batter thing, kind of like elephant ears, right? I can't remember. Anyway, seafood. Let's play seafood over here by the oh the by the lakeside. Set this to be two dollars or two twenty a pop. That profit margin is terrible. Tentacles, anybody? Anybody want tentacles? Nope. Very unpopular. <laughs> we forgot to put benches and garbage cans on this inner ring of our path. So let's take care of that real quick before I forget again. Make sure that we have... Uh, make sure we can uh, control our vomit problem. Because I see lots of vomit everywhere. Despite having so many uh, staff members. Okay, place more over here. I had an idea when I was playing around with the settings of this game, is a uh, I noticed if I go to options and go to the window scale factor, if I set this to 175. Everything is a little bit closer, and I was wondering if you guys would like me to play like this. The caveat is that most things don't really fit on the screen anymore, but it might look better or more detailed to people using mobile devices to watch my videos. So, maybe I should run a poll. Uh, yeah, even this. This is a tiny roller coaster and it barely fits on the screen, so maybe not. But just to, just to give voice that idea. If enough people demand that I switch to that, maybe I'll consider it, but probably not. But just just an idea, because uh, it's pretty, it's, you can see most things on a mobile device, especially if you turn the resolution up, instead of leaving it on the default of like, what is it, 420 or, or 480 or 720, but it's still better if you can see more of it. Let's see, this path should probably, probably be connected, so let me do that. Boop. There we go. Little bridge there. Where else could we connect things up? Everything looks okay, I think. The castle's kind of bridging everything over here. Yeah, this park is turning out so well. Oh, we have iced tea, so we got more beverages. What are we working on? Thrill rides and water rides, we've unlocked all of them. We just have gentle rides, roller coasters, shops, and transport rides. So this is all of the, all of the thrill rides we'll ever get. I wonder if we could fit some more stuff in here. Maybe a pirate ship. Let's move the entrance over to the middle, actually. 
switch the, the path type to this one. Okay. Open for business. And by adding more flat rides, we're just elevating our soft guest cap to get as many people into the park as possible. Let's build another, another go-kart course, actually, now that I'm thinking about it. Let's put it over here. Let's go off the ground a little bit. I don't usually do this because go-karts tend to not uh, do height very well. They're slower on slopes, but that's okay. Okay, now with this, let's return to the station. Woohoo! There's the ice tea stall. Is that the last shop and stall that we have access to? No, we still have more to unlock. Okay. Anyway, let's, uh, let's, uh, first of all, change the theming of this to Castle Gray. Put our entrance and our exit on, because I forgot to. Get our entrance sorted. And open. And I forgot the exit. Whoops. And now let's, uh, well, first of all, supports. Now let's theme this castle related, kind of like castle carts, but my own version. Maybe, uh, I don't know. Are these walls tall enough to go around? The, uh, the course. Uh, barely. Not really. Sort of. I guess we can do it like this. We'll put uh, towers in the corners like so, like so. And the spacers that we were using like before. Maybe a shorter tower on this corner. Now as the castle, as the, the track goes down, the walls stay as high up as they are to begin with, which is cool. I think I should put these in the inside corners. That's kind of fun. Yeah, this is really cool. I like this. I like how this looks. Put those there. I can barely see what I'm doing. There we go. Nice. Let's do the same on the outside here. Perfection. Let's do this. Can this go here? Oh, perfect. Look at that. It's like a head chopper. That's a work of art. A thing of beauty. Except for the yellow part that's way too high. That's annoying. <laughs> oh, well. Place these here. Mirror that on the other side. Actually, let's uh, knock these down and replace them with a tower. A short tower. More towers there. Okay, I'm liking the way this looks. Let's have some outposts like here and here. Here and here. Maybe some shops and stuff. Which side is the front? Okay, this side is the front. I can barely see it, but there's doors there. Barely in sight. And this funky house. Some tents for the garrison to practice or to live while they practice their skills. Some targets for the archers to shoot at. And what are these cannons? Okay, it's kind of weird. Okay, let's put some basic generic fences around this. And it looks like the first race has commenced. Let's go! Woohoo! That's fun. I'm not going to bother with the tires on this one because the theming is different. Okay, I'll say that's sufficient. Although maybe one more outpost in the middle. Except this isn't uh, centered. Oh well, we'll just place one in there anyway. Perfect. And oh, maybe we could have a campfire out here too. Nice. Okay. Let's turn the loan down some more, because we have an obscenely high loan. Oh, and these need to be restarted. I forgot. 
We are halfway through year four, so if I was playing to the end of the scenario, we'd be almost done. But I want to flesh this out. I'm not bothered with winning. I mean, we already won. We almost have doubled the objective. But we're going to go crazy today. Let's get... Where's the hyper twister? Actually, no. Let's advertise the twister roller coaster to... Yeah, we're going to go crazy today and fill this whole thing up. So I have, like, the mini-series of the... Of uh, part one, part two, part three, and I haven't done part four yet of this scenario. But we're going to do all, all of it at once today. And maybe finish part four of the other one later. Let's see. What can I build over here? Maybe some more pirate ships. What I should do is bring my pathway out like this. Whoops. There we go. I've given myself access to this area. And I need... Where's the spiral slides? Aha! Spam time! And I don't want that to be a castle. I want that to be... Uh, well, I guess it'd be a castle. We're in the frozen citadel area after all. I am going to change the color, though. Black and red is kind of cool. Oh, I forgot. Change this to five people allowed at a time. There's another one here. Same deal. Five people allowed on at a time. Another one. Why do we keep getting the same colors? Open for business. Five people allowed at a time. Let's change this to white. That's not white. <laughs> White and black. Or no, white and green. That's hard to see. White and blue. There we go. Nice. And yet another one. Right here. These people are loving it. Okay. I guess we can leave that at the default. That's fine. Here's a fun color scheme. Five people per ride. Or, yeah, a lot of time. There we go. Five people allowed on at a time. And the last one on the end. Perfect. Let's make this green and yellow. Or maybe green and red. There we go, Christmas colors. Fun! Although this should be a more muted green, I think. And I can't see it anymore, never mind. Bright green it is! Okay, so that'll raise us off guest cap by a lot. Let's fill in the space with some more stuff. Maybe a Ferris wheel. Maybe a couple Ferris wheels, like one here. Entrance and exit. And the entrance will do this. Wrap around like this. And the other Ferris wheel will be opposite to that one. Same deal, and it will turn the opposite direction. Perfect. That's fun. It looks like they're gears. Let's see. Mega trucks? I could build the pre-built for mega trucks, I suppose. And it almost fits perfectly into this. Oh, it does actually if I just mess up the other part of the path. Yeah, look at that. Perfect. We can build the pre-built mega trucks. I typically avoid pre-builds because I like to claim that I built everything myself, but this isn't a roller coaster, is it? So in the, in the description of my video, I can say, all custom roller coasters, because this isn't a roller coaster, technically. <laughs> so since this isn't a roller coaster, I don't have to worry about crashing and stuff, so they're pretty easy to design. All the really heavy lifting is just the scenery. And what is up with the clipping here? <laughs> it's like the, the trucks would crash into that. That's weird. It looks like things are breaking. That's not good. Let's put a crooked house here. Open for business. And a key line. I love how the train just goes through everything right here. Okay, do these need to be reset? They do. Okay, let's set this to the max so I don't forget again. I'll have to take out a loan to do that, though. We have such a big loan. And we'll advertise the Hyper Twister again as the biggest and baddest roller coaster in the park. Where is it? Hyper Twister. Did I name it? Ah, Avalanche. That's why I can't find it. That's on top. 12 weeks. Maybe free popcorn? It's not on the frame. Okay, hot chocolate instead. The hot chocolates are already free. Uh, uh, free coffee to compete with the hot chocolate. Give you a buzz. 
half price entry to the park. Why not? We want to get more people into the park. All income is good income, even if the margin is bad. That's actually not true. But we're going to pretend it's true. Does this fit? Oh, it fits. Look at that. So we have another haunted house crammed into this little space. Let's get the entrance and exit sorted. Nice. And we could put some trees back there to fill in the rest of that space. That is not a tree. <laughs> okay. That is very compact. Look at that. Now, if we could make the whole park look like that, that'd be great. Well, maybe not like that. We want to have some wilderness areas. Speaking of which, let's plant more trees. Or maybe what I should do, what'll make this park look more fleshed out, is this is all static. It's all flat. So if I uh, grab this and press this, we could... Well, it would be very expensive, but if I like make little hills here and there, it'll make it more interesting. But that's very expensive, so let's not do that right now. This park, it's easy to get money, but to, to do what I'm trying to do, it's difficult. Because we need a lot of money to do what I'm trying to do. We have enough income to gradually build up like what we've been doing, but not enough to just make drastic, radical changes. If this was a pay-per-ride kind of park, we would have been... We would be rolling in the dough, especially because we have cash machines. But it's not that kind of park, so... I don't know. Maybe I should have picked something for this video that had a pay-per-ride, but... It's fine. Let's go. Two fifty for pizzas. Come get your pizza, folks. I think that's the first one I built. And what else? Iced tea. I don't have any of those yet. Iced tea stall for a buck seventy or a buck eighty. I don't know. What else have I not built? We don't have any first aid stalls, so we can build one there. Not that they hardly make a difference. Let's place one here by the exit of this ride. Another one by the exit of... I just realized these are both the same color. Let's make this one different, just so it doesn't clash with this one. Or I can make this white. But then the ground is going to be white, so maybe not. Um, we'll make this one... Uh, purple. But it's pretty close to the blue, but oh well, it's fine. We need to change the theming, though. Change the, the, the entrance to snoo. There we go. Perfect. That's what I'd like to see. July 26th, year 4. We are almost done with the scenario, but I don't want to I don't want to finish yet. I want to make the park full. Bathroom. We're building it up one tile at a time, but there are thousands of tiles though, so it's going to take a long time to fill everything in. Okay. Buck 20 for donuts, extra cheap. We have faming that we can shove in here, like maybe there. Put that there. Maybe another one there. Yeah, I think faming is what's really ruining it for us. If we had more, whoops, more hills and change the color of the terrain, it'd be different. You know, let's just do that. Let's just take out a crazy loan and just go ham. 40,000. Now let's set this to ice. Oh my gosh. That is obscenely expensive. Never mind. <laughs> well, that's expensive. Maybe we'll just have the North Pole area. Or no, we'll have the North Pole and the Frosted Citadel. Frozen Citadel. Let's go. 24. So it's pretty big. Set this to ice. My gosh, that is so expensive. Just destroying our, our bank account. Holy smoke. But it's worth it. Look at look at how cool this looks. Let's try to feather the edge so it all looks like a gradual transition here. Okay, well that's an improvement, but we're out of money and we have a massive loan. So let's go into saving mode and try to pay this loan off because, uh, oh goodness. Oh, but it's cool though. Now the trees all make more sense. Speaking of which, let's plant more of them. Instead of saving money, let's just spend it. Spending is fun. Bumper cars is broken down. That's not good. Walking in a winter wonderland. We can also fix uh, this part over here. 
so it looks more gradual and purposeful. There we go, much better. Okay, back to scenery. Let's grab another type of tree. These are expensive. 18 bucks a pop. Maybe this one. Where the branches start a little higher up and it has a thicker trunk. And maybe we could have some trees that don't have snow on them. I don't know, maybe, maybe they had a breeze. The breeze knocked it out. Well, they kind of stick out, though. Ah, I'll just leave it. Let's grab our middle of Mr. Snowman and find a spot for him to hang out. Maybe right there. Yes. And a little igloo. A little shop doing nothing. Log cabin, I mean. I don't know what to do. This, uh, What else to do? This place is coming together really nicely, but we have no money to do hardly anything else. Let's turn this down so we stop paying interest. My goodness, $200 in interest for July. Sheesh. We've already paid $91, and we're not even halfway through the August yet. So, uh, come on, peeps. Get in the park and give me all your money, because I'm desperate. <laughs> we need your money. Come save us. Oh, brother. Okay, you guys probably didn't see it, but I just did a very discreet edit because I was getting tired and my brain was fried. So I actually took a break and I slept the night away, and we're back. Although, I guess we're not really back because you guys never left. <laughs> They're picking up where we left off. Uh, let me get my bearings because it's uh, been a minute. Been many hours, actually. Uh, I was up way later than I probably should have been because I was destroying the world in Civilization 3 on uh, Emperor Difficulty. Completely taken over my continent, it was great. Um, speaking of which, uh, who watches that and who likes that? Uh, let me know in the comments. Anyway, I think we definitely need to spam more rides into this Winter Wonderland. Oh, we don't have any car rides. What am I, uh, I'm gonna build one of these because I managed to not remember to do this. <laughs> Let's put it over here. Turn this around, there we go. And we'll have this be like a tour, like a scenery tour. So it takes up a lot of space, which is kind of what the objective is right now. Go right up to the train. Oh, there's spinning tunnels on this. Wait, is this a spinning tunnel of horror ride? Or is it all grouped together? Hold on a minute, hold on a minute. Tunnel of horror is grouped together with the car ride. What? <laughs> That's not right. <laughs> I didn't realize that. Okay. Let's, uh, well, I don't want to go quite up to the train, so let's turn. Then wrap around like this. And I wish we had S-bends, because that makes the, uh, that makes the track look more interesting. Well, let's go up a little bit. Let's, uh, add a tunnel of horror, as it's called. Oh, wait, wait, no, 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 come back. I, I, I want it to be long. Keep going, there we go. Long tunnel. Then go over the train, so we can fill in this dead space that I wasted. Yes. And this track, I don't mind this track being on the ground, that's okay. It can lay on the ground just fine, it doesn't look like a mistake. Let's turn back inwards, go up to 20 feet. I think maybe I should make this part longer. One more tile. Cause I don't want it to go right over the Tunnel of Horror segment. Okay, so go up. We should probably have this test running just in the background. Not that it matters. It's not like it can crash or anything. Or actually, that reminds me. I think the Tunnel of Horror ride can crash. I don't remember. One of the variants of this can crash. But it may just be when we have the, uh... What kind of cars we have access to? Oh, it doesn't even... It's... Okay, never mind. <laughs> the Horror cars aren't even available. Well, I'm curious now, so... Wait, 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 no, 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 no. Uh, group rides by type. Ghost train. Haunted mansion, well, that's available. And now if I close all those and group them by type again and open the car ride. Well, they're not here anymore. Huh? I'm confused. Where... Okay, well, the ghost train looks like it uses Cheshire Cats, so I guess we could do that. Cheshire Cats. Now I want to know. Well, maybe not. 
Oh, vintage cars are cool. I want to know if these can fall off the track, though. But it's not like it'll go very fast, because we have very wide turns and the hills aren't anything to be impressed by. Okay, let's uh, go right along the side of the train, just uh, elevated. And this isn't going to work. Looks like we're going to end up over the train. That's not what I wanted to do. <laughs> oh well. Oh well, it's fine. It's fine. This is going to be a very long uh, dur ride duration, which is fine. It just, uh, people may complain. Hold on, we should have more tunnels. I'm not being smart as I build this. Let's add more tunnels and make this interesting. I don't know if the tunnel even adds anything to the, uh, to the uh, stats of the ride at all, or if it's just in a purely aesthetic. I have no idea, but we're adding it because it's fun. Let's have one right here as well. Or no, maybe one parallel with the raised tunnel right here spinning tunnel you can probably tell I sound more energized that's because I uh, had some proper night's sleep and it's fresh in the day I just had breakfast I tried to microwave some uh, some protein oatmeal and I microwaved it too long so it exploded out the top and made a big mess in the microwave you know it's all great <laughs> don't do what I did how many cars do we get holy smoke 33 cars nice Let's turn the minimum wait time off and fire away. And then we could just open it, honestly. Let's open it and forget about it. Um, but now we need to add scenery to it. Do we have a loan? Oh my goodness. That's a huge loan. I forgot we had that. Uh, huh. Well, let's be uh, mindful with how much we spend in that case. Let's grab a castle of wonder. Put it over here. And I can't fit things in front. That's annoying. Maybe another castle would do would do good right there. I'm out of money. I can't afford it. That's not even that expensive. <laughs> That's how poor I am. Put a snowman there and a snowman there. And now we need some kind of banner over this, I think. So if we have... Uh, here's the banners. Let's make this white with blue text. Which is kind of hard to read. Car Ride 1, how anticlimactic. What a lousy name for that. That kind of looks like it's supporting it, doesn't it? Sort of? Yeah, not really. <laughs> it doesn't work very well. That's interesting. That's weird how it... Okay, that looks slightly better. Okay. Yeah, well, that'll do. That'll do for now. Um, but I'm going to uh, change this. Uh, walking, not walking. Uh, waltzing in a winter wonder wonderland. No, you're not waltzing either. Uh, winter wonderland. And that doesn't fit on the sign. In that case, let's delete the sign and replace it with a scrolling sign. There we go. Much better. And it looks like it fits onto the poles better. That's neat. Okay. Now let's get back to decorating. We're actually making this a decent amount of income. Look, holy, holy smoke, 20... Whoa! What did we do? Did we, uh... I don't remember. What did we do in the last session? Did we spam a bunch of flat rides? Not the last session. Yesterday. It wasn't even long ago. That's how, that's how out of sorts I was. My memory's not even intact. Anyway, let's get back to the scenery now that we have more cash in our pocket. And place some trees everywhere. Make this indeed a winter wonderland. Now I think these can go through doors, can't they? Yes, they can. Fancy that. So if we place little doors here, let me change the color, make the doors black. Okay, and we'll put walls around this. Oh, that's so beautiful. It fits on there just perfectly. And now let me grab my igloo roof. On second thought, that leaves it exposed. Let's not do that. Where's the other roof types? Um, maybe... Where? Here it is. Ho, ho! This is what I wanted. Not that low, though. That'll delete everything. And I forgot I can hold control. Thanks for that tip. Why is it... Oh, never mind. I, I messed up. I'm not sure how I'm supposed to do that. Anyway, that's cool. And you can even see the inside there because the doors are stuck open for some reason. Why are they stuck open? Uh, doors. You know, whatever, that's fine. We'll leave them like that. That's cool. Cool in its own special way. Let's grab more of these. Place some here and there. 
We'll maybe put windows in this one. Oops, wrong side. Windows and walls. Here's the walls. Oh, I'm using a different type. Whoops. This one is concrete. If you actually look at a blueprint, there's a, uh, it's not a symbol so much as a pattern that they use to indicate concrete, and it's this. It's all these little specks of uh, different gray tones. So I'm not sure if that was, uh, if the developers, if Chris Sawyer looked at concrete on a blueprint and figured, oh, that's what concrete looks like, and used that texture. Uh, I don't know, because concrete in real life obviously doesn't quite look like that, but it's a symbol that represents concrete. Which is kind of interesting. But it's fine, these are different. The variety is the spice of life, after all. Let's grab some different tree variants. Like the ones that stand on the corners of tiles. And maybe. Do we have candy theming? I don't think we do, because we don't have any more theming. This is. We've unlocked everything. Okay. Let's put a shop here. Another one there, which doesn't serve any purpose. Some snowflakes would be cool. Put those there. We'll turn these ones and put them here. Maybe a snowball. Doesn't this have a face on it? There it goes. But I can't rotate it. When, huh. That's weird. So I have to select something else to be able to rotate it. Oh, there's, there's a face on this side too. <laughs> I wonder if that was accidental or not. Anyway, let's place a... No, 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 not that. A snowball. Grab the snoo belly. Roto drop is broken down. That's not good. That's not good. Let's put a fence around this. Uh, like this. Kind of keep it separated and walled off from everything else. Whoops, that doesn't go there. Keep that up over here. There we go, nice! And maybe extend that over here to the train. That's fun! Or maybe we can even put it by the train. Let's put it by the train. So you're adjacent to the train, but there's also a wall there. And I messed up. I messed up, delete that. There we go. Holy smoke, look at our income! 10,000 already? Sheesh! Let's turn a loan down while I'm thinking about it. Wow, we're making a lot. I'm not even sure where all this money's coming from. Are the ad campaigns still rolling? Yeah, they're still going. And holy smoke, we have 3,000 guests. Uh, okay. I think we could get 4,500 by the end of the year for... Never mind, I just looked at it. It's actually October. <laughs> We're actually getting very close to the end of the scenario. But I don't want to end when the scenario ends. I want to end when this park looks fantastic which is entirely subjective, which means we're going to be here until uh, I feel like we're done. <laughs> so let's just have fun with this and make this park magnificent. Merry Christmas, everyone. More trees. And what did I... S oh, yeah, I spent... That loan of 50000 was this. That was just making this all white. So this area is all in theme. And my, my, looks good, especially the track with the black tires. This looks really nice. And I think leaving the roller coaster brown was a good call. Although now that the, the top is white, I might change it to cyan. Yeah, cyan works. Or no, it could be like the night sky. Oh, there we go. Brown and black. Uh, that's kind of a basic boring color scheme most of the time. But in this scenario, or this circumstance, because of the white background, this actually works really well. I like it. So Santa's sleigh ride, uh, flying through the night sky, or the black track. Length of queues in my park? Well, deal with it! That means it's either you complain about that or you complain about the uh, being crowded. I'm just kidding. I'm gonna fix it. Let's play some TVs in our queue lines. I don't even know which ones are too long. Let me see. Thoughts. Bathroom. Clean tidy. Uh, da, 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 da. Crowded here. Yeah, that's what people are thinking right there. Let's see. I saw one that said queuing for ages. Where, where'd it go? It keeps moving. Queuing for avalanche for ages. Really? Oh yeah, because I made an absurdly long queue line. <laughs> How long is this? Nine minutes. That's not even that bad. By today's stand, well, by real life standards. But I guess in the game, minutes are actually like days. So like they're, they're stuck in line for nine days, basically. <laughs> so let's alleviate their pain with some TVs. 
There we go. This will hopefully make them happier. But it's good to see this ride is at max capacity. It means it's very popular. I wonder how much money it's producing. Let me look. Okay, it's offset its operating costs just a tad with those ride photos. Nothing too special. But yeah, that's a very impressive roller coaster. Let's see. We have lots of room for other big builds if we just build it around everything. So, But I'm not done. I'm not dead adding scenery to this. Let's add some mine theming. Maybe put this here. Which sits just nicely between the path and the train. And maybe some junk. That's not junk, that's wheels. Junk there. Some barrels. Barrels in different orientations. Turn that. That looks cool. And some wood piles. And a broken wheel. And more junk, I say. Let's see. Uh, we have bushes, but bushes may not fit in the snowy theming. Although, if you look at, like, the uh, way up in the northern hemisphere, like in Alaska or Canada, there is underbrush, but a lot of the foliage is evergreen. And I don't really have a lot of evergreen bushes, it doesn't look like. And I certainly have nothing with snow on it, and I want things with snow on it, because that seems to fit the theme. Anyway... I think. So we have a candy apple stall over here. Let's have a hot chocolate stall. We already have one somewhere. Let's build... Oh, this is the third one. Goodness. Let's build it right there. And same price to that park. Free hot chocolate, everybody. Get your free hot chocolate right here. Woohoo! And I can't tell if it's selling them or not because there's no pop-up animation for when people buy it. Oh, I just realized this should be free because the big balloon release is coming up! And it's, uh, what is that? Eight days, nine... Uh, yeah, about ten days to March 1st because we don't believe in we don't believe in November through February those aren't real it's all a myth just like birds it's all a myth <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying <laughs> let's see if anyone watches uh, the urban rescue ranch I love how he jokes about how birds are secretly just uh, spy cameras it's so funny playing into the memes now there's going to be people in my comments like, aren't they? <laughs> As someone who has raised chickens, I can tell you, no, they are real. They are very real. Unless you get into the, unless you argue that different kinds of birds are actually the spy camera. So I don't know. I'm not even going to have that conversation. It's kind of weird, honestly. Let's leave this on mouse tail so we have something accommodating to everybody. And change the color scheme to blue and red. It's kind of bright, but it's fine. And this should be an igloo. Why isn't this an igloo? Snow ice. What else? This should be snow themed as well. Snow ice. We'll call this the uh, Glacier Observatory. So you make sure that your bases, your scientific labs on the North Pole, don't, get, don't sink into the ocean. Because the North Pole isn't actually a continent. It's all just a frozen island. That's all it is. It's a chunk of ocean that's so cold, it's solid, and manages to stay, for the most part, in the same place year-round. So, if it melts, all the laboratories you have up there will sink. So you got to keep tabs on that through your watchtower. Okay, we have one of those right there, so let's not have one so close to it. Let's place, perhaps, a spin ride. Not a spin, it was a scrambled eggs. What do you call this? Oh, no, I killed my tree. Darn it. <laughs> uh, let's put that over here. Yeah, right there. Asphalt for the... Uh, oh, look at that. I won. I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> okay. Okay. We'll do that. Okay. Normally, this would be my cue to do the outro. But no! We're not finishing here. We are going strong till the end. And by the end, I mean this was the end. By the end, I mean when this park is fully fleshed out and a magnificent thing to behold. Because this is the Christmas special, and we're not here to win, we're here to have fun. So, let's open that and see just how far we can push this. We almost have 4,000 guests, so we did double our objective, we didn't triple it, but we almost have 4,000. I wonder how much more we can get in the next year or two. So let's grab, a uh, let's grab this. Yeah, if I, uh, if I tried to record all of this yesterday, I would have been so... My brain was jello at that point, so it's, I think it's a good that way that I broke it up and slept. 
Let's see. This is open. That's good. I'm going to leave it at the default colors. That's right. That's all right. Uh, and I forgot to put the exit there. Whoops. I thought I could have sworn I tapped that. What the heck? Anyway, what else? 5,000. Not, not bad. Okay. It looks like... Oh, our ad campaign's finished. Okay, give me that money back. Give me that money back. Let's restart this for 12 weeks. And take more, more of a loan out. So I can do the... Uh, where is it? Let's do Santa's sleigh ride again. Why not? Uh, where is it? Santa's sleigh ride. 12 weeks. Booyah. And I'm not going to bother with a half price entry because I want to maximize profits. Well, I guess they'll they'll, they'll spend things. They're, yeah, they'll spend their money on things in the park, so that's fine, I guess. More people in the park doesn't hurt. Makes things a little crowded, though. Look at all these balloons. I don't think we're going to get more balloons than this since this was the the customary balloon release. Unless we get upwards of like if we can get 6,000 guests into the park, then just the passive releasing of balloons will be absolutely bonkers. I want to see what that looks like. That'll be sweet. Okay, let's see what else we can add today. We need a Giga Coaster, but I don't have the cash for it yet. Maybe a Mind Train Coaster. Whoa, what, what, what's happened? <laughs> All those balloons just started popping at the same time. That was weird. I don't know if I've ever heard that before. That was interesting. <clears throat> anyway, let's build this. Uh, off the ground, what am I doing? Off the ground, just just a tad. Let me quack this duck real quick. Woo! -hoo! You're welcome, little Mr. Duck. And I know it's a Mr. because that's a mallard duck with male feathers. There's no female ducks in this game. I don't know why. Oh, uh, they didn't bother getting both color schemes into the game. Let's see. Uh, what was I doing? Oh yeah, make this plane so I can see what I'm doing. One train, two trains. That's what I want to see. Okay. And this is one train type that I'm totally cool with it going on the ground because it's a train track. It makes sense for it to be on the ground. I want this to loop around like so. Or maybe more tightly. No, like this. Okay. And go up all the way up to maybe 75 feet seems appropriate. Now the support structure is right by the path, but that's okay. Then big drop there. There's going to be a big ejector airtime moment right there. But that's all right. It's kind of cool, actually. Let's get up to 65. Can I manage to pull this off? I cannot. Although I could, if I flatten out, do this. Which is a little risky. I don't know if that'll really work. Eh, that doesn't work. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Can I, uh... Let's helix it up so it doesn't look like it's digging into the ground all weird. That still doesn't work. Okay. That might be a little rough uh, on the G-forces, but we'll have to play it by ear because I, I like the way it looks. Well, no, actually not. Let's not do that. Let's, uh... I don't know. Oh, dear. We had a crash. And to think that I released a tutorial for this design... <laughs> <laughs> Is it broken down? What happened to it? Restraints stuck closed, so it's stu stuck sticking at the back. Okay. So I guess what we'll do is uh, close this, switch this to one train. Oh, well, first it has to get fixed. Where are you and what are you doing? How far away are you? Oh, there he is. Yeah, if you were a little faster, buddy, this wouldn't have happened. I'm just kidding. It wasn't his fault. It's because of my own design flaws. Anyway, let's get back to designing this. Um, if we bring this, now nah, let's just do this. We'll have a large gradual hill to 40 feet like this. Guests are still complaining about the length of queues in my park. Oh, well. Okay, now that's done. Let's uh, switch this and change this to have one train so there will never be a collision. Boom. And the throughput isn't good enough, any or the, the demand for this ride isn't even good enough to warrant more than one train anyway, so I guess take that as an update on my tutorial, is don't build it with two trains unless you're ready to have a crash. Woo! Walking in a winter wonderland. Have another hill here to 25. 
rise up and cut through the support structure. Make it more abrupt right there. I think we should be sufficiently slowed down. We won't have any serious issues. Let's have some mini hills here. Can I go through this? Oh, that's cool. That's cool. That's very cool. Okay, I'm glad I did that. Let's see if I can... Nope, can't do that. Let's go up. Go over everything again. And just barely eases over that. Nice. Now we're under ourselves, so we have to be mindful of how we do this. Oh, I think we worked our way out. Perfect. Let's actually helix it. And to bring it back to the station. The stay of the back's over there. Okay. Let's bring it down. Bring it down like this. And that's not going to work. Um, okay. Whoops. Make it go up now. Photo section because I forgot to have one of those. And now we can have this. That doesn't work. Maybe if I go steep? Oh, here we go. That is, if the train can manage to work its way all the way up to that height. Let's put some brakes right here. Although I don't think it'll be going particularly fast anyway. Ah, darn it, that doesn't work. Okay. A spacer. Brakes. Or maybe if we just skip the brakes. Yeah, that's pretty slow. Let's just skip the brakes. And then this little hill will help feed it into the station more quickly, but not cause it to crash, because it's not going fast enough to crash. Okay, and having the queue line of the exit over the track will buff the stats. So let's build those out real quick. Let's change this to wood. I want to see this uh, nice wooden supports. Make this yellow. Make this really long to make, or make sure our guests have a reason to complain. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I don't want to make him complain. It's just a... There's a reason for it. It keeps them off the paths, which helps with the park rating. I don't know how much complaining about their length affects the park rating, but I know that crowdedness drops the park rating. But right now, the park rating is high, so that's... I'm going to deal with it. There, I'll have to deal with it. Let's change the left hill speed to six miles per hour. What are these colors? Are these the only two defaults, or is there a third default? Oh, well, we'll leave it like that. And this will be like the... How do we theme this? This will be a train? This will be the train that goes around your Christmas tree. And there's your Christmas tree. <laughs> I'm just kidding. That's way too small. I wonder if we can build a tree. I wonder if anyone has ever built a Christmas tree out of the blocks in this game. So let's... Uh, I, I, want, I want to try it. Let's build ourselves a proper Christmas tree and try to fit it in here. Whoops, that doesn't work. I know this works, I'm just going to let it test in the background. That barely crested that hill, that makes me nervous. Okay. I could try to do this with walls, but it's I, then I'd have to juggle these around. It's easier to just do this. So now comes the fancy part. This is where I... Uh-oh. I need something that's green and slanted. Huh. Well, not this shade. Let's get a darker... A darker shade of green... Yeah, I think I like this bluish one. It doesn't look very green, but it'll make sense when it's all together. So let's um, pick something... Is it over here? I want something like this. Oh well, we'll do the wood. Pull down. Place that have control pulled down. It is not placing on the same plane. That's annoying. I think I should have built this taller first. So let's delete all those and start over. Because I want the supports to reach the ground. Okay, let's go back. Where was the the ground, the tile we were using? Was that this one? I don't think I don't think it was this one. Okay. Build up a little bit taller. There we go. We're making ourselves a Christmas tree. With this very dark, dull shade of green. Here's the wood that we wanted. Okay. Why is control not working? Oh, here it goes. Uh, huh. Interesting. 
Delete those, put them back, and now hold down control. Oh, it's because it's not tall enough. Okay. So I guess we'll leave that spot bare for the moment. Just because the roller coaster is there. Yeah, like that. That works. Okay. Whoops. Let's get a few layers higher. And it's still defaulting to the same elevation. That's weird. Okay, let's go up there. There we go. There we go. And I think we need to make this uh, the same height as the, the same width as the one below it for now. And then extend its width later. I, oh, dang it. I zoom to the cursor. Oh, that's so nice. Otherwise, I would have had to let go. I would have had to, well, what I'm doing is roller coaster open RCT2 lets you zoom to the cursor where the vanilla game doesn't do that. It just zooms to the center of the screen. So because this was out of the frame, I would have had a hard time building the scenery over there, but I can't let go of the control key because I need to maintain this height. So I can't pan around. Oh, never mind. <laughs> I guess I could have just right clicked. <laughs> I, I never do that. That's why I didn't think to do that. That's funny. Delete this. Okay. It's not gonna let me. Okay. Delete that. And it looks like we'll have to let that be the way it is, because that's where the train is. And I think it's still testing. I forgot to open it. Let's, uh... There we go. What are the stats? Ooh, not bad. Let's see. Uh, Santa's toy train. Santa's... To toy... Train. There we go. Let's get back to this tree. <laughs> I, I don't know if anyone's ever done this before. This is funny. Okay. Are we building on top? Oh good, we have some space. Okay, let's build this one layer in from the layer we just did. Oh, actually, no, I think it'll be... This, the tree will be too squat if we do that. So let's actually make the lower layer wider. Let me grab this. Okay. There we go. Why is it not high enough? What the heck? L raise it up. Control is not working. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Okay, stuff is in the way there. So let's go around like this. Use the right button. Right click, which I never do, but I need to do. I need to learn how to play this game properly. After all these years, you think I would have figured this out by now. All right. Now let's make the layer above it do the same thing. Okay. There we go. Can't place them there because the train's in the way. That's all right. We should probably make this uh, more round, actually. So let's make these rounder. There we go. And it doesn't have to be perfect. It is a tree, after all. It's going to be a little sloppy. Well, it wasn't pruned like the like it was supposed to. The, the guy who was responsible for pruning it, he got fired. <laughs> I guess that's me. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I've never had that kind of job. It would be fun, though. I like those kind of outdoorsy jobs. Well they, well, they suck. They suck when the weather gets bad. But it's nice to be able to kind of... You can work hard, but be like you be in your own head and do your own thing for a long time you don't have to uh well you, you have to do what people say but, but you're not being supervised all the time i like working solo okay let's make this wider Okay, this is kind of looking kind of strange, but I think if we do this enough, if we do this enough times, it'll work. Okay, let's add another layer. Uh, whoops, wrong button. Shift, not shift. Control, there we go. Nice. This is such a good trick. I don't know how I never knew this. For anyone who wants to know how to do this, you hold down control and it lets you build on the same plane. So you don't have to go back to the ground and hit shift every single freaking time. 
Although this uh, glassy water looking thing, this uh, that's actually something unique to open RCT2. It's a, it's a help, it's a guide to help you build in the same plane. So you can see how everything relates to each other. I used to think it was a bug. They're like, oh no, why is there water in the screen? But no, it's actually a feature. This is to help the scenery. And I just didn't know it. Okay. And it looks like I have to start another layer. There we go. There we go. This is so cool. Okay. The tree is still looking a little squat, so let's make these lower layers wide. We want to make the uh, transition to the pointy top gradual, or else it'll look like a super short, stubby tree, especially with this really long trunk. Or I guess we could just build layers lower down, but I didn't want—I didn't want to be in the way of the train. It's a big Douglas fir. Oh no, 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 no! Not a Douglas fir. It's a. Uh, this is a. Uh, what? What is it called? This is a noble. I like nobles. Noble trees are pretty. There we go. Getting confused with my buttons over here. Two, three, one, two, three. Let's add, oops, points to it. How does that look? Something's wrong. <laughs> I messed up somewhere. We're just gonna eyeball it. We're just gonna eyeball it, guys. It'll work. Oh, uh, no. <laughs> oh, no, I think we got it. I think we got it, perfect. Okay, so now we can maybe transition to a narrower layer. Let's just build this up. Actually, no, I need to see what I'm doing on the other side of it, so keep that down. Okay, shift. Control. Here we go. Here we go, now we're cooking chicken. Okay, let's add points. Let's do another layer like that, so up. Here we go. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. It's getting faster as I get better at it. Yeah, it's getting much faster. Look at that. Isn't that a thing of beauty? Let's uh, let's duplicate that layer a few more times. So shift, build that up. Uh, hold on, how do I do this? Uh, bring this up. Here we go. I wanna have that airspace under it. So it looks like branches, not just a solid, a solid static thing. Or maybe I cut the core, the cut the points off at this point, and just bring it up like this. Here we go. Now we're talking. Oh, this is coming together so well. I love this. <laughs> it's a giant tree. I might actually grab some different shades, some different hues of green, though, just so it looks more realistic. Let's see. Bring this up. There we go. And from here, I think we'll do this. Yes, we do that. Okay. Bring this up. Still too low. Let's bring it up. Come on. Work with me. There it goes. I had to let go of the shift button. I think I was doing it wrong. Yeah, isn't that so cool? It's so pretty. Let's bring it up in the middle. There we go. Add a few more layers like this. Maybe one or two, like this, just so the transition looks more gradual. Yeah, I'm figuring it out. I think I, I think I got a better grasp of these controls now, or not? No, this isn't working anymore. <laughs> let go. Hold down Control again. Ah, uh, let me, let me let me make it work. Uh, no, it's kind of working. Okay. Something's not aligned. Where did I mess up? Oh, <laughs> those are way. Those are in the wrong spot. Okay, but everything else seems to be working well. So let's recenter this. Shift from the base of the trunk so I can see what I'm doing. Okay, here we go. Uh, Lego Mago. No, 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 no. Lego Mago. Come on. 
one layer, one layer above. I said I had it figured out. Apparently, I don't. Is this all centered? Oh, good. Let's grab here. There we go. To the center, build it up. And now what we do is just add the top little frill things like this. Oh, it's a thing of beauty. It's a thing of beauty. I'm so proud of myself. I've never done something like this before. Although I don't know if these are actually centered. Are these somewhere else? Oh no, they're on the tree. Perfect. Okay. So yeah, this is our tree. Look at that. That's so cool. We can even put ornaments on it. Let's make the top taller. Let's see. Not there. Here. Not there. There we go. Two more layers. One. Not there. Go here. And I think... I think that'll do. Although this one's slightly off, and as is this one. But that's okay. It's not supposed to be perfect. Yeah, there's our tree. Look at that. Isn't that neat? Wow. Now, I'm not really sold on the, the trunk. The trunk looks kind of funny. Let's see if we can find something that looks better. Something with a better woody look. Uh, well, something with a... Let's see. Something... Oops. I guess we could use the actual wood. Let's give it a dark, chocolatey brown. Yeah, what did I use? Concrete blocks? What was I thinking? Heh <laughs> Let's build this up. Oh, that's way better. I mean, it looks like boards as opposed to a trunk of, a, like, a log. It looks like cut wood, not raw logs, but it's fine. Well, maybe I'll look. Let me let me see if there's something better. Um, we have metal. I don't want metal. Corrugated metal. Don't want that. Oh, no, that's just corrugated. I'm not sure what this is. This is concrete. The color is better. Oh, they're both concrete, but they have different outside materials. Yeah, I'm overthinking it. Let's just use this. Yeah, I like this. Oh, it's a beautiful thing. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> We made a literal Christmas tree in Roller Coaster Tycoon. <laughs> it's huge! Wow! Look at that. that. I'm so proud of myself. I wonder if we could put triangle pieces on it. Like these? If there's any wood triangles, I don't see any. Okay, never mind. We won't bother with that. But we need to find something that'll work as ornaments. That's not an ornament. Uh, let's see. What can I use? Something ball-shaped? Oh, perfect, 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 perfect. Let's make these red. And gold. Uh, why is that brown? I'll switch those. Okay. Okay. Oh no, I don't want the. Oh crap. I don't want the. The freaking. What do you call them? The support structure on it. Guests are complaining about the length of queues in my park. Of course they are. Oh, this is hilarious. We got an actual Christmas tree in Roller Coaster Tycoon. Another one there. And I need to color these, I think, so they're not all the same color. We'll play around with it after I place a few. That's not supposed to be there. Those are too close to each other. Let's put some on the other side. Yeah, this side's kind of barren. Wholly lacking in ornaments. And this side is lacking somewhat. Okay. So then we have a loose assortment of ornaments. Uh oh, wait, wait, wait. I gotta put one more up here. Up there. There we go. Much better. Now we need a star somehow. How do I make a star? What can I use? Let's see. Um. Nothing in here looks like it'll make a good star. Okay, forget the star. Or no, we could do like an angel. Um, a dinosaur angel? <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. No, let's not do that. <laughs> Wait. Okay, there's nothing in there. We could plant a tree on top, maybe. Is this, can this go up? Yeah, it cannot. Can these go up? I know one of the tree types... 
I think it's the spooky trees, actually. The creepy trees let you build them in the air. Oh, no, it's the dead trees. Never mind. The dead trees from... I don't remember which category it is. It might be the spooky theming. There's creepy theming and spooky theming. I don't know why they're separate, but they're two different themings. Uh, but anyway, let's, uh, let's paint these because I'm actually not really digging these colors. Oh, that's better. I wanted the red and gold, but the red and gold just doesn't look good with these with these fears. Oh no, I paint no, oh, I didn't mean to paint the tree. <laughs> Whoops. Although that reminds me, we do need to make different shades, different hues on this tree, like this. Isn't that a thing of beauty? Okay, let's paint the other side. I still can't get over how great this is. And you can see the train popping out right there. Nice. Okay, and that's our Christmas tree. That's a beautiful thing. And why won't it stay centered? It always ends up way out there. Maybe I have to center it here. Oh yeah, it's centering to the ground. Because I'm up in the air looking at something in the air, it's not centered. Uh, anyway, that's cool. That's really cool. And we're already halfway through year five. I spent like half a year on that project. Ha ha ha. Okay, let's uh, think about our, lo our our financial situation. These expired, even though I maxed them out. So let's redo that. Let's advertise Santa's Toy Train, if I can find it. Santa's Toy Train, which is the new roller coaster. Boop. And half price entry to the park. All income is good income, I say. And now we need to build more rides to justify those all those new people. Oh wow, we have 4,000 people. My goodness. Yeah, this park's going to get really cramped really quick. Let's see. Should we have a monorail go over the lake? Uh, maybe not. But we could have more water rides, like maybe a water coaster. Where is the water coaster? In the vanilla game, this was categorized or indexed under the water rides. Anyway. Let's build ourselves a sea monster. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight... And we need a long station, so we have a lot of boats. There we go. Lift hill. Nothing particularly huge. I don't know if you can hear it, but there's a dog barking. Okay, from... 65 to 50. I don't know if I'm going to make it that high, that high because this roller coaster loses its momentum very quickly. Let's just turn the speed of the lift hill up and drop this into the water. Woo! Well, not quite to the water. Let's helix it down. And the, the island's in the way. Not the island. The, well, no, we can fix that. We have money. We have money. We have an allowance. Okay, there we go. That's what I'd like to see. Let's, uh, let's mosey about in the water. Now that's in the way. Okay, that was a bad idea. Let's, uh... And, sad enough, the only tile we have access to that gives us these water pieces is the wide turns. And that doesn't work. Okay, let's, uh... Lift hill again. That doesn't work either. Okay, never mind. Let's not do that. Um, hmm. Can I put the S-Band here? No, 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 no. We cannot. Okay, S-Band left. Oh, here we go. S-Band right. This or S-Band left again. So you get a nice uh, chance to just kind of float around, enjoy the scenery. Okay, 60 feet. I don't want it to go that way. Let's uh, bring this back. Turn. Lift hill some more. Back up to 70, which is where we started before. And this is where things get fun. Not that way. <laughs> that doesn't work. That doesn't work either. Um, oh, but that works. Now cross our fingers that that isn't too many G-forces. Okay, now we have to find a way to bring this back to the station. So let's bring this up a little bit. 
Have some little airtime hops here. And return to the water. Nice. And I think we have to do this because these turns are so wide. S-bend. And S-bend again. Nice. All right. So there we go. There's our water coaster with a brown track. Why is the track brown? It looks like it's made of wood. That doesn't look safe at all. Let's make it purple like the scales of a sea monster. And the black supports. That looks cool. Let's make the highlights on our boats red. Okay. I don't really like the water coaster because it's the in this not very good stat wise, but I like the way this looks. This is very cool. It's hard to make the so I love wooden roller coasters because the support structure makes it look more you, you get more roller coaster out of your coaster, you know? Oh shoot, the heater's on. Hold on, I gotta go turn that off. Let me pause it. Boop. Alright. <clears throat> Put my headset back on. I am back from the dead. Or <clears throat> I mean I'm back from the therm thermostat. Uh, the heater's still going for some reason, but it takes a second to turn off, so I'm just going to let it go. Uh, it may have been going earlier because I can't really hear it through my headphones. The only reason I heard it is because I took my headphones halfway off because I heard a dog barking. I just wanted to... Oh, I'm out of breath because I ran up the stairs. Okay, let's see. Grab this. Now you know the pain of a content creator. And this line is way too long because there's not enough... Uh, <laughs> there's not going to be in... There's not going to be enough trains in this roller, or cars in this roller coaster to justify that length. Oh well, it keeps people off the path. Although I have a lot of wasted space here, I could have more. Yeah, let's do that. Let's break those. How many boats do we get? 10? Nice. Okay. So the queue line is obscenely long, but uh, it'll work. Let's move that and delete these paths. Handyman, get out of there. What do you think you're doing? Whoopsie daisy, did not mean to click that. Come back. Okay, we're going to let this warm up while we build our entrance. And it's not going to be particularly long because the throughput on this roller coaster will be terrible. Despite the fact that I gave it an obscene number of boats. And look at it go, just mosey along. And I'm going to leave this 10 second wait on just because, well, yeah, this is going to be so slow. If this boat manages to reach the station before the last boat is out, I'll turn this down, but otherwise I think that's exactly what we need. Let's watch our lateral Gs, because that's what I'm most concerned with, although I think we'll be fine. The only real risky part is right here, I think. Okay, two lateral Gs is a bit much, but not the end of the world. Splash! And while we're waiting on this, we'll just quack some ducks. Hello, ducky, and pop this balloon. Get quacked! Oh, another balloon! That's like whack-a-mole. This duck just bounced off my roller coaster. What a nice, what a nice color scheme! I love the purple. Okay, let's follow this. Lots of notifications. That's the problem with a big park like this: is you get you get all kinds of notifications. We have so many engineers or mechanics who are eighty dollars per month to to pay them, and they're all busy. I think we need more of them. Good heavens! Wow, that's the problem with the big park: is it's hard to maintain with a limited, in limited income from the entrance. A pay per ride park is scalable, but this is not. No, well, not really. Let's see, what do those lateral Gs look like? Oh boy, that was two and a half. Okay. Let's see what that looks like. Slow that down to the proper speed. Stats, please. Okay, we're the, nice. Perfect. Okay, we'll call this the, uh, the, uh, Arctic Kraken. Arctic Kraken. Say that five times fast. Arctic Kraken, Arctic Kraken. Uh, okay, it's not, it's not that hard, actually. <laughs> anyway, so that's open now. And then we have a nice stream of boats. That's good to see. Bump. Come on, people, get in. And you get. Nice. Okay, another balloon. Let's pop it. Is this broken down? Yeah, it's broken down. It's not still running, is it? I don't want to. I don't want to see a roller coaster crash into this one. Okay, because that's what block breaks are meant to prevent crashes. But in my experience, they just cause crashes because of stuff like this. Anyway, 
let's decorate some more. Let's, uh, how, how should we decorate this? Let's get some water scenery. Hero is saying that this, uh, this uh, aquatic area would be to accommodate people who are in the southern hemisphere, who, where Christmas is hot, and then I call it the Arctic Kraken as opposed to just a Kraken. Silly me. Let's decorate with waterfalls. Like this. Okay, and now we'll change the uh, we'll change the station type to log cabin. Now it looks like the water is flowing out of the roof. Uh, that's kind of hard to look at, actually. Let's not look at that. That's making me giving me a headache. <laughs> okay, what else can we do, man? I'm so in love with this tree. <laughs> it's so good. What else can we do here? Let's. Um, oh, we have a bobsled coaster or a bobsled coaster. We also have the reversed free fall coaster. Let's build a couple of these that duel each other. Let's find a unused straightaway somewhere. Like over here, this works. We have to line this up just perfectly. And if this doesn't work, I'll have to knock my hill down. Yeah, there's a hill in the way. Okay. Maybe we'll just have one. We don't need to have two necessarily. That's nice to have two. No room for that. Still no room. There we go. Let's see how far this, how, how far up the hill this goes. Not the hill, the vertical drop. Okay, that seems to be the perfect height. Wonderful. And let's mirror this. Let's first of all cut this. I would normally do this tool, but I don't want to mess up the whole hill. Let's make it just look like it was cut out. So let's put a retaining wall there first, so it doesn't look like it's going to collapse on somebody. Retaining wall. What do I use as a retaining wall? Oh, this works. Little details like that. Let's build another one. Which has a log cabin entrance for some reason. Same length, same height, same everything. Okay. Perfect. Now let's get the, uh, oh, I forgot. We need the entrance and the exit. Right here and there. Okay. Synchronize with adjacent stations. Same with this one. And they will test together. Test, test. My theme is still Roller Coaster Tycoon 1. What am I doing? I forgot. <laughs> let's change that real quick. The theme. The theme. Where is the theme? Where I can't remember what it is. Uh, current theme. There we go. Now we get the flags instead of the, the buttons. Perfect. Now this can go there. I'm not going to bother with the long queue line because the third one of this is low enough that it's uh, it's alright. There's only room for, what is it, six passengers per car? Oh no, eight. Okay, well that's fine. It'll fill up, I think. Are there options for this? Oh no, it's just that one. Okay. Open. Let's change the entrance type to be igloos. Igloo. Uh, snow slash ice. There we go. Nice. Nicey and icy. Let's make one white and one blue. Well, maybe not white. Let's play. Well, I don't know. Maybe make this... We'll make the support structure blue. The other one will be white and red. Or no, it'll be red and white. Let's, switch, let's invert the colors. Let's make the track red. And make everything else white. There we go. That's cool. And I'm going to leave the cars at their default colors. That seems to work just fine. That'll draw a lot of people to the park. Because as roller coasters, these uh, have a significantly higher soft guest cap contribution than flat rides do. Speaking of which, look at all this dead space. We need to flesh this out. Maybe what we should do is have some subdivisions in the path network. So let's uh, extend this out. Like this. Maybe bridge over this.
go under it. I'm out of money. Looks like we just paid bills. I want to see how much did we pay for staff. Uh, staff wages. Holy smoke. Three. 3,400. That's not pretty. <laughs> that's a lot. Holy cow. That's not... Okay. That's not really good. Okay. We have a subdivision area that going, winds through one of our rides, which is kind of cool. What is this? Why are these all backed up? Okay. Let's turn this way up. Let's try seven seconds for that. Anyway, let's build more flat rides. Maybe we could build helicopters? What even is the point of this ride anyway? Is this one of those rides where it's determined by the... Okay, yeah, this is determined by the length of the track, not by the length of the station, so we're good. What kind of special pieces do we have? We don't have anything special. Okay, let's have this turn around like this. Okay. Bring this back to the ground. Nice. Okay. Just to have variety in this park, let's make sure we have more helicopters. We got any any of variety of this? Purple, blue, green, red. Okay, there we go. I like red. The color of power. And what is, what's up with this minimum wait time? Let's turn that down to five seconds. Much better. And I see a duck. Prepare to get your feathers quacked, you silly feathered friend thing, dinosaur descendant. I like alliteration. Uh, let's uh, forget about this for the moment and build something else. Look how fleshed out this looks now, that we have more stuff built on top of each other. But it looks still, it still looks kind of sparse and weird. We got to change the terrain and we got to change we gotta add scenery and stuff. And hills. I just remember, we gotta add hills. Let's add a little hill. Maybe right there. Ah, oh, these look so out of place. What am I even doing? <laughs> it's expensive is what it is. Let's add trees to it. We'll call this the uh, Arctic Rescue something or other. Rescue Rangers. Arctic Rescue Rangers. I don't know if Rangers fly helicopters, but this is what popped into my head. Let's capitalize on this rainstorm with an info kiosk. Well, this is the third one. I think I've failed to build as many of these as I should have. Let's make these yellow. I think we have red, blue, and green. So we still need yellow. And look, they're already selling. On the opposite corner of the park, look how many people don't have umbrellas. So let's uh, sell it. Where is it? Another one. Make these ones purple. Nice. There we go. And this is a thunderstorm, so this is gonna this might be a while. Let's build another one over here and set this to cyan, and maybe one more and set it to pink. Maybe right there. Make these pink umbrellas. Okay. Things are looking good. We are fleshing out this park. It looks much better than it did just like an hour ago. So much more stuff packed into it, and it looks great. Let's build some more trees and place them everywhere. I said this would be like the summer area, and here I am placing trees. Frozen, frosty trees. Silly me. I wish we had, uh, I wish we had deciduous trees that were frozen like this, but we only have conifer trees. Snow-covered Norway spruce, red fir, red fir, and Caucasian fir. Okay, so we only have a bunch of fir trees and spruce trees. Well, I guess a spruce tree is a kind of fir tree. I think. I might be wrong. I thought it was fir trees and pine trees were the two the two categories of, of evergreen, but maybe not. Maybe 
maybe fir and spruce are different. They look the same, though. They look similar. But yeah, it's all coming together beautifully. I wish we had the the Wonderland theming because we could really lean into this whole toy train thing if we did that. But that reminds me, we got to change the color of this because of the toy train. You got to have bright colors. So let's make a, a different colors per vehicle. So train one is red. Then we got. Oh, hold on. The the seats are the wrong color. Now let's make the seats match the outside. Vehicle two is blue. Vehicle three is yellow. Uh, that's dark. Let's make that yellow. Four is green. Whoops. Same one. Green. Orange. And purple. And finish it off with pink. Boop. Now it looks like a toy train, and I can't see it through the tree. <laughs> Where's the other one? There it is. Look at that. The thing of beauty. There's the other one that we were looking for. Now then, I think we have uh, even more money. Let's turn this down. Did our ad campaigns expire? They have not. They're still running. Nice. So lots of income pouring into this park. Let's build more rides so we attract even more people. Where's the first road drop I built? Oh, it's, uh, it's clear over there. Okay, so we can safely plot this over here. It's not too close to anything. Let's make this 170 just like the first one. Oops, that's more than 170. 170, get the maximum stats possible. Nice. Let that test while I build a queue line. We're out of money. We paid uh, we paid our bills again. Holy staff wages. That's not the staff wages. Here it is. $3,400. Holy smoke. That is a lot. That is an obscene amount of money to pay for staff. Uh, that's the price we pay, I guess, for a park like this. And look at all this litter. They're not even doing their job. Or I just failed to place enough garbage cans. So let's do that. Oh, actually, I don't have any money. Well, first of all, let's uh, build the queue line to this. There we go. Open. Nice stats. Very good. The default colors are fine. I'll leave them where they are. Let's let's uh, fix our park problems by building more trash cans because there's litter everywhere. And I seem to have forgotten to place anything along these paths. Well, I have benches over here, but no garbage cans. Okay. It's already an improvement. Let's actually grab the rustic benches here. So people can sit to fix their nausea issues. Especially here on the exit of this ride, because this has an obscenely high nausea rating. Much better. Much, much better. Although this windy path doesn't seem to have... Okay, never mind, it does. I thought it didn't. Okay. What else can we add? Ad campaign's just wrapped up. Let's restart it. For 12 weeks. We're almost at the end of year 5 already. Look at that. Start... And we'll advertise the uh, water coaster we just built. The, uh, what did I call this? Arctic Kraken. This should be close to the top. Here it is. For 12 weeks. Are you frozen this winter in this cold Christmas season? Come make it worse today at Kraken, the fan fantastically fabulous water ride. Where you'll get soaked to the bone and guaranteed hypothermia. <laughs> I'm not very good at being a commentator advertising, am I? Boop. Turn that on. Perfect. Let's turn it alone back down. We don't need to have it this high. It's bad enough that we're spending $3,400 a month on staff. So we don't need to pay all this extra money on... Well, I guess compared to the staff wages, the loan interest isn't even that bad. Let's see. How busy are they? What are they doing? I don't think we need this many since we have enough. If we have enough benches and garbage cans, we really don't need that many handymen. So let's actually... Let's, uh curb our bills somewhat by turning this way down. Okay, hopefully that fixes it. Mechanics are pretty busy. Well, are they? Okay, they're not busy at the moment. We could probably cut some of these guys off too. 
Okay, so hopefully that'll help us keep more of our money in our pockets. My goodness, mass layoffs is what that is. Oh, I love this tree. <laughs> it's so great. You know, I think we could put a star on it if I just use this and color it. Color it yellow. Yellow and white works, so let's grab the base. I missed. Where's the base? To zoom out to do this. There we go. Ta-da! I'm not even going to try to make things stick out of it. Okay. More theming is what this park needs, I think. So let's grab, uh, grab that. Maybe another one. Something like that over there. And more trees. You can't have too many trees in a park. And let's transition to palm trees for the beach area, for the lake, because this is where things are warm. If you're in the southern hemisphere, this is the Christmas park for you, where things are very pleasant to pleasant, nice, warm weather, and everyone in the northern hemisphere is jealous. Well, the kids aren't. Kids love snow, but adults tend to not like it so much. Or no, I think the accurate thing is, is we love the snow when it falls the first time, because it's exciting, and then it becomes dangerous to drive in, and then it turns to nasty slush as it mixes with the dirt and everything. And then it's just a hazard all the time. So we like it initially, and then we don't like it. <laughs> For me, at least. That's me. Although, in the state that I live in, it doesn't snow very often. But I was attending college in Idaho, and the snow there is bonkers. Especially, like, uh, in eastern Idaho. Not pretty. Crazy snow. It's like what Toothless says in How to Train Your Dragon. It snows nine months of the year and hails the other three. Although that's not really true. It gets pretty hot. It gets really hot in Idaho during the summer. It's a, it's a desert, but it's a high elevation desert. So it gets really hot and really cold. So really crazy climate. Let's see, what else can we build? We need one of these, one of these bobsled coasters. Same as perfectly fitting for this kind of park. Let's give it a decently long queue line. First of all, let's build it off the ground just slightly. Turn the uh, the themed entrance off so I can see what I'm doing. Okay. And what kinds of... Okay, I just get six seaters. Okay, let's go down. Like this. All the way up to 65. Start with a little pretzel, and I like how the hill is right next to the lift hill, but not under it. That's what I like to see. So we started from 65, so if we make the hill too tall, we're at a, we have the risk of the trains flying off. But that doesn't appear to be an issue here. That seems to have stalled just nicely at the top. Let's watch that again, though. I want to see how this behaves. Let's see, five seconds. Minimum wait time. Okay, and the helix will kind of slow it down too. Or at least prevent it from accelerating too much since it's a downhill helix. Woo! Oh, that's beautiful. Just barely breeze up to the top. Wonderful. Let's go from 40 to 35. Do I have room for this? I don't think I do. And that doesn't work. Okay. And something is in the way. Oh, it's the hill. The hill's in the way. Can I sneak under this? Oh, look at that. I can. Perfect. Why can't I turn, but I can go straight? That's weird. Anyway, let's bring it back up to five feet, because this is what we need to return to the station. I forgot to put a photo section on this. So let's replace this last tile with a photo section. Okay, put the entrance right at the front, so people can get on. Turn the lift hill speed up all the way to the max, and test. Booyah! 
and love to change the color of this. Replace the red with light blue. There we go, now it looks frosty. Much better. Okay. Let's follow train one. It says train one. Let's follow car one, bobsled one, and see how it does. Through the helix section and down the drop. Woohoo! Nice, nice. Not too fast. It doesn't fly off. That spot might be risky, though. Come to think of it. When this is loaded up with passengers, it's going to have more momentum. I guess we'll play it by ear. We'll see what it, we'll see how it does. Well, no, I can fix it now. Why not fix it? Just fix it now. There's no reason not to. Let's make it go up to 45 or to 40 again. And why did I put that little hop there? That's bad. <laughs> That's just gonna make it fly off. I'm used to doing little decorations like that. Although, this is a place where we could put our photo section, come to think of it. So let's delete this one and replace it with a station piece so we get more cars, more bobsleds, and put it here. Much better. Okay. So I feel a little better about that. Let's uh, fast forward the part we just did. Follow this a main view. Woo! It is a little quick through that spot, though, so I might make that a little taller. Yeah, I'm gonna make it taller. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep keep editing stuff. <laughs> Let's make this go up to, what was it, 40? Let's make it 45. Much better. Okay, instead of just following it, I'm gonna build the entrance now. Okay. Okay, peeps, don't get lost. Don't get lost. Get back on the path. Where are you going? Leon. What the heck? I think he's a pizza. Yeah, he's got a pizza. And I can tell it's a pizza with just a few pixels. That's so clever. Well done, Chris Sawyer. Or whoever it was who designed the models. Well, this seems to be working like clockwork, so I think we're good. What are the stats? Ooh, ducks! Get quacked, you silly feathered fiends! Or, uh, whoops, didn't mean to click on you guys, sorry. <laughs> stats. Is this train one? Yeah, this train one, okay. Nice stats, okay. And with the, uh, with the photo price, that'll hopefully, hopefully offset the operating costs, so we can keep more profit. We've almost paid our loan down, look at that. Only 5,000 left. And still eight weeks remaining on our ad campaigns. That's good, that's very good. And even more fleshed out. This park is beautifully coming together. Okay, what else can we build today? We have a LIM, LIM launched coaster. Those are always fun, kind of, in, kind of insane, but very fun. Build the entrance over here. Did this break down? Yeah, I totally broke down. Okay. Let's see how long we're we trying to get. Okay, just one. Let's do a quarter loop. I'm out of money. We'll have to build this as we earn, or just do the easy thing and take out a loan. Woo! I love borrowing money. That's what, that's what uh, Dave Ramsey said to do in real life, right? <laughs> Just kidding. And because of OpenRCT2, there are track pieces available to this roller coaster that are not available in the vanilla game. Let's see, large half loop. Oh, that's a thing of beauty. And this is launching way too slow. Let's try, uh, let's try 60 miles an hour. That might be too fast, though. Woohoo! Woohoo! Okay, it's actually a little slow. Let's speed that up to 65. Now we're talking. Okay.
Whoops, let's break those. I'm out of money again. Let's take out more money. This is expensive, my goodness. And corkscrew out of it with a large core. Or no, maybe a half loop. Oh, look at that. <laughs> that worked perfectly. Can we go through this loop? Just barely. Look at that. Now, I think we have large corkscrews, right? Are these going to be too intense to ride? Probably. Let's see how fast it goes through it. Okay, that's making me uncomfortable. I need to make this a little, a little stronger. Or, what I just do instead is uh, make this more abrupt. Quarter loop. I don't have room for that. Quarter loop. Please. No! Okay, we'll do it the way it was before. Fine. Fine. Or we'll put a hill here. We'll press the hill. Airtime's always good. Let's do a medium half loop to 65, and then do a large corkscrew to get out of it. Large corkscrew right. Track pieces that are not available in the, the vanilla version of this game. So kudos to OpenRCTT, uh, OpenRCT2 and their developers for making awesome mods like this. This might be a good spot for our photo section. There we go. Okay. Let's put some brakes on here so the S band I'm about to put on here isn't too intense. There we go. There we there we have it. Let's put our entrance and our exit in place and test this monstrosity. Whoops. Give me, give me train one. Follow this on main view and watch these G-forces. A lot of positive G's so far. There's a little bit of negative G's. Just a tad. There we go, that's what I want to see. Some nice airtime. Woohoo! Through a very rough helix. And some rather abrupt lateral G's. Okay. So let's uh see what the stats look like. Ooh, not bad. A little rough on the intensity and a little high nausea, but it's okay. It is a launched roller coaster after all. That's what we get. And connect this with the path. There we go. Perfect. Let's open this. Now we filled in this spot. Uh, I mixed uh, plot with spot. This plot. Splot. <laughs> we filled in that spot. Now let's... Uh, well, this is actually coming together. There's not a lot of room to build anything. We're almost there, guys. We're almost there. We just got to save a bunch of money and change the scenery, I think. And then we can call this park done. And look how beautiful. Oh, I love this tree so much. Look how beautiful it is. Oh, this is great. I might just take out a massive loan just so I can do it in one fell swoop and not even bother paying it off. Just say, all right, we're done. <laughs> I'm sure we could pay it off if we waited long enough, but I don't want to wait that long. But we need to fill in some of these little tiny spots with more rides. I think we only have one of these. So let's build another one. Right over here by the water's edge. And make this... Uh, how tall is this? It's 200 feet too tall. I'm not sure. Hello, ducks. Flying in formation. They're like uh, bombers waiting to poop on the people below. Anyway. Let's build this. And now, I, I think we have to set this to probably like 70-something. Let's try 72. Okay, 74. Will that make it up? There we go. 74 seems to be the sweet spot. Now my concern is if the intensity is going to be too high. We may have to reduce the height of this. Oh, no, we're good. We're good. It is very high, but not too high. Perfect. And I do not like these colors. Let's make the tower yellow with a red core. Or red, I don't know what the thing on the inside is. And we'll leave the vehicle the default color. Nice. Okay. Make this log cabin. Or maybe wood, because we're riding the water's edge. This is the warm area. We don't have a river rapids. Let's fix that right now. I love river rapids. Let's make ourselves a river rapids. 
and maybe drop this into the ground. Well, that looks funny. Never mind. I'm not going to bother with that. Okay, perfect. Woohoo! And splash with rapids. You know what I want the Oh, I can I can always move the path. So let's keep this down to the ground. Rapids. Whirlpool before we turn and turn. Nice. Now waterfalls for this whole length. Put an on-ride photo section somewhere, maybe at the base of the hill. Let's put a photo section there. Let's replace this with an on-ride photo section. Now back to where we left off. Squiggly wiggly, for no apparent reason. Put some waterfalls on again, maybe some rapids, just to keep it interesting. Straight, and we'll have to put some scenery in there. Put another hill on. Another drop. And uh, have it pop out. Maybe one more hill. We'll make this go over the guests where they're waiting in line. So they get dripped on. Okay, and with that, first of all, replace this with rapids. There's a very photogenic, very pretty looking river rapids ride. Let's press the entrance and the exit and make sure that the uh, exit actually fits under this. It does not. <laughs> okay, gotta re rethink this. Delete those. One more piece. No rapids for us. Although I could put it here. But I'm gonna put a whirlpool. Not that. Whirlpool there. And put the rapids here. So you get thrills to the very end until you get off. Nice. Okay, now it fits. So we're gonna let this test. Ooh, we get red boats. Usually I go for yellow, but I'm, I'm feeling like being different today. How many do we get? Okay, it's already maxed out. Perfect. And this wait time is probably far too long. Let's change it to five seconds. Build a red path to it uh, just because we have red boats. Nice. Very pretty. Okay, so I'm looking over at my other monitor. OBS, or Open Broadcaster Software, says I've been recording for an hour and 27 minutes. And the session yesterday I was recording for about 3 hours and 30 minutes, I think. So this is going to be a very, very long video, I think. <laughs> We're already in year 6. Woo! This is super long. Holy smoke. Let me celebrate by quacking this duck. Okay. But yeah, this is the Christmas special, so we're having fun today. I'm not worried about park objectives or anything like that, although we do almost have... I wonder if we can get 6,000 guests. That would be sweet. We can create our own objectives. But anyway, this is going great. I wonder if we could make any supports for this. Or if they're too tall. Let's grab... Uh, not that. Grab this. There we go. Okay, this is a, it's a little too short. Maybe if I hold down shift... Something like that. Let's do it on the other side. And put a sign there. Well, first of all, let's put a block of wood there. Make sure it's in the right spot. There we go. And now we'll put a sign on it that says, once I place it, if I can line this up just right. That's not the right spot. Still not the right spot. There we go. Yes. And we'll name it. Hold on to your butts! Hee hee hee! Cause that's a drop right there. Okay, that's beautiful. That's a beautiful thing right there. And the spacing looks pretty good. And here's boat one coming to the back, right as the last few boats leave the station. So there's a little gap, but it's not perfect. If I lengthened the waiting time, then it would be backed up. If I could do 5.2 or 5.5 seconds, we might be able to perfect that, but I'm not concerned with that, it's fine. Okay, stats. Very nice, very nice. Let's open that. And let's put some scenery around it as well. Maybe some uh, sprinklers by the uh, by the exit. 
Speaking of that, let's actually create a designated area. First of all, it's kind of weird that I put them there, but uh, let's put a sprinkly section over here. It's a little close to the roller coaster, though, so let's break these ones. There we go. We have a four-way here, but that's okay. All right, and with that, now we can place a... First of all, let's place a fountain in the middle. Uh, there is no middle. Okay, I guess we'll just make it close to the roller coaster. That's fine. We'll put a fence there. Only the Thrill Seekers will bother going there. And we can change the color of the ground to this. That's cool. Or no, what we should do, actually, is first of all, let's grab this and put a little bit of, like, a lake here. And fill it with water. So let's, uh... Delete these when no one's walking on it so no one falls in. That would be tragic. Get out of the way. Please don't die. Then to get out of the way, Mr. Cowboy Hat. It's like the watering hole. <laughs> nice. Although I feel like it should be bigger, so let's make it even bigger. Why is the water not transparent? Uh, transparent water. Where is it? Transparent water. That's supposed to be transparent. Much better. Okay. Now we'll raise the water level around that up. There we go. Let's put the fountain back. And the sprinklers. Now everyone's going to get lost here because their path, uh, pathfinding algorithm sucks. And I don't think I missed any spots. Oh no, I missed a few spots. Okay, that's good. Perfect. Let's put some lamps around it just for fun. Never mind, I can't. It removes the sprinklers. Very fun. Very fun. Now people are going to start getting lost. Because <laughs> they always do. Let's put some fences or some rails here. Maybe some wire fences. By the roller coaster to keep people back. Whoops. Delete that. Yeah, stay back. This is not safe. Okay. I wonder what else we could do over here. We could do with another flat ride, I think. Maybe we have two Ferris wheels there. And this uh, Flying Saucers is making all kinds of racket. So let's keep it simple. I know we have one of these somewhere nearby, but let's build another one. A Crooked House. Always a fun little addition. I don't know why it tests. What, what does it even test? How, how many bloody noses it gets per hour? <laughs> that's what it's testing. And I say that because that's literally what these do. It's like a, like, you know, a hall of mirrors? You just walk into things. I remember as a kid, I think I was trying to catch my brother. It's almost like we were playing tag in there. And I thought I saw him. So I sprinted. And I sprinted into a wall of glass. I was so embarrassed and ashamed and in pain. It was awful. <laughs> Gotta make those lovely uh, fairground memories from a tender age, right? Oh, that's a lot of vomit. What's going on over here? Did I forget to put benches here? I totally forgot benches. Yeah, look at this mess. What? And we have the spinning wild mouse by the LIM launched coaster. Yeah, this is a perfect storm right here is what this is. There's a few benches, but not enough, clearly. Where are the handyman and what are they doing? Come fix this issue. There's a disaster happening over here. I need you to fix it. Our park rating is down probably because of this area. Or areas like it. You know, I should probably just hire more staff, honestly. I tried to fire everyone to save money, but... Eh. Oh, well. It is what it is. And this is broken down. That's not good. Oh, mechanics right there. Perfect. Our engineer. Building sentries and getting sapped by spies. Okay, I wonder if I could put some kind of decorative rails over this. Or not rails. Uh, let's see. If I can put these over at the top... Never mind, it's too high up. I want it to be the same height as the entrance. Oh well. Frosty Worm has broken down. I can't remember what that was. Was that this? No, that's Avalanche. I think Frosty Worm was not that. Where was Frosty Worm? Oh, it's this. It's the looping roller coaster. 
I wonder, does the train go through doors? Where's the doors? Nope, it doesn't. Does this? It does not. I wonder if the portcullis works. Where's the portcullis? Does this work? Okay, so I know that the these doors work. Or not. Maybe not for Wild Mouse. Hold on. I could have sworn they worked. Okay, let's go to the car ride. I know it works for the car ride. Way down here. So that works. What about the portcullis? <gasps> it works! It literally works! I didn't realize I could do that. I learn something new every day. <laughs> Look at that. That is awesome! That's so cool. Okay, I want to have... I want to incorporate something that uses those near the castle. Maybe just another car ride. I don't know. Something short. Something small. Something cute. Something like this. Probably too short to not incur a stat penalty, but it's alright. I'm not bothered. Let's put that there. Okay. Nice. Now we'll uh, open this. Turn this off, because we probably have too many cars for it, honestly. Um, oh, why are they that color? Let's make it red. Make this yellow. There we go. Nice colors. Now we put our portcullis around it. Make it the same color as everything else. Gray. I can't see what I'm doing. And I still can't see what I'm doing. <laughs> Let's put them on the entrance and exit of the station. Change the station type to Gray Castle. Now we're talking. Oh, that's so neat. I love that. Oh, and you can hear it. I, I've never done that before. That's so cool. Whoa. Learn something new every day. Hey, I've been playing this game for so many years and I didn't realize the portcullis actually opened. I thought it was just decorative. Well, that's really cool. Okay. Nice. All right. We're about halfway through year six. Let's see if I can get to 6,000 guests by the end of year six and then maybe end the scenario. No promises. I might, I might change my mind and decide to add more scenery and stuff, but, uh, but until that point, that's how we're going to proceed. Have a haunted house number three. Open. Nice. And this area looks... It's, there's not a lot of rides, but it doesn't look sparse because of all the trees. It looks like it's very purposeful. So maybe that's what we just need to do. We need to change the ground type to make it icy and then put trees everywhere. And everything else is now so much more packed. Oh, what a beautiful park. I'm loving this so much. We only have one really big roller coaster, though. We have some pretty big ones like this one, but uh, only one huge one. <sighs> well, we don't need a bunch of huge ones, and we don't really have room to build any more huge ones without building on top of ourselves, and that doesn't really look good. So I think we're going to stick with this. But I am going to take out a loan. Just take out a massive loan and change the ground. Actually, did these expire? Oh, yeah, they expired. Okay. First of all, ads. Advertise avalanche. Our biggest and bestest roller coaster. Does it have the best stats, though? It might. I don't know. It, good stats. Half price entry to the park. Get more people into the park. Okay, back to taking a loan. 80,000. We can go up to 100,000, actually, but I don't want to... Eh. Interest is expensive, but I think our income is high enough we can kind of get away with this. Let's change everything to ice. Maximum size is 64. Okay, maybe not. I don't want to change the I don't want to change the pool. So let's make this 40, something more manageable. Oh, that's so expensive. That's $20,000 to do that. And we'll change the area around the lake to sand or something. And that's it. We're out of money. Where are we? <laughs> oh, but look at this. Look at this. So beautiful. And irreversible. Oh, now the tree stands up more, too, because it doesn't have a green background. Yeah, look, this is... It's good that I picked this color for the tree, because if you look at an actual evergreen tree, or at least fir trees, that kind of had this color, especially, like, nobles with kind of, kind of that silvery green color. So this looks great. 
Now we just gotta earn some of that money back. Or what I could do is just <laughs> take more of a loan out. <laughs> Let's take more of a loan out. We've maxed out the loan, and now we'll turn this way up. Let's go, I don't know, 12. Something smallish. Oh no, that's too small. Let's go 35. Change this to ice. Boom, boom. Too expensive. Yikes. So now we're about three quarters covered. So we gotta earn all of that back. And now we're gonna be paying absurd amounts of interest. Yeah, this is gonna be ugly. <laughs> I really want to cover this whole thing in ice though, so let's just let's see if we can do it. Let's see if we can do it. Maybe not by the end of year six, so I'll have to revise that statement from before. Maybe by year seven or eight. Seven or eight. This recording's already been going for nearly two hours. This video's gonna be so freaking long. <laughs> I have noticed that my longer videos tend to perform better than my shorter videos. Which is weird. You guys are I don't know, you're masochists. You like to sit down for super long periods of time. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I love you guys. You guys are the best. It's actually because of you guys that I'm doing this kind of stuff. I started this YouTube channel not really expecting it to go very far. I am like, you always have visions of grandiose, and what if I become successful and it starts to pay for itself, maybe even turn into a job, but the realistic side of me said, no, that's not going to happen. This is just a creative outlet. But here we are. It's more than a creative outlet, and that's all thanks to you guys. So I'm tremendously grateful to all of you for what you've done for me and my series. Can I put a Coliseum in here? Hit <laughs> Coliseum. For no reason other than it looks cool. Anyway, enough uh, mushy gushy stuff aside. Oh, I messed up my hills. Oh, well, that's fine. We'll just not look at that. Oh my word, this is so expensive. Let's advertise free food. That might get people through the through the doors. Free fries, come and get them. Okay, now we just paid bills. Let's see, where is loan interest? is uh, going to start accumulating rapidly and become very ugly very soon. Staff wages was only 500 so far? Oh no, that's for this month so far. Oh, right, right. Okay. Yeah, look what we did. 72,000 last month <laughs> in landscaping and then another 20-ish thousand this month. So we spent like 100,000 almost in landscaping. My gosh. And that's not even getting into the nitty gritty stuff like changing individual sub areas to like making a, making it look like dirt or rocks like this. Yeah. Anyway, um, hmm. I think if we really want more people to come into the park, we're gonna have to build more flat rides to raise our soft guest cap. So let's do that. Let's have a few more spiral slides. I know we have a ton of them already, but a few more don't hurt. Let's change the entrance to the igloo. That'll also change the default for future builds as well. Let's have another one next to it. Open that. Maximum number of guests on the right of the time. And one more, which is the same color for some reason. That's annoying. We'll have to change it. Okay, make this frosty. And make this one red and green. Uh, bright red. There we go. Cool. Neat. Now maybe some bigger flat rides, like maybe... We already have a circus somewhere. We have another merry-go-round. Spiral Slide 1 still hasn't been fixed. Consider organizing your staff better. For sure, for sure. So we'll surely do that. <clears throat> Not. Okay. So now we have some delicious merry-go-round music going, which hasn't been going for most of the video. That's not normal for me. Usually most of the video is just blasted with merry-go-round music. Although I'm trying to avoid getting copyright uh, claims. And claims aren't the end of the world. They don't really damage my channel necessarily. Copyright strikes could. Copyright strikes are bad, but I've never had one of those. But I'd rather just not deal with it. So... But I think there's enough noise going on. As long as I keep talking and there's enough noise from the rides, then I should I should be okay. Because the merry-go-round, for the most part, gets blocked out by everything else. Ooh, sunglasses! Sunglasses are absolutely necessary in a winter wonderland because if some people, if, if you live somewhere where it doesn't snow, you might be surprised by this. 
but it is extremely bright when it snows because, well, here's a funny thing. If the sun is really strong, but there are clouds, but the clouds are thin, the clouds, the, well, the sun isn't directly shining into your eyes, but the whole sky is indirectly shining into your eyes because of the clouds. So that's one thing. And then you have it reflecting off the snow as well. So it just gets obscenely bright and really hard to keep your eyes open. It just stings. So sunglasses are very nice when it snows, especially when the sun is out or hiding behind a thin veil of clouds. If it's a thick veil of clouds, you're okay, mostly. Oh, we we'll probably have another one of these over here. I think shops and stalls also raise the guest cap, the soft guest cap. So we'll build lots of these everywhere. Have another souvenir stall, even though I already have one somewhere. Cuddly toys, same price, that's good. And maybe some... What kind of food have I not built? Do I have any... Uh, I don't have hot dogs anywhere! <laughs> I have managed to not build hot dogs, what's wrong with me? So I have hot dogs available. And I built that right next to the sub stall, what am I doing? Build the... Knock that down and relocate it somewhere where we don't have food. Like over here. Boop! And now we should also have a drink stall over here. Free, not hot chocolate, because that's a... Let's put the hot chocolate where it's cold. Over here, where it's hot and sweaty all the time, we will build something like iced tea or sodas. Something refreshing for this blistering hot weather. Yeah. And uh, maybe another seafood stall. Where's the first one, actually? I can't remember where it is. I don't want to build close to it. There it is. It's over there. So let's build the other one on the opposite side. Right here. Nice. We have options, folks. Are these too expensive? They are... No thoughts. Okay, they're selling. That's what we want to see. What else can we build? We don't have a cookie stall yet. Well, we have funnel cakes right there, so let's not build close to that. Let's build cookies over... Over here. Make these dollar cookies. This space... I could put flat rights over here, but I don't want to mess up my support, so I'll just put scenery there later. I'll do that later. Right now, we're fleshing the park out to try to increase our income by raising the soft guest cap as a complement to our advertising. Let's build another top spin, aka Vomit Machine, Vomit 2000. Uh, let's set this to intense mode, not berserk mode. And fire it up. Boop. Open that. Maybe another magic carpet. We already have one, but another one doesn't hurt. Oh, I gotta change these entrance types because we're in the warm area. <laughs> okay, well, first of all, open. Change this to wooden because of our tropical paradise is what this is. Uh, that's not what I wanted. Wooden entrance, very good. Anything else that is out of place with uh, igloos? Yeah, like this, this isn't supposed to be an igloo. <laughs> I completely missed that. That's funny. What else? This one... It's on the water's edge, but it is ice themed, so I'm gonna leave it the way it is. What about the uh, this thing? Oh, this is good, okay. So we are good so far. This is not themed at all. What am I doing? Let's uh, switch this to make it canvas. Maybe not canvas, it looks super yellow. Maybe... Log cabin? Because you can build log cabins out in the frigid cold but also have it on the water's edge, so it, it matches everything. Same with this one, let's do that here. I never painted this. Let's make these both a bright electric green color. Oh, that's very bright, wow. Look how much money we are making, holy smoke. August 9th, and we already have 5,000 from entrance tickets. Not bad, not bad at all. This spot looks like it needs a flat ride, so let's build one. Right here. Get our exit here. Whoops. Oh, well, that's fine. The entrance could be over there. We have a four-way path, so let's fix that. Break that spot there. And replace it with scenery. Little fountain. For no, no particular reason. Oh, flowers! I've completely forgotten about flowers this scenario. <laughs> yes, so maybe not in the snowy area, but in this tropical lake area. This is such a dichot. There's such a 
This park is such, uh, so, how do I say this? Uh, the, we got super hot and super cold. This park is opposites. I don't know how to say that. But anyway, we uh, completely neglected flowers because I didn't think they would uh, fit in a super cold area. But because this is a, because of the, the dichotomy of this park, that may not be the right word, I feel comfortable placing these flowers here. So let's do that right now. Get some nice flowers here. That's a beautiful thing. I'd love to put scenery over here since I blocked it all off with the flowers. Let's get some uh, magnolia trees. And then maybe some palm trees. Yeah, so that looks flushed out even though there's no rides there. So that's the kind of stuff we gotta do to make this park look finished. And stuff like this, this is so empty. I don't want it to look empty. So let's put some stuff in here. Maybe uh, another motion simulator. I only have one of these in the whole park. Okay, let's uh, set this to Thrill Riders. Test. Get the entrance there. Make sure that's open. All right, perfect. What are we researching? Do we have everything? Oh, everything's... Oh, perfect! So I think in the vanilla game, this thing stays on, but it turned itself off because I have unlocked everything in the game. Or everything in the scenario, not in the game, but... Everything is unlocked. We have many of these. I don't have a junior roller coaster anywhere. That's a mistake. We need a junior roller coaster in this park. Let's find a spot where we have room. Oh, there's room over here. I overlooked it because the trees made it look like it was fleshed out, which is kind of what I was going for. Okay, let's make sure we have two trains. There we go, two trains, perfect. Okay. It's weird that this junior roller coaster doesn't have uh, doesn't have a uh, rolled, uh, sl uh, sloped, uh, well, how would I say that? They don't have sloped turns, which to me is weird because you'd think that a, a gentle roller coaster like this would have access to something that would make turns more gentle, you know? But I guess not. I mean, it's fine. It's nothing wrong with it, but it's just kind of weird. Okay, let's uh, bring this back to the station ever so gradually. Let's put some brakes on here. And back to the station. Perfect. Okay, lots of notifications. This should have a pretty high throughput, so I'll make this really long. And now my supports are gone. <laughs> oh well, we won't think about that too much. Let's change these to make them... Make them snow bugs. S green snow beetles. And the track will be... Pink. Just so it stands out against the snow. And the supports will make them... Not black, we'll make them blue. So many notifications, my goodness. Oh, I forgot to change the lift to speed, whoops. Oh well, I'll just uh, get everything off, restart, let's follow, train one. Maybe watch from a different angle. Okay, no, this is the best angle, never mind. Alright, let's see what it does. Let's watch our lateral G's because we have some sloped turns, and I don't want to have too many lateral G's on this. But so far, it looks okay. Hello, duck. Let's see if I can quack the duck without clicking on something else by mistake. Oh, I missed it. Nope, bring me back. No, <laughs> the duck is gone. I can't reach it. Where'd it go? Yes. Get quacked, you silly feathered. F okay. I'm sorry. I, I get carried away with that. Let's see. Nice stats. 
The brakes slow the train down nicely. This is a really long train. Holy smoke. Okay, we'll open that. Perfect. My, oh my, we're making money. Let's go. Not enough to finish what we started, though. Although I did turn our loan down by 5,000, so maybe if I max it out again. Ho <laughs> ho. Let's, let's, uh, let's, uh, isify this place again. Let's go. Something relatively big. Switch this to ice. Nice. And watch as our money just evaporates. It's completely gone. Gone forever. Okay, so now the ring is complete. I just gotta flesh out a few spots and then turn the middle to sand. The length of queues in my park? Oh dear, where are they complaining? They might be here again. Yeah, I've been queuing for ages, he says. But better that they're here than that they're out in the, out in the, uh, holy smoke, there's 165 guests in the queue line. Well, that's good. And look how many guests we have, 5,728. Holy smoke. <laughs> We're getting there. We're going to quadruple the objective. Not at the end of the, at the end of the scenario. It's almost, it's almost year seven, but you get the idea. This is great. Let's see, what else can I do over here? Maybe another circus. Let's grab a circus. Plop down right there. Hello, duck. Let's give it an entrance. I'll leave it at its default color, that's all right. Oh, I had another circus somewhere. Oh yeah, it's over there in the castle, okay. Man, I'm so proud of this. I mean, this, for, for people who do scenery regularly, this is nothing to, nothing to stay, uh, shake a stick at. It's, it's, you know, it's, it's cool, but nothing compared to what many of you guys have probably done. But for me, this is a milestone. I've never, I like the tree. <laughs> I'm still so impressed at myself. I know it's tacky to pat yourself on the back, but I'm, I like it though. It's so cool. Let's see. Let's build more snowy trees. Just flesh this park out. Maybe I should zoom out when I do this. Whoops. Many much trees. Man, when I get the thumbnail for this video, you're going to have no idea that it's the uh, build your own Six Flags scenario. You're going to go, whoa, what a cool Winter Wonderland. Maybe that'll be the title. That'll be Christmas Special Winter Wonderland. And you'll and you'll open it and you'll see you'll see this before I do anything to it. You go, what? How does he change this? Well, it took about six hours. That's the answer. <laughs> More than six hours, actually. This is going to be probably my longest video I've ever published. This is awesome. We're in for the long haul for the Christmas binge. I actually didn't really like the energy I had yesterday in the first half of this recording because, well, I was tired, but I didn't like the way... Well, I didn't like my energy, and I, th I thought about starting over, but I think I'm just going to roll with it so you can kind of see both sides of me. You see me when I'm high energy, and you see me when I'm kind of a, kind of dead. <laughs> They're both, I don't know, sometimes I, I record myself, and I and I, th I feel like I, lis I think that I'm doing a lousy job, but then when I open the editor and listen to myself, it's not as bad as I thought. So sometimes you just have to, just have to trust. Are these the same? I want the other one. We're on a variety of trees. This area is going to be iced over as well, so let's not forget to place them here. Bring on the spamage. Many much trees. I want this to be as thick as I can get it. Awesome. Let's see, I wonder if I could put more castles somewhere. Let's grab the castle. Whoops. Turn this around. Knock the tree down. There we go. Little ice castle. Or a snow castle. No, it's an ice palace is what it's called. Some snowmen in front of it. Little shop. Okay, back to trees. Let's grab the thick, chunky one. Where I left off. So many trees. Oh, I gotta be careful when I place them by the wooden roller coaster because I might accidentally place it under the supports. That doesn't look good. Let's not do that. So I gotta be mindful of how I do this. Looks like I missed a spot over here where when I was painting over everything. And these trees are chewing up all my money. There's 
slow down a bit, be more purposeful as I place these. Okay. Castle go-karts look good, but they need more scenery. Let's put a palace inside it. Like that. Well, actually, it's a little out of place, but whatever. It's cool. One more right there. Okay, yeah, that one was out of place, but this one looks okay. Make some snowballs. We'll say these are the missiles or the projectiles of a trebuchet or a catapult that landed inside. Of a friendly siege, not a not a hostile siege, a friendly siege. Because you don't expect to actually damage someone with ice. Actually, that's not, that's not true. Ice is very dangerous. We don't think of it as dangerous because it's just water. And we use it so much in our lives. But a lot of ice, it's like a giant slab of rock, basically, if you think about it. If, you, if it hits you, that's painful. It can really do some damage. If you slide on it, that's also dangerous. So the ice is rather dangerous. I think, it just occurred to me, we should cover this up. So let's grab our fences. Grab our wire fences. Make sure this is safe. There we go. Nice. Let's change the ground type around it as well. With this. Not have it exactly even, but just something rough like this. Well, maybe. I don't know. Something like that. That's cool. We're spending a lot of money on landscaping with all these trees we're planting. But it's worth it. We are in October of year six, so year six is almost over. We may wrap the scenario up at the end of year seven. I think by the end of year seven, we should have enough money to finish off everything. As far as rides go, this park is very fleshed out. I'm loving the way it looks. Although a lot of it is just because of trees. My goodness. We should probably build more path networks to decongest the paths, because people are very crowded. Maybe something... Let me think. Um... Hmm. Maybe something that crosses diagonally through here? I don't know. Let's make it asphalt just to make it different. I saw a funny meme recently. Well, recent as in a few years ago. But a funny meme. It says, it's your own choice which road you take. If you don't like the path you're on, it's your own dumb asphalt. You know, asphalt, road. <laughs> I'm not swearing. It's not a swear. It's a it's a play on words. Don't judge me. At, at asphalt. It's a part of a road. Okay, I'm sorry. It was a bad joke. It was a bad joke and basically swearing. I apologize. Let me clean up this mess. Look at our park rating going down. We need more more staff, I think. More handyman by the look of it. Let me actually bring that back. Uh, we need uh, need assistance over here. What a mess. After everything I did, so many garbage cans and benches, and there's still vomit everywhere. Maybe we just, need, we just need some passive, unpaid solutions, like this. Not there, that's facing the wrong way. Face outward, like that. No operating expenses, it's free once you build it. So maybe for every one of these I build, I can fire a handyman, hopefully. So it's, a, it's an upfront cost, but it saves money in the long run. Although I, I probably won't break even until long after I finish the scenario, but eh. Let's just build a few, just because. That's number six. Let's uh, build one over here. Not there. Say somewhere where there's something thrilling. Like Enterprise. Although most of the people who come out six will just walk past it, which is annoying. I see vandalism. That's not good. No vandalism in my park, people. Come on. What is that? Bruh. Maybe. Let's see. Do we have any vandals? Versus the actions. Holy smoke. There's so many people in this park. And only like a fourth of them are actually walking. That's even less less than a fourth. Most of them are on rides or queued up for things. But I'm not seeing any vandals unless I'm just missing it. Yeah, whoever did it must have cooled off, so that's good. Let's grab a handyman. Not that one. You're uh, designated. Let's grab you and put you over here. Now it's raining. Which is terrible when it's cold out like this. So lots of umbrellas. And what else can we do here today? Our loan is still maxed out at 100,000. We are paying massive amounts of interest on this. Holy smoke. So let's try to turn that down. Guests in park. 
We maxed out the graph. The graph is going to have to adjust itself. Unless it's as high as it goes. This, this is, <laughs> I think this is, that's as high as the graph goes, because we're already higher than that, but it's not adjusting to accommodate it. That's funny. That's really funny. Okay. I think this park needs another cash machine to keep people in the park so they keep spending money instead of going home when they run out. What else do we need? We need another hamburger stall. Yes. Not by that, though, because we don't want to double up on the food. Here we go. We can put it over here. Get your burgers, folks. Come forth and buy. Launched Freefall 1 has broken down. Lots of notifications. Lots of notifications. Man, I love this train coaster. Look at it go. And look at those colors. It's a beautiful thing. And why are these boats gray? I never bothered to change them. Let's make them brown. Uh, lighter brown. There we go. And change the inner rail of this to make it white so it doesn't blend in with the boats. And the support's being black. That's all right. I'll leave that the way it is. Okay. I think we need more uh, scenery over here by the snowy stuff. Let's grab a snowman. Place him right there. Another one right there. And more trees. You can never have too many trees in your park. Unless you start out with that many trees and you have to delete them to build anything. Or if you're doing Rainbow Valley, which sucks. That was so hard. I did not... Oh, I had fun. I enjoyed it. But I did not enjoy battling with the trees all the time. That was frustrating. It was hard. It brought out my whiny voice too much. Let's plant some more trees like this. And while we're here, well, I could leave that stuff. I'll just take the thumbnail snapshot from somewhere else in the park. I don't know. Let's see. LAM Launched Roller Coaster 1 has broken down. That's not good. That's never good. Let's change this to something modest, like 20. Modest is hardly modest at all. It's expensive is what it is, not modest. I'll try to make this transition gradual. I'm out of money. I can barely afford to do this. Okay, yeah, we're broke again. The park with the best custom-designed rides. That is such a contrast to the award I got in the beginning. The most disappointing park in the country. That was so sad. I was, I was legitimately hurt by that. I'm just kidding. I wasn't hurt. It was a game. But it was kind of funny. I, I was amused by it, if anything. Look how this... We Look at the shape of these paths. I didn't do this on purpose. Like, it goes out. It's almost like it has ears. It's got a head with ears. That was entirely by accident. I didn't do that on purpose. That's kind of funny. Let's see, what else can we do to spruce up this park? We could spruce up the park by adding more spruce. Yes, you can't have too much spruce in your park. More spruce is better. Let's add a castle to this, right in the middle of everything. Maybe some snowmen by the, by the entrance here. A little shop that serves no purpose. And a tree. That doesn't go there. Let's move that over here. Very, very nice. Okay, how's the go-kart race doing? Oh, is it broken down? How'd it break down? Vehicle malfunction. That's not good. This needs to be refurbished with a reliability of 48%. Good, good heavens. Downtime of 5%. So that means for every 20 minutes it's running, one, one of those minutes is not working. Oh, well. Okay. So there's people riding the... I love how they wiggle in there. It's like they're chattering away. <laughs> Shaking their heads all weird-like. Anyway. What else can we add to this park? We have a little more cash. Oh no, these expired. That means I have to take out a loan again to restart them. Shoot. I can't afford to do this. Because we maxed our loan out. Good grief. Let's advertise Avalanche. Or no, Arctic Kraken. For 12 weeks, we need 2,400. Let's go to the entrance. Come on, peeps, get in the park. I need your money. I need your money, please. No, 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 where are you going? Oh, it's going home with a big grin. Well, I guess that's a win. He needs to go to the bathroom. That might be why he's going home. It's because he needs to use the bathroom. 
So maybe we should make these free. Well, no, let's, let's leave them on at the correct price. He still had cash to afford the bathroom. It's not because he couldn't afford it. We need to have more bathrooms so they're more accessible. Oh, look, and we can start this now. Okay. Oh, I'm looking at the wrong number. I was looking at my guest count, and I thought that was my cash. Because usually, 1,700 is like the ballpark number of guests I have, and 5,000 plus is the money I have. But no, I got it mixed up. <laughs> we have more guests than we have money. That's funny. And that rhymes. Okay, folks, come on in. I need to pay. I need to advertise. Please come inside. Just one more. One more guest. And boom. There we go. Okay. And now, I need to have more bathrooms in this park. What is that noise? I don't know what that is. I don't know if you guys can hear that. I took my headphone off for a second and I hear this weird... It sounds like it's coming from the air vent. But the heater's off. I don't know what's going on. Anyway, I'm just going to ignore that for now. Um, let's see. If you guys heard the heater running earlier in the video, it's because, as I said, I can't really hear it with my headphones on. I only heard that because I took them off for a second. Hello, Mr. Handyman. This path is disgusting. I need you to focus on this. And Oh, there's vandalism everywhere. Let's fix that, too. Okay. Maybe we'll assign him to this zone because this zone in particular is particularly bad. And do our best to keep him out of the queue lines. So he stays so he stays busy doing what he's supposed to be doing. Yeah, this whole zone is awful. My goodness. Okay. So that will fix itself gradually. But in the meantime, let's fix our garbage cans like this one, which is busted. Let's see if we can spot any more vandalism. And maybe place a few more garbage cans to control the litter problem. And a few more benches to control the nausea problem, if possible. We could probably do with another uh, first aid station over here. Oh, look at that. It's year, it's year seven. We didn't quite get 6,000 yet. But maybe by the end of year seven, we'll have... Well, we only need 80 or 78 more. 77 more guests and we're there. So we just have to raise our soft guest cap high enough that we get it. Uh, let's advertise half entry, half price entry to the park. Boop. And free food. Let's go free pizza, folks. Come to the park and get your free pizzas. So they come to get their free pizza, but then they pay at the gate. So you're holding nothing. I wonder how many people generate from that. Nothing. Someone's got to have a voucher for a p free pizza. There he is. So Rod N. So if we have enough people like those who generate, that's a, it'll quickly pay itself off. You can say that. This is kind of blending with the ground. I'm going to change this to a brighter hue. A more saturated hue of purple. There we go. Nice. Now I can actually see it. It was too, uh, too muted before of a color. Magic Carpet 1 has broken down. That's not good. Let's see. The castle connects everything up. This area is all connected. How many people are riding on the train? 113. Not bad. Okay. Things are still not being fixed. It looks like we're, our mechanics are overworked, so we'll have to hire a few more. I don't like doing that because it's expensive, but I guess I have to. Hello, Hyper Twister. Look at it go. Max capacity. Let's go. Maybe if I turn this off, it'll help. Yeah, probably not. The amount of time it takes people to get on and off is probably more more than 10 seconds anyway. Especially on these big trains like this. Anyway. Um, well, we're earning our money back, so, uh, sort of. Although we just paid bills. Holy! Oh, that's marketing. Heh, of course we did. But staff wages, not pretty. Not pretty at all. And loan interest is $600. Good heavens. I don't like that. Anyway, um, yeah, it's gonna. Well, we are gonna finish. I think by the end of the year, we'll easily be able to cover this. But that's gonna be that's gonna be pretty fast. It's already April. Let's see. What if I speed things up? What'll happen? Well, the money's going up. That's good. Let's do a bit more. Not say not that. A bit more of a 
changing the ground to make it icy. Like this. I, I just have to be careful not to drag when I click, because I don't want to accidentally raise the ground, because that'll be very expensive. A very expensive mistake. I remember as a kid, I think I rage quit once, because I had a park going that was very successful. And then I started trying to reset the grass, like, uh, like this. So you see, I need, like, the grass needs to be mowed. If I click it, it resets. It makes it pretty again. So I was trying to do that rapidly, so I started bouncing my cursor around like this, and then I accidentally dragged and spent all of my money on raising the ground by mistake. And I didn't know what autosaves were, so I thought it was irreversible. So uh, I was very upset and restarted, or I, or I either quit or started over. I can't remember. And thank goodness for autosave, which fixes that problem for us. For those of us who know how to use it, at least. Oh, this is so expensive. And that's it. I'm broke. Although I think I've finished the ring. Although there's a few spots over here I missed, so let's fill those in with what little cash we have left. Yeah, kind of like this. And then these spots over here that I completely missed, if I can afford it. I'm so poor. <laughs> okay, I think our loan is still maxed out. Oh no, we have we can have more, a little bit of wiggle room, perfect. With that, we can finish, yes! So now the whole park has been snowed over. We had a surprise blizzard. Now we can change this area to sand. Uh, let's grab sand, shrink this down to a modest... What size is this? Oh, that's, that's manageable. And kind of go around the edge here. And it looks kind of funky going down under the water. We'll have to transition it to something different. So I guess we just just the uh, the water's edge has to be sand, not the whole thing. Grass makes more sense going up to the water's edge, I think. Have a little sandbar. Sticking out into the water like this. Oh, this is so, so beautiful. Let's rotate again. Okay, I can see the the I can see the light at the end of the tunnel. This scenario is almost done. Well, I make it sound like I'm tired of it. I'm not tired of it. This is fun. I was tired of it yesterday. I had to take a break. <laughs> I had to sleep. But this this is fun. This is good. I'm a little thirsty though, and I forgot my water bottle somewhere, so I gotta wrap things up and go find it. Okay, this is too expensive. Let's shrink this. There we go. I made the snow get too close to the water. Whoops. Hello, ducks. Do you see the ground changing beneath your feet? Make this whole area sand right here. Okay, now it's gone all the way around. Let's shrink this and switch to dirt so we can make this a gradual transition. Okay, that's not gradual. Let's make this uh, this color. And that's too expensive. And the loan is maxed out. I can't afford to do it. <laughs> we have to wait for money to generate naturally. Oh, look at that! 6,000 guests! We did it! We quadrupled the objective! Let's go! woo -hoo -hoo -hoo! And look at this park! I'm so proud of it. Oh, it's amazing. Fantastic. Okay, well, we have a bit of cash again, so let's get back to uh, making this transition a little easier on the eyes. A little less jarring. It looks more natural like this. And each time I do this, it's like the equivalent of a... Each time I click, it's like the equivalent of several guests coming into the park. Or, not not several. 60% uh, of a guest. 40, $44? Okay, 75%, whatever it is. I'm not mathing right now very well. That's completely wrong, it's not 70%. Whatever it is, about two-thirds of the cost of an entrance ticket. Hello, duck. Coming in for landing, I see. We'll leave that spot dark. Let's just say it's a rock or something. Doesn't have to be perfect. Go to see the money is coming into our pockets. And with this, just a few more clicks, and we're about done. 
with this uh, gradual transition. Now the roller coaster kind of hides it, so maybe we don't need to do it here, but I'm doing it anyway. Who cares? And there we go. I think that's it. Look at that. Now it's not so abrupt. Go from sand to the lighter dirt color to the darkness. Oh, it's a beautiful thing. You can hardly even tell. What about that? Isn't that something to behold? We have like no money left. <laughs> Let's see. Let's uh, maybe finish at the end of this year seven. We'll keep on populating this with more uh, trees and stuff. But aside from that, we're essentially done. I might plop down a few more rides just for the fun of it. But we don't really have room for more roller coasters. Because I never, I didn't design this park to be particularly compact. Which aesthetically is probably the better thing, honestly. So let's place some more trees down. You can't have too many trees in your park, as I say. Unless it's Rainbow Valley. <laughs> or Fungus Woods, because that just makes it expensive. But planted trees, that's what we're after. These are the natural carbon dioxide filters of the world. Now, the inside of this castle is still kind of barren. I thought I was going to put more stuff in here. Let's grab some, uh, let's like make some medieval, a little medieval town going on here. Maybe a path that doesn't connect to anything, just so it looks proper. Just for the sake of decoration, no one has to walk on it. house is not quite in theme, but it's close enough. Let's turn this around. The door is facing the... Never mind, I built it backwards. Whoops. <laughs> oh, well. And the hermit living in his lonely little tower. Yeah, that looks better. Now we can plant some bushes in here, or maybe some trees or something. Okay. Whoops. I want to get the award for having the most beautiful park in the country, but I may not have enough trees yet for that. So let's keep planting and hopefully get that award. Unless we get it, got it when I wasn't paying attention. Let me see. Do we have an award for the most beautiful park in the country? Nope, just breakdowns and stuff. Well, that's sad. What about here? No reason to... Oh! Best Custom Designed Rides Award. Well, that's good. That actually... I think that actually boosts the number of guests that uh, generate naturally and come to the park, which is nice. For a few months after I get the award. Let's make the trees a little thicker. The pop-ups are like, you can't build this here, stop it. Although, I don't know why, but in OpenRCT2, this, I think this is a bug unique to OpenRCT2, the pop-up disappears, so if you want to read it, you have to like rapid-click it to actually see what it says. In the vanilla game, that's not a problem, so I'm not sure what the issue is. Let's plant trees on the, corner, on the corners of tiles, because this gives a nice sense, uh, sense of depth to everything that we did. Knock some of these down and replace them with trees and corners. Oh, I can plant them right along the side of the rails. Look at that. That's cool. This area is a little sparse. We need more, more trees, it seems. And we're still making profit, despite all this spending on trees and stuff. Let's see if I can outspend my income with trees. That's a new challenge. How fast can I spend money? Put me in a Mr. Beast video. <laughs> okay, let's turn that down. Turn that off. Oh, I'm getting there though. I'm getting a little crazy with the spending just by rapid clicking. Okay, I guess I did it. Never mind. Ran out of money. No more money. Well, now we have more. I just had to wait a second. But yeah, look at this place. It's so good. So pretty. Maybe a few hills wouldn't hurt, but well, we have some hills. I guess not. Let's take a look at the entrance. People are still coming. That's good to see. We have a nice steady income. We can turn our loan down a little bit. And we're making enough money that if we're patient, we could eventually pay the loan off. Oh my gosh, look at these droves of people coming into the park. Holy smoke! 
Yeah, so if we just played long enough, we could eventually turn this down to zero. Although, maybe, well, yeah, I think we could. And as people run out of money and go home, new guests would generate, and they would come and pay their money to get in. I think we should add a junction here, or a, con a place to connect the path up. That might help with the uh, crowdedness of this park. So let's meander through the trees a bit. It's your little hiking trail, sort of, kind of. There we go. i will put benches on it, so I don't forget. I wonder if guests that are sitting on benches contribute to how crowded the path is. That would be interesting to know. Oops, wrong button. Oh, I didn't even connect it. Hit, hit, hit. There we go. It's always good to look at something from multiple angles to make sure something like that doesn't happen. I see trash everywhere. I, it seems I forgot to put trash cans on this path. Hey, look at that. Cups on the ground. Maybe some more garbage cans over here. Okay. And now these guys are getting wet in the snowy area because I wasn't thinking when I colored the ground. <laughs> oh well, we're just going to leave it because I can't afford to change it. I mean, I probably could, but I don't want to. I want to spend all my money on trees, not on fixing the problems I created. I can't be bothered to do something like that. Let's plant more of these trees. Maybe more palm trees, actually, close to the water's edge. Let's fill this in. Now, these trees are basically invisible. I can hardly see them over the grass. So let's plant them in the sand so we can see them better. Maybe some variety in our palm tree selection. I'm out of money. Looks like we just paid uh, paid our bills. There we go. Income is back again. Okay. There we go. Oh yeah, I forgot. I was going to add more bathrooms. Because people are going home because they can't find them. Or I assume they are. That's why that one guy went home with a big grin on his face. Despite having cash in his pocket. Because we don't have enough bathrooms in the park. Let's place one over here. Maybe one over here. I think I killed one of my trees. Whoops. Oh well, we can replant trees. Trays. One more over here. Booyah. People are already using it. Look at that. We have one here. Let's place one on this connective area. One of our roller coasters still hasn't been fixed. That's because my park is so big and I couldn't be bothered to... Never mind, they're all busy. Holy smoke. Because I couldn't bother to uh, assign my staff to specific zones. I think in scenarios like uh, like a, a Amity Airfield, you kind of have to do that to manage the vomit problem, just so your park rating stays high enough to win. But in this, this is easy enough. I'm kind of just doing the easy thing. And look at that. We have vandalism. Not cool. I fixed it. Okay. Anything else broken that I haven't seen? Let's put lamps up here just for fun. Hmm. We could theme this area with ice cubes. I normally don't build with ice cubes because they seem out of place, but why not? Just for fun. And this one will be melting. Snow and ice theming. Come back. Grab an igloo. Place it there. There's little details everywhere. Has anyone ever made an igloo in, uh, an igloo in real life? I said igloo by mistake. Has anyone ever made an igloo in real life? I did something similar. Well, not similar. I, I slept in overnight inside a snow cave that I dug myself. And it wasn't pretty because I did it wrong. Because uh, I misunderstood the instructions. So I made the entrance too big. So there was a really nasty draft. And there's supposed to be like a little a, a snow shelf. Like a, like a, like a, right, a vertical right angle to kind of disrupt the airflow 
and also for the cold air to somewhere for it to go. I made it smooth all the way up to where a uh, smooth slope all the way up to where I slept. So I froze that night. My toes were so cold I couldn't feel them. And they were like that for hours, so that's kind of dangerous, actually. I think there probably should have been more supervision on that activity. It was like a Boy Scout activity. Uh, but I survived and made interesting memories. I did not sleep well. I had cramps in the middle of the night. But the next morning was fun because I got the sled on the hill on my butt because I didn't have a sled. Let's see. Lemonade. Let's have a lemonade stand. Why did I place these next to each other? Hold on. What am I doing? <laughs> Let's knock this. Break this. And move it over here, which is pretty close to the one over there, but that's fine. Just grab the lemonade stall and place it right here. Not there, because those garbage cans there. Nice. And maybe another food stall. Do we have one of these yet? Okay, we do somewhere, but might as well build another one. By the ice cube. Wow, we might even get 7,000 by the end of the scenario at this rate. Holy smoke! Let's build some more flat rides, just for the fun of it. I already have two of these, so let's build this far away from the others. Maybe over here in the trees. Sorry, trees! It had to be like this. Boop! Open that. And open. That'll add maybe 40-ish additional guests. Another pirate ship. Let's see. That should do. And look at all this unused space. I guess I could put another roller coaster out here. I just, um, don't have the money to afford it. Unless I build something cheap. Let's see what my options are. Uh, pretty much all the cheap ones I've already built, except for a mini roller coaster. I guess I could do this. Let's, uh, one, well, first of all, build it off the ground. One, two, three, four, five, six. Just because the number of cars is determined by the length of the station. Unfortunately. So that's seven. That works just fine with me. And it looks like we can't turn on our hill. So this is like, so in Roller Coaster Tycoon 1, there was the mini roller coaster. But then a roller coaster tycoon 2, it evolved into this version of the mini roller coaster and the junior roller coaster. But neither of them have the abrupt steep pieces like the like it did in roller coaster tycoon 1. So I guess we lost some features in a way. But it's alright. We have more variety elsewhere. But there are some things that roller coaster tycoon 1 did better than roller coaster tycoon 2. But as a whole, I like Roller Coaster Tycoon 2 better. I just have to be honest. I know all the diehards are going to kill me in the comments. <laughs> just kidding. They're both great. I love them both. I'm glad I bought the second or bought the first one. Can I do that? I cannot. Okay. Nope. Not going to work. Let's do this. Oh boy. That might stall. See, that was 30, this is 20, okay. So let's flatten out, because we don't need that to be banked, because it's so... Uh-oh. Because it's so uh, the slow in that spot. Let's go back down to 5 feet. Let's bend right. Maybe put some brakes here. To 18. Now we don't need it. Let's just turn, put the brakes here. All right, and with that, let's, uh, uh-oh. What seems to be the problem? Whoops! Normally I try to put the entrance right in the front. Huh. That way they can immediately board. Well, I guess we have to not, we'll not be able to do that today with this roller coaster because I didn't design this intelligently. <laughs> let's, uh, no, 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 come back. Test. And grab this. Grab the asphalt. Break that piece, which has vandalism on it, so I'm not going to miss it. Can I go through here? 
like, uh, kind of, maybe, sort of? Okay, not really. What's in the way here? Oh, that's in the way. <laughs> Let's go over the station, like this. And back down to the ground. Stats look good, although I'm going to turn this down to five seconds, so the station gets decongested. Now, what's up with this color? Let's make it a muted green color. I actually can't see that. Let's make it a darker green color. There we go. That's cool. But we still didn't flesh out this area because this roller coaster is too small. Oh, well. I was saying we couldn't build another giant roller coaster. I guess we could have if we squeezed it into this area back here. But it wouldn't have been as big as this one. No matter, let's uh, build some more flat rides and see if we can't, see if we can get uh, 7,000 people into the park, because that would be sweet. Although I kind of doubt we're going to succeed, but might as well try. Let's uh, leave this on. Let's put the middle one. Storm chasers, just for variety's sake. Okay. And these are overpowered, so let's build a few of these. These these are flat rides, but they draw guests to the park, kind of similar to how a, uh, a roller coaster would. Let's go to 200, just like the other one, just for fun. Okay, and... Uh, broke my tree. Oh, well. I think 72 was the optimal speed for the launch on this. Or no, it was 74, that's right. To go all the way to the top. Perfect. Alright, so that's ready. That'll draw more people to the park. Maybe 50 or 60. I can't remember what the soft guest cap was. Let's switch these around. There we go. Perfect. Oops. I did not mean to do that. Let's delete that. <laughs> Get rid of that. Okay. Avenging avi aviators. That works. I wonder if we can outspend our income. Are the ad campaigns still running? Wrong button. No, they're not. Okay. <laughs> this is what this looks like when we uh, spent money on the... Uh, yeah, this is when we changed the ground. That's hilarious. Well, let's turn this back up so we can afford to advertise. Turn that on. Maybe advertise a new mini roller coaster, even though it's small. But it's the new roller coaster, so I think it'll be okay. Mini roller coaster one for 12 weeks. Half price entry to the park. Let's go free entry to the park, just so we can try to get as many people as possible. And free ice cream. Come on down, my friends. Come enjoy. The Wonder, uh, the Winter Wonderland, which is this park. Let's actually rename it. We'll name this Winter Wonderland. Nice, very, very nice. Okay, we still have a lot of empty spots, which could be filled with flat rides. Like this whole zone is begging to have something built in it. So let's uh, fill it in with something. Do we have any track rides? That aren't roller coasters. Okay, we don't. Let's uh, just do something. Let's do a roller coaster, I guess. Maybe another wild mouse. These are cheap and they're easy. So let's do one right here. Build it off the ground just slightly. Build it up. Very tall. Okay, maybe not that tall. From 55-ish or 60 to 40. room for this? I do not. Look at that. Okay. Okay, and now we can do our little customary switchback thing that I always do with Wild Mouse roller coasters. Although I should probably have this running in the background just to see how it performs. So let me turn the lift hill speed up. There we go. Ooh. 
Whoops. Turn that. And we're blocked. Okay, turn around again. Block here. Okay, so this looks to be working perfectly. So now we're at the height of the station. So now let's just meander about and gradually come back. We can't go through there. Okay. Go around everything. And return slowly to the station. Well, just for fun, let's add some little, little mini drops. Assuming we have enough momentum to actually make it back up from the drop. One more st uh, station piece. Okay. Now this is blending in with everything, so let's make a red with green supports. Christmas colors, baby. Let's go. I think I maxed it out already. Okay, the lift hill speed is maxed out. That's what I want to see. Boop. Select that. Okay. Let's grab green as a complement to the red track. Something broke down. That's never good. I think we need to turn this down to four seconds. Oh, I'll just turn it all the way down to zero. Why not? No minimum wait time. It'll give the queue line a chance to fill up. Okay, here comes car one. On the last stretch. Whee! Here it comes. And when it reaches the end, there we go. There's the stats. That'll raise the soft guest cap significantly because this is a roller coaster. We need 240 more guests. Look at all this wasted space. <laughs> Let's tuck a little hidden flat right over here. Like a spiral slide. Yay! We love spiral slides. Oops. Messed the tree up because why not? No, 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 no. Come back. Maximum of five people on the ride, as always. Will anyone ride it? Probably not. Yeah, he didn't want to. I want to go on something more thrilling than Spiral Slide 1. Then what are you doing? Oh, I thought he got the queue line for the train. Never mind. <laughs> okay. We could have some flat rides over here, I think. Maybe another bumper cars. Mess up our trees. We'll just plant more. Perfect. I don't like these colors, though. Let's make the ceiling piece red. No, that's not the ceiling piece. We'll make that red, too. We'll make this red. That's not the top. Make this red. Make this yellow. Make this gray. Okay, much better. This spot could also have another flat ride. So let's make a golf course. A little one. Pull A, space, pull B, space. It goes right up to the track. I was hoping to avoid that. Oh well. Pull C. Or no, what I could do is do this. Now we're talking. But now I'm going to mess up my igloo. Ah well, you can't always have it your way. Let's just do the thing we were doing before. Pull C. Pull A, pull B, oops, space, pull C. There we go. No queue line because people can't ever manage to get off of this thing. So that'll raise the soft guest cap. Just a little golf course hiding out there in the middle of nowhere. Perfect. Let's have a let's have a micro coaster, like maybe a launched a launched a uh, leader. Let's put it over here. Two, three, four, five, six. Let's see. Loop left. Oh, I don't want to mess up my shooting range. Whoops. Okay, let's place it just slightly over to the side. One, two, three, four, five. Loop left. So it's right up against the side of the other roller coaster, but that's okay. Okay, let's go launched. Oh, I was going to make this uh, pop out the back. That's right. How many tiles tall is this? Is that 70? 
Yeah, so that's 70, so let's probably add a 70 on this side too. Although that might be a little excessive. So let's go passing station. Let's launch it at 47. That might be a bit fast actually for the loop. And that was a little excessive and it almost went off the edge. So let's go down to 42. Try this again. A little easier on the loop, that's better. And it's less likely to fly off the rails. Let's go around that tree, okay. Nice! And with that, let's get our stats. Nothing to shake a stick at, but pretty good, all the same. It's pretty good. So that'll raise the soft guest cap, and it's a nice gold color, that's kinda cool. But the train though, what kinda color is this? Let's go yellow on the train. Yellow and red, nice. We need 113 more guests to get to 7,000. And we're well on our way, we're just barely halfway through year seven. So, let us, uh, oh my goodness, I'm looking at the clock, I've been recording for another two hours and 47 minutes, woohoo, holy smoke, <laughs> 46 minutes. Anyway, yeah, this is gonna be a super long video. I'm actually kind of excited. Here's a fun thing, so with my, uh, let me adjust my seat, <clears throat> with my Minecraft videos, they're very, very fun, it's like a passion project for me but I always procrastinate doing them because it is so stressful to prepare them. There's so much editing that goes into it, a lot of planning, and I have to up my game because I'm on camera while running around in a world of survival, and also because it's a, hold on, are these guys sick? <laughs> the thumbnail for the uh, ice cream stand has sick people on it. So I think Marcel Voss was, did a video where these came from. I wonder if he did that too, that'd be hilarious. Anyway, I got sidetracked. So those videos are very, very hard to produce. These videos on the flip side, they're pretty easy to produce because all I'm really doing is I record, I uh, produce some dialogue, and then I go edit it. And when I edit, I just sit down and I, I comb through all the recorded footage. Oh my gosh, that almost went off the edge. I comb through all the recorded footage to make sure I don't have any burps or coughs or funny breathing or anything weird like that. And I, when I find those spots, I cut that part turn the audio down on that part and roll with it. And then I do some cleanup in the beginning of the end, as you've probably seen the outro sequence. But other than that, I just have to listen to it. But I'm not gonna sit here looking at my screen for seven hours just listening to it, or six hours, whatever, however long this is. So what I get to do is I get to do other things. Like I can read, I can play another video game, I can pretty much do anything that doesn't require my ears when I, uh, when I edit these, which is kind of nice, but it is kind of a long time commitment because I've got six hours of footage to go through. Holy smoke. And then I have to render that? Oh my gosh. I hope my hard drive has enough space for this. This is going to be interesting. I'll have to do some cleanup on my hard drive. Speaking of hard drive, I actually bought a new hard drive because mine is full. I have a two terabyte SSD that I do most of my work from because I don't want to have it on my computer. And then I have a an old HDD that I pulled from an old desktop and I put it inside of a case that turned essentially works as an adapter so now it's an external drive so that's kind of my long term long term storage because it's slow it's an HDD I don't hard disk drive yeah HDD and then I work from my SSD both of those are two terabytes by the way but my desktop is only 500 gigabytes because I wanted the I wanted the high performance on a budget and looking back I probably should have just gotten the should have just spent more on a, on a bigger hard drive. <laughs> so next time I buy a computer, I'm gonna buy one with a minimum of two terabytes because I'm a video editor. And video editing takes an obscene amount of storage space. You don't even realize how much space it requires until you start doing it. It's crazy, absolutely crazy. But we learn as we go. Uh, the hard drives have been a, a crutch for me. I've been using them. Perhaps editing will be faster and smoother if I edit from my own hard drive, my native hard drive, instead of from an external one. Like, the SSD is fast enough, I can get away with it, but I think one that's integrated into the motherboard is probably faster and superior. I don't know. I'll just use the, the, the external drives as storage exclusively. It's probably the smart thing to do. And I see litter everywhere. Didn't I designate this spot for one of my handymen? Oh, no, it was another spot. But I'm going to grab this guy and... Uh, have you cleaned up that mess? Very good. Oh look, we did it! 7,000! I wasn't even paying attention. And we're in September of year 7, so we're almost to the end. On the home straight. 
And I think we can turn this down. Because we have the cash for it. 81,000. Woo! Look at that. And look at what we did to this place. Holy freaking smoke. My word. What a beautiful park. Uh, let me know in the comments. I, I, when I produce thumbnails for these videos, usually what I do is I get a screenshot. I recently discovered that I can do a giant screenshot and then just zoom into the spot that I want instead of trying to juggle, deal with the, taking a screenshot of my screen itself. And then it gives me a higher quality screenshot as well. Because it's not taking a screenshot of what's being displayed on my monitor, it's getting a screenshot of the game itself. And the actual program, the, the I don't know how to say that. Uh, anyway, the point is, uh, some of my older videos, the screenshots are pretty close up like this. And then others, what I usually do, what I have been doing, is I would go to this ask, or the, go to this um, zoom level and take a screenshot like this. For a while, I've started actually doing the giant screenshot and just zooming into where I want it, which is actually slightly more zoomed out than this, I think. But let me know in the comments which you prefer. Because I like to fit as much into it as possible, but I want it to be close enough that it's, you can still tell what it is on a mobile device. But for this, because of this giant park, I kind of want everything to be to be fit into it, but I know that you can't really see anything like this. Well, actually, no, this zoom, these don't do a very good job scaling. Look how nasty that looks. But if I do the giant screenshot, you get all the pixels as if you were zoomed in close to it. It's just zoomed out because our modern monitors uh, can handle that. So, I don't know. Well, just, I'll, I'll play by ear. Or maybe I'll do an A-B test where I'd run both thumbnails at the same time and whichever one performs better. Well, I guess I can't really test which one performs better. I'd have to... YouTube didn't pick me for that. And what I mean by that is uh, YouTube has randomly selected some creators to test out their A-B uh, testing feature just to see how it works. Um, but I wasn't selected, sadly. So I can't do that. Not yet. It's, it's going to roll out, I think, next year so all creators can do it. But it would be cool if I could do an A-B test with my thumbnails and see which one's best. But for now, it's time to spam trees. In the last month of our scenario, we will spam trees everywhere. Get as thick as we can. So many trees. In a winter wonderland. Actually, we have enough cash. I could probably do this. Let's select this. Let's make some little hills. And I'll have to replace the trees in those spots since I messed it up. Let's place a hill over... Maybe not over there, because you can't really see it over there. Maybe over here. Whoops! Yeah, something like that. Just little hills. They add points of interest to the map, so it's not quite as flat. Now we gotta cover them in trees. Gotta decorate them. Give them a top hat. Where's the other one I messed up? There it is. Let's place trees over here. Only a few more days left of September. Spiral Slide 7 still hasn't been fixed. Check where your mechanics are and consider organizing them better. Well, I have, uh... Well, this is why. <laughs> I have so many. I can't really afford to have more. Oh well, he'll get to it eventually when he can. So many trees. My gosh. I wonder if we should place some more, like, little ice palaces around, too. But first, trees. Many much trees. Not there, that's the grass. Like the game's complaining at me. This roller coaster still hasn't been fixed. What are you doing? Where are you? I'm, like, I'm sorry. I'm trying to. I'm trying to play here. Okay, more trees. Just got some of these chunky trees as well. And this is a beautiful thing. October third, year seven. This is officially the end, everyone. This long scenario, which has been going for over six hours, is coming to a conclusion. If you stick with me to the end, you are a champion. You are an absolute a monster. 
Although I totally expect you're, if if you do, you're probably this is probably maybe your fourth or fifth time sitting down with it. <laughs> you gotta put it down and go make food or something, and then come back to it. But yeah, I'm grateful to you guys. You guys, I have uh, many kind feelings for you and all the good things you've done for me by watching and enjoying my content like this. For one thing, it's it's social validation for my sense of self-esteem, which is cool. But it's also helped my channel grow to the point where it's at. I never thought it would get this far. And I know by YouTube standards, my channel is still very, very small. It's just 1,100 subscribers or something. But still, that's that's a lot. Relative to my small scale and my tiny little life, that's that's a lot to me. So thank you, guys. Let's see. Oh, this area's kind of sparse. We need more trees over here. More trays. I like how the music is so different in different parts of the park. I still can't get over this tree. <laughs> that's so funny. I made a tree out of blocks of wood. Well, I guess a tree is wood, or wood is a tree. Shouldn't get that backwards. But still, that's hilarious. Oh, I thought the thing that was holding me back was I was clicking on places that already had something. The thing holding me back is my money. I'm out of money. <laughs> I can't do that. That's funny. Oh, I hope it's not raining when this ends. I think the past several videos, it was raining when we won when the scenario came to the conclusion. So I hope that doesn't happen this time. That would be annoying. I mean, it's not the end of the world, but I'd rather, eh, rather not deal with that. More trees, I say. Okay, let's grab some ice castles and find spots for them. We have one there. Maybe one over here. Facing the, uh, the water sprinkler area. And maybe another one right here. There's a 4x4 four four area, or 2x2 two two area. Four, four tiles total. is the perfect spot to fit it. Oh, another spot right there. Let's sandwich one in here. And put some snowmen here by the entrance. I mean, I love these little details like this. It's so fun to just mindlessly decorate. No rhyme or reason, just having fun. It's very relaxing. Look at that little face. The nose and the lip and the eyeball. <laughs> let's get the let's get another view. There's the face. Here's another face. He's like, help! I'm stuck in a snowball. Oh, are these random? Oh, it's random how they're placed. Okay, I thought I had to rotate them. Some of them, I get the face on that side, and this is the other face. Interesting. Very interesting. Huh. Put an ice castle there. Maybe flank it with another ice castle. That is a lot of vomit. Yuck. Hold on. Let me grab my handyman. Oh, handyman. Most of you aren't even doing anything. Uh, let's see. Just a lot of walking going on. Well, I guess that, that is true, if, even if they're doing the job. But still, I feel like they're all hiding in queue lines somewhere instead of working. Come on, Mr. Handyman. I need you to do a thing. Come and clean up this mess. Very good. Much better. I see a bit of vandalism, so let's fix that too. Anything else broken? Okay. So that's good. It's October 20th. The scenario is coming to a conclusion. We are almost done. Just a little, a few more decorations here and there to polish things off. A few igloos in the middle of nowhere. A little snowman. What else can I do out here? Little ice palace over here. Igloo right there. And a shop. I wonder how often these are selling. Well, that's why I'm so poor, is because I'm, these are free. <laughs> Although we have 10,000 again, so let's turn this down. We have a nice income going, that's good. Oh, these just wrapped up, okay. Well, it's the 24th, so... Ah, well, it started over again. Why not? Start that. Advertise the biggest roller coaster in the park. Avalanche. Half price entry to the park. Whoops. I can't even afford this cheap one. <laughs> uh, free entry to the park. We'll do that one too. Just a few more days left. It's October 26. And the last one... Holy smoke, we got 7,400. We're going to get 7,500 by the end of the scenario. My, by golly goodness. What is that, quintupled? We can we quintupled the objective. 
Sheesh! Holy freaking smoke! That is a lot of guests crammed into this part. Granted, it did take us eight years, but... Whew. Sheesh. Some more ice palaces, just randomly placed. No rhyme or reason to it. Just so everything looks busy. I don't even know what I'm doing at this point. I'm just placing things everywhere. And look how many... Look how many balloons there are, too. Well, I guess it's not a lot, but... There's a decent number of balloons floating everywhere. Because we have so many people in the park. Okay, it's October 31st. This is the end. Now, we're not going to get a pop-up like usual, because that already happened earlier. Um, but yeah. This is the end. Our March 1st. There we go. Sweet! And look at what we built. Holy smoke. Again, thanks everyone for watching. Merry Christmas and happy holidays to everyone. This has been a tremendous amount of fun and I am in um, incredibly grateful to all of you for what you've done for me and helping this year be so great. Helping this channel get as far as it has. So I will see you in the next video. Be sure to like and subscribe. And I'll see you next year. So have a great rest of your day, and Merry Christmas.